there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is TJ coming to you live. All right, everybody's saying, "Yo, TJ, you need to schedule. You need to you need to schedule these lives. You need to start taking this a little bit more seriously. You gotta let the people know." This is this is factual information. This is definitely factual information. So what I need to do is definitely start scheduling these streams so you guys get notified with an email. That would help with everybody else around the world, you know, because if everyone's in different time zones, they're like, TJ, I understand that you go live at 7.30 a.m. PST, but what does that even mean? What does it even mean? I'm just taking care of a couple of things real quick, guys. We are definitely um, about to get into these charts right now. As we could, I, I'll go over this. This is very important. What happened on gold uh, kind of worked out how we were in one of the probabilities that we were talking about, right? We were waiting for this. So now we're at the next stage where we have to kind of like study, right? So now we got to study. Like, Dude, I don't want to study. Well, guys, we're going to have to study. All right, so we got to study, sit back, enjoy the enjoy the stream. It's going to be a good day for sure, for sure. But who is here right now? Who is here right now? Is the like button going crazy? I haven't even checked in any of the stats yet. I haven't even checked. Well, I'm about to pull that stuff up right now. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. First, what are you saying on gold? Mr. Bubs, I got you. Nicole, good morning. Walking, what is good, guys? Guys, I honestly... I like screwed up my neck. I, I wonder if my neck started to hurt because I'm always looking left like this. Oh, man. All right. Um, let's get this. I might need to do a chat monitor going up. No, I don't know. Steve, what's good, guys? What is good, everybody? We're 14 computer viewers. We got nine likes. Nice little start to the sash right here. Nice little start. Don't forget to smash that like button, guys. And of course, if you guys are just tuning in, I don't know if any random people would be tuning in right now. I know these are all my OGs. That know what's going on, that know what's good, showing up to the stream right now. But if you guys happen to be somebody new, my name is CJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7:30 a.m. PST. All you gotta do is go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to be a part of those live streams. Basic in the house, Raimi, what is good? Cyclon Cyclonic. There we go. Good morning, everybody. I like that little little morning sesh right here. Right? If you guys are on the other side of the world, I apologize. I just I'm programmed to say morning when I see sun. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about gold real quick. Okay, so <clears throat> yesterday this was on the long, the wrong time frame. Okay, so now that it says 5:30, it's like it's correct for me. I was seeing this at 8:30. Okay, like all this red news, and I'm like, dude, this just doesn't even make sense. It's never at 8:30. And then this morning I woke up and I'm like, I saw like I saw you guys talking about like CPI and stuff. I'm like, let me find out my time zone was on the East Coast for Forex Factory. Let me find out it just decided it wanted to switch up on me. That's exactly what it did, guys. Um, so then I looked at the charts. This is what we had marked up, right? So gaps have been filled. Gaps have been filled. All right. We were slightly we were slightly filling them. Okay, so technically if we're going based off these wicks, these were the gaps that we had marked up. Gap definitely went up into this area. Oh sorry, this is my supply. We filled the first gap. First gap was I'm getting confused. Anyways, this is the gap that filled from news, okay? That's all I'm saying. So check it out. So gap, this is the blue one. We we use the blue ones as gap fills, okay? Cleared literally everything, tested the highs, and then now we got an immediately like bearish rejection on the four hour, okay? So now that we understand what's happening, okay? TJ would love for it to come down here. Honestly, it's just very bullish. Like if it only filled the first gap, and kind of like stayed in this area and then dropped and broke this demand that we had marked up on the hour, then we would have been like, okay, check it out. Now we could see like this W forming. Now this, this is a new day. This is a new day, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna remove everything, all right? This is a new day. We already know the gap got filled. Imbalances have been filled. Now what's TJ waiting for? All right, so TJ is literally waiting for this, all right? 
step one. Let's get our let's get our levels right. Let's get our levels right. Okay. Let me get that weekly high real quick. Let me get that weekly high. All time high, whatever you want to call it. Let me get that dialed in again at that twenty seven five or twenty seventy five mark. Let me go back to the four hour. Are there any more imbalances on the daily? Absolutely not. There's not. Mm -mm. This coffee is so hot right now. Oh my gosh, I just burned my lip. By the way, my coffee cup did not come in last night. It said between the 8th and the 10th, the sticker came on the 8th, and it looks like it's coming on the 10th. So we need that coffee cup. We need the secure and float. Okay. So we got the all-time highs. We got some good four day. What the heck, dude? We got some good four-hour structure. Also happens to be daily highs as well over here in this area, right? Now, where's like the next area that we can kind of mark up and look at? I would say this is a key area. Okay, now we're going to drop this back down into the four hour. This is this is just looking juicy. I mean. So we filled the top gap first. Now what I'm waiting for, guys, is like I'm, I'm literally just waiting for price to see if he could break below these lows. I think if we break below these lows, that's kind of going to be an indication that we will fill down into this area. And then once we get in this area, that's the real test to see if we're going to fill the last, like the gap we've been talking about to the downside. We don't, we don't know if this gap's going to be filled, but it still has like a decent size left. Okay. It still has all this. Oh, dude, this, this bar. Okay. This is our gap fill. <clears throat> so, Step one, if we truly are selling off here, we can look for sells past this point, which is, what is that, 2026? 20, is this 2026? 20, yeah, 2026 20, area. Okay, all right, if we can get closures below there, because if we got into early for buys from this area, what would we be doing? We would basically literally just be waiting for, we would, be, we would basically be going against the trend, okay? We would be going against the trend if we were to take buys from this area, or sorry, sells from this area, banking on it, closing below and continuing down. Yes, you can get more money if you sell from up here. Yes, it's reversing currently, but this is probably like an hour or two hour demand. Like we could even look at the two hour. Two hour doesn't look as good. One, one hour is going to be for sure demand. Okay, maybe not. Anyways, it's coming back down. This is lower time frames then. This is way lower. This is like 15. Oh my gosh, maybe it's five, bruh. All right, there we go. Five minute demand, all right, right there, boom. So it's also coming to five minute, um, 200 MA, right? So this is this could have cooled off just enough to kind of start rocketing off from this area and continuing the trend up, okay? It could totally do that. Absolutely could do that. Let me get caught up into, into the chat real quick. Who else could barely hear me? Oh my gosh. Rami's saying he could barely hear me. Anyone else having trouble with the audio? And then, hey, I'm going to go bring my dog for an x-ray. When I get back, I'm going to get my funded account. When when we going to get funded on live stream? <laughs> I'll be back around 6. Basic, what's good, bro? What's good? We're doing this, bro. We're slowly chunking away at it, right? We're risking 0.5% per trade. Where's the history? Here we at. So we're at like 0.83% in profit right now on the 5K account. So we're we're vibing for sure. We're vibing for sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Click the ad. Thank you. Who else who else is in here? What? Alright. Um we got Smiley. Yes, TJ, you catch that thir US thirty move? Honestly, I haven't even looked at US thirty yet. But no, I have not. Did not catch any any crazy crazy movements like that today. Dang, it's kind of crazy though. Like honestly, this didn't move as much as I thought. For for being a news day, like I don't know when we're comparing it to like gold. Is this even is this even in the same ballpark? Is that 230? What's this one? Was this the was this a new spike? Was it this four hour doji? Was that it? Had to have been, right? Okay, no, that's good movement. That's good movement. It just closed weird. That's all. Just closed weird. A little bit of un uncertainty, right? 
Kind of like how US 30 shorts look. What's about to close right now? Got a 15 closing. Do I get stuck in the same situation as yesterday if I take a trade right now? I might, huh? I might get stuck in the same situation if I take a trade right now. Because US 30 was kind of giving us like similar, like the same idea basically here prior. Um, I'm back. I told you what up. We can hear you. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, bag? Dial down to the 15 on. Thir yeah, US 30 is looking good. Hey, this, this is that movement. I see it now. I catch after the news pullback 110 pips and 20 pips on gold risking one to 5.5. <laughs> Savage, dude. Savage. I love it. Uh, no, I don't, no, no, we're not going to, we're not going to give out my email and stuff. You're good. Like any questions you guys have in here, like either message, like don't message me personally. Like guys, I don't respond to DMs. There's just too many scammers, too many people going, going, doing crazy stuff, trying to impersonate me, trying to do like this, that, and the other thing. It's like, guys, like I'm literally a streamer and I'm so transparent. I do everything in front of you guys. Like if you can't share, like. If you can't share that same type of vibe, like, we probably can't work together. Like, you got to be open and transparent. So, like, you know, if, if there's something that you need to tell me, you could probably tell me in general chat, and I'll get back to you. Perry, what's good? No more US-30 for now. Do I say when I'm going into a trade? Yeah, guys, so I literally, like, I'm documenting everything live in front of you. If I see a good setup, like... I'll definitely hit it, but if there's, I'm not going to force anything, okay? Because I don't normally trade Wednesdays anyways. And realistically, because it is Wednesday, I should probably drop my risk to like 0.25% per trade. You got a question. How has your day been so far? My day's been pretty good, guys, but I woke up with a sore neck. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, what's really good, but it's like one of those stiff ones. I feel like a cardboard box where I got to move, like, my whole entire, like, shoulders and not just my neck. I don't know what's good. But I did get the cardio in. Broke a good sweat today, right? Had some eggs this morning. Got the hot coffee ready to go. Stream is vibing. Saw CPI on gold. Definitely, uh, CPI on gold definitely filled that four-hour gap that we were talking about. Okay. This is very aggressive. But, yeah, it, it closed the gap right here. The Any last-minute imbalances, and then now it's kind of, like, washing that out. So we might see a retracement here. Let's look at the DXY though. We haven't really looked at what DXY is doing. So DXY has just got a fat liquidity grab. This this actually looks really good. Clear demand on the four hour, like four hours, <laughs> four hours respecting it like crazy. So as this is going up, we'll probably drop this into the 15 and see what's going on. We could wait for like a break of structure on the DXY and like clear closures above on the 15. It has two more minutes for this to happen. And if that's the case, guys, I think that gold is going to be, I think for sure gold is definitely going to be um, dropping if that's the case. US 30 is still in that range though, okay? So yes, we did have the news, but like the way this four hour closed, it's just like, it's still indecisive. And we kind of got, we kind of got caught in this range earlier. Um, I don't know if it was, I don't know where exactly. I got, I got caught in this higher time frame range though yesterday with the trade. That was our one losing trade. So I'm going to probably stay away from US 30. Let's focus on what the DXY and what gold's going to do. Because gold doesn't look like it's going to hold this demand that we we're talking about. I think it continues to the downside. Draft can do it. Some nice cold weather. uh rammy if you feel like okay so we're basically wiping out the momentum i think gold could break these lows but if you're in from sells at the top um i would just definitely chunk out like put stops in profit on some lower time frames put stops in profit for sure and just kind of manage it maybe even secure partials a little bit because it, it's still not confirmed that we're breaking this quite yet Good. Gold going to take liquidity from the trend line. Um, yeah, poss possibly. Possibly. If that's what you're seeing, that's what you're seeing, big dog. Um, but yeah, I need to see. I'll probably look for sales once we break past below this line. 
Okay, now like 20, 26. That's, if we're gonna take a position, that's where we're gonna take a position. We're not gonna take impulse cells right out of the right out of the gate, like not right off the rip for sure, because we are having super, super aggressive selling right now. So there will be a pullback and we'll get in on the pullback. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It, where am I at? Strength on news followed by immediate weakness. Yep. Audio's fine. Smiley, hear the audio. Did I answer everyone's question? I think I did. Excuse to get a, a massage, dude. We'll see. I put some CBD on it. Um, shout out to Five Vendor CBD, but uh, yeah, put some CBD on it. We're, it's feeling better than it was. Definitely still tense, though. Definitely still tense. Do I try to trade XPD USD? I actually don't even know what that is. What is this? Palladium? Oh, that's pretty cool. No, but I've never looked at it. I stick to the I stick to this one right here. There's some people that trade silver in here as well. People are like people are beast mode on different pairs and stuff. So we're chilling. Oh, well, Gizmo, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to focus on these charts, give you guys top top quality, top-notch content right here. Answer every single question. Got reactions like a cat, dude. And just, oh, I can't do that or else I'll hurt my neck even more. But, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. If you guys have not already smashed the like button, go ahead and smash the like button. Let's see. Let's see. Did you smash the like button? Here we go. Forgot to add the poll. My bad. My bad. Chris, what's good? Just sniped a quick 200 on GU shorts. What's GU looking like? We haven't looked at GU in a while. We're getting like this. Okay, we got clear breakouts. Looks like we're going to continue to the upside. Gold should continue to fall, guys. Sorry. Let me, uh, let me close that out i still had a premiere open from when i was editing this morning by the way did you guys see the new short w's in the chat if you guys saw the new short uploaded it right before the stream <laughs> smiley smash the like button so hard suing for damages i love that Bro, look at EG. I will, guys. I will. I will. J King, what's good? I was editing this morning after my cardio. I've been locked in, guys. Should probably turn on magic keys, right? For playing on trading today. So, we know this is a higher time frame demand, right? So, we need to get clear closures below this low. Like whatever comes first. If we test the low and we get a supply set up from up here, that's probably what I'm going to trade today. Good morning, Jack. What is good? You were up on NASDAQ. What did NASDAQ do? Were you trading CPI again? You're an animal. Why? W you guys are crazy. Let me see. Oh, NASDAQ gave like a nice liquidity grab down to the bottom and then just reversed. Still not confirmed. It could be just another liquidity grab up to the top, up, like the upside. US 30 is like super indecisive on the four hour. So like I'm not sold yet. I'm not sold yet. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Bro, dude, like literally dxy is holding on for dear life it literally is just holding on for dear life 15 minute was what i'm going to look at on dxy though i need i need to dial in i need to dial in you guys so like 
This is for sure bullish. Okay, this is for sure bullish right now. Uh, do I think that the Heike and Ashi is good for certain situations? I think that's the other candles, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. Um, I only, I just use these normal candles. I don't know. Guys, like, I keep this stuff so simple. It's a, it honestly, like, I keep it so simple. Like, that, I don't, I don't overcomplicate anything. I train my eyes to see one thing. I trained them for four years, right? Making slight tweaks here and there. Trained them for four years, found something that works, and then now my eyes just are trained. Do I still make mistakes? Do I still not make, get 100% win rate? Absolutely. Like, I'm human, okay? It's all a game of probabilities. But I've trained my eyes to see the things that matter to me and what I view on the charts to be important. Yeah, I just realized USD CAD reacted to that. Good for long-term direction. Remember, it is average price. Okay, so we've seen how kind of gold reacts to like really strong key levels like this, right? So we might get a retracement off of these lows just in terms of structure. And if it breaks past that, we're going to see if we could hold in this area. Okay. If we want to go to the 15 and take a 15 minute entry, it would technically just be up in this zone, like a little bit higher. So let's do this. Let's, let's be a little bit more secure. Let's just, let's just call this an area of supply. Okay. And we'll still manage it on the five minute. So we know this is the first five minute supply. It could technically give us a little overlap, maybe a liquidity up into the 15 minute supply and then continue to drop or it's going to continue to drop from here. I walk late at night. Traffic here is wild. Dude, you walk late at night? That's next level. I used to, dude, I used to walk outside, right? Like walk the dogs and everything. Like <laughs> at like 4.35 in the morning. And we were doing that during winter. And it was just like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I, I couldn't do it anymore. So we went and bought a bougie treadmill. So then, like, I get, like, my morning walks in the morning slash cardio. I'll crank it up sometimes. just depends what type of day it is. <sighs> Winter shower came back. Whole account was red. Jaking says 5% smiley was up. Great. I messed, uh, messed up my stop loss in profit. Winter the shower came back. My whole account was red. That's actually, that's literally scary. It's a scary, scary environment to be in for sure. Um, do this. How much am I up? I'm up 0.83. trying to think of what I want to do right now. I'm going to do 0.25 because it's Wednesday. Remember guys, we're working to get our we're working to get our balance into a cushion area, okay? Sayla bought at 147.475 at EJ. Sayla, I got to stay tapped in, bro. We're about to take we're about to take trades right now. So I got to stay tapped in on like the pairs that I need to trade this morning for the challenge cuz we got to take this stuff seriously. I hope I hope you understand. I don't. Yeah, I just I hope you understand. Let's see. Is market unpredictable this week for gold? I feel like it's just Wednesday. It's just Wednesday. <laughs> it's literally just Wednesday. It's literally just Wednesday. And then this is also demand. Who who is asking for that? I think that was Muhammad. This would be demand in this area. So we just gotta kinda see, we just gotta study this. Let's see.
I think I got everything. USD CAD reacted to GU. Major, major news day today, guys. All right? Major news day today. How's our challenge going so far? Guys, we're up 0.83%. We're currently up 0.83%. All right. At $50, that'll be a full percent. Nothing's confirmed yet right now, Star. Nothing's confirmed yet. So we're two hours after news, right? So remember when we talk about getting really big pullbacks? Okay. So like if I'm trading on new, like, cause there's news every single day, not just Wednesday. I don't like trading Wednesday, but at the same time, if the setup's there, because we just had some crazy news, like, and it's before the next news event at 10, right? So technically we have two hours to execute a trade. Yo, Mealman, what is good, guys? What is good? W's in the chat if you guys have already liked the stream. I don't know if the poll is working. Is the poll working, guys? W's in the chat if you like the stream. My neck is killing me. I'm going to do my... I got to, like... I got to make, like, full-on... Full-on movements with my shoulders right now. To the left side, like this. To go ahead and smash that like button and all that good stuff. And then, of course, guys, if you guys are new here... My name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. All you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button if you guys are looking to be a part of all these daily live streams with me. Currently taking a 5K challenge, documenting the process, getting funded live with you guys. We're currently at 0.83%. Um, but we'll just see what happens. And then I'm going to reinvest whatever funds we get from this challenge and we will put it into a bigger challenge and then rinse and repeat until we scale ourselves up. The absolute goal would be controlling a million dollars in capital. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Live on the stream, trading a million dollars worth of capital every single day. Wouldn't that be crazy, you guys? I see the vision. Mr. Bubs, I think the window was open last night. It for sure was. I think I, I think I'm like I'm like crippled at this point right now. I was doing some stretches and honestly it just made it worse. <laughs> I feel like I gave myself whiplash. Oh, we got some W's in the chat though. Is the US thirty working for you on trading view? I believe so. Oh, maybe not. Why is it lagging? Hello? Okay. I don't see any movement at all. Kind of weird. Kind of sus, guys. And I don't see any timer. I would look at a different US 30 chart. Look at just pull up a different US 30 chart with a different broker. It's probably this one's probably having a little bit of little glitch in the system right here. <clears throat> Who are the new people in the community right now? Because I feel like we got a crazy amount of traction in the first 30 minutes. You guys are like popping off in the stream. So like I know there's a bunch of new heads in here. Like you guys need to you guys need to definitely say what's good in the chat so we can get to know you. We are just one big family over here. You know what I mean? One big family. What's good in the chat? Steve, good morning. What's up with gold? Gold's just doing gold things. So basically what happened is gold with the news filled the entire gap. And then now we're getting a full retracement and a wipeout bar on the four hour. So this is pretty much, this is what news does. It fills the technicals. News pushes, like the news literally pushes where the technicals need to fill. So... I mean, it doesn't happen a thousand percent of the time, but if there's imbalances in the market and the news comes out and it goes in the direction that needs to fill the imbalance, it'll do that. And then it will continue the real move. That's why it's like, I don't trade high impact news like this, guys. Like if there's ever high impact news on the, on the stream, I just don't trade it. And in this case, check this out. Where is it? Wednesday. Okay. So 530. It's now 7:30. So my rule with my rule with trading, in terms of 
trading news is like a minimum of an hour after. Okay, I let I give that markets an hour to kind of cool off, and I'll trade it then. In this case, we're two and a half, like we're two hours after. But well, now we're two and a half actually on the dot. The next news that we need to kind of kind of look out for is this. So if we don't find a setup in the next 15 minutes, 10 minutes, we're probably not even going to enter a position. But if we do, because it's Wednesday and because it's a it's an, actually it's a fat news day, um, I'm only going to end up risking 0.25%. Okay, so I'm not going to really sacrifice much of the capital or the cushion that we have built up on the challenge. Um, I'm going to just, if the setup's absolutely there, it's looking so clean and like I can't step away from it, and it's kind of playing out what we're looking for, then I'll take it. If it doesn't come within the time frame that we need it to come, then we're chilling. We'll just, we just won't trade today, and we'll just mark up charts for everybody else. You know, but for right now, like I got to be, I got to be dialed in i have to be dialed in on the charts for what i'm possibly looking for in this time because if i invest time right now in other charts guys right it's eight o'clock right now so if i invest time into other charts and let's say the first orange folder news is at um nine o'clock I, I don't know if if chef really like affects gold but let's just say it does okay because i don't really know um now that now i'm on a time clock of an hour to get in and out of a trade okay Am I doing an FTMO challenge right now? No, guys, I'm, a, I'm currently doing the My Forex Funds challenge. Okay, so if you guys want to support the, the channel and purchase the, from the same funding company as me and you guys were already planning on going through My Forex Funds, you guys could definitely support the channel by clicking that link and then buying your challenge as well. Completely up to you guys, though. There are a lot of funding companies out there. I currently just go with the one that I've been the most comfortable with, I have the most experience with, kind of know how they operate and they're trustworthy and they have a really, really good track record. So I stay away from like the very new prop firms. Um, I kind of go with the people that have been around the block a couple of times and have the track record to show for it. W's for TJ, everybody. Dude is a workhorse. <laughs> Appreciate that. Moy, what is good? What is good? Shane, can I break down GU in the four hour? Absolutely, but just give me a second, okay? Like, let's get out of this. You're looking at the four hour chart, so let's get out of like pretty much my live trading session, right? Because we need to focus on the challenge account. And then after the live trading session, we'll go ahead and do all of our technicals and we'll break everything down for you guys, okay? I'll answer all your guys' questions. I always do, I always do. But you guys gotta let me focus on the challenge while there's still volume in the market and there's still opportunities for TJ to, to kind of capitalize on. Okay, US 30 minor gap down. Did it finally break that structure? Let's see. What the heck? That's actually super weird. Just had an hour close. Let me look at the 515. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why that happened. But So I'm risking 0.5%, you guys, but I'm putting stops way above here, okay? So if it's truly going to gap down and actually close the hour time frame gap, then we'll just hop in now because it's already retesting. It's already technically closed this gap with that wick. Oh, redo. Okay. We got one minute. If I see this candle close, I'll just wait the one minute. I want to see this candle close with a nice rejection wake up top. And then get me a break of structure that candle to continue the downtrend. You guys see what I see, right? That five minute supply right there. And I'm putting it above the second supply, my stop loss.
let's see. I'll be patient and see if we're going to continue to the downside. <laughs> yeah, that's why US30 Frozen is somewhat odd. For sure. For sure, for sure. See if golds were chasing up yet. No, it broke those lows there. Still in this demand. Okay, so still in the demand. Should still, should still be pretty patient here. Before you hop in sells, in my opinion. It's a lot that could happen. We could glance over at DXY. DXY is coming down a little bit. Okay, it's getting a slight retracement. Let's see if it can respect this 15 minute 200 MA and continue to fill the gaps to the upside. And then that's when gold will continue to fall. Um, Jaking, it doesn't always work out like that perfectly. Doesn't always work out perfectly. If I'm hopping in for a, a US 30 cell, sometimes NASDAQ is kind of like doing its own thing. So it's not quite confirmed yet. Not quite confirmed. Same way like gold's not quite confirmed yet. Let's see. Didn't we just have an hour close? There's no way it had this much volume in that hour. If you guys are new here, my name is CJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. We are currently in the live trading session. Uh, my goal right now is to get funded live with you guys and document the whole entire process from start to finish. This is day three of the challenge. We are almost pushing 1% in profit. Uh, so we are literally just taking it nice, slow, and easy. We're waiting for the best possibility A-plus setups. Um, I have to see something today. I don't normally trade Wednesdays, but because we live stream Monday through Friday, if the opportunity presents itself and it's kind of retracing off of what the news had just occurred um, or what the news kind of created in the market, we will definitely execute on some type of opportunity that we see. But it has to be crystal clear to me and it has to make a lot of sense. So we're looking for multiple confluences to enter any trade that we do take. Um, and theoretically, I'm probably only going to end up risking 0.25%. So we stay in profit regardless of what the outcome is. And if we do take a little bit of profit it won't be life-changing but it might be enough to just go ahead and get us to that full percent on the challenge and we'll be very content with the with the profits for the day bold is in the building ladies and gentlemen bold is in the building by the way it is 808 in the morning if you guys have not already smashed the like button go ahead and smash that like button and again if you guys want to be a part of these live streams monday through friday all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button it is completely free turn on post notifications bell notifications whatever you want to call them and let's get this bread. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I think that was pretty much, that was the spiel, right? That was the spiel. I think it was. That was a pretty good one, though. I like that one. I sounded like I knew what I was talking about for a second, guys. Imagine. That's crazy. I forgot, I gotta get the uh, the Discord link up and running so when people ask where that Discord is, I at least have it. There we go. Okay guys, this is the Discord link. It's the top one in the description. If you guys are looking to join the Discord, it is completely free. All you guys gotta do, click the link top in the description, click the Discord link. Come over here, when you're in the verification tab, click verify, it'll take you to a third party website. Make sure you fill out the CAPTCHA form. Once you fill out the CAPTCHA form, you will get your role and you will be entered into the Discord and see all these channels. Okay, but most importantly, make sure you fill out the CAPTCHA form. You must fill out the CAPTCHA form. All right, perfect. So it looks like we're about to break this level. So this is what I'm going to do for gold. All right. So this is now my new area. I need gold to come back up into this area after we break and close below these lows. And I'll take an entry off of there. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of higher time frame just to see like what kind of key levels we're working with right now. Not too crazy of a higher time frame, but yes, this is a key level right here. All right. So I could chase the falling knife, absolutely, but we're not really going to do that. If we're truly selling super aggressive, this is also a 15-minute supply, so it's plenty for me. 
Um, I'll just go ahead and wait. I'll literally just wait. We can look at the hour time frame, make sure we're not getting caught in any hour demands. Next hour demand is going to be over here. Okay. So if we can get a pullback up here and we haven't hit this zone yet, that's what we're going to do. We're going to catch it, come back down, and we'll we'll aim for price. So basically, as long as it doesn't fill this demand quite yet, we're just going to hope that it retraces here. That's what we're going to bank for. Gives us some type of pullback, and then we could take these down. We'll monitor it here, see if it starts getting aggressive rejections from this demand. If it does, we'll secure our profits and float. Um, but if it breaks through, like we're just gonna hold that. Like we're literally just gonna hold that. <clears throat> so let's go back to the gold chart on the five minute. Are you guys getting any value from this live stream at all? If you are and you want to be a part of these Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST, my name's TJ. I've been trading for four years. All you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby. We hit, four, we hit 4K subs yesterday, guys, so we're cranking. We're for sure cranking. Let me put my uh, let me put the uh, phone on Do Not Disturb right now. It's like really like dial in with my people. Dial in with my people. Guys, one of my reels, it went right it went viral, dude. It was kind of crazy. I'm just kidding. It didn't go viral, but in terms of like how many it has more views than I have followers, okay? Gosh, guys. Gosh. You guys don't have to be that mean, dude. Anyone see how the shorts uh how is the short performing? The one that I uploaded this morning, though. Is it good? Yeah, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Best time frame for accurate candlestick patterns. Yeah, like, okay, the best time frame for candlestick patterns, guys, is like, just know, like, candlestick patterns work on every time frame. But the ones that are going to hold and be the most consistent and like have the most meaning are always going to be higher time frames. So if you see a double bottom on the five minute chart, but the daily is showing you a head and shoulders pattern on the right shoulder and you're thinking price is going to go up because of the five minute, most likely, <laughs> most likely that five minute double bottom is not going to be valid. But that daily time frame, like head and shoulders pattern that's going to be the one that you're going to look for. And it, and then that's going to be when like those smaller time frame patterns don't really respect is because there's a higher time frame pattern that's already been forming. But we got some new subscribers. So welcome each and every one of you guys. We got Biggs. What's good? We got Gaming Zone. Okay. We got Jazz. Okay. We got Osama. No, no boy. No boy. No boy. We'll just call you the boy. All right. We'll call you the boy. All right. That's going to be your nickname um yeah so it's just like i kind of sift through the time frames guys like i gotta see like i just gotta study it like that's what it comes down to that's what it comes down to um what's your opinion on smart money concepts trading i think it's sick like if you could understand it and it makes sense to you and it's clear as day and you make money from it i think it's sick like i said guys i'm, I'm not here to bash anyone's strategy how uh, we get ict people smc in here all the time like give or take it, like everyone acts like it's a civil war between the two and it's it's really not like we just stare at candlesticks on the chart um and yeah that's what it comes down to so like whatever whatever your strategy is in your head and it makes sense like that's it no need to be in a civil war with each other it, it, like we, we're all traders we're either making money or we're not so which side of the fence do you want to be on i suggest being on the one that you understand uh let's see <laughs> Okay, um, Fly Whiskey said, I'm in big profit with the started broke trade from yesterday. Which one did you take, dude? Which one did you take? Tell me, tell me, share with the community. We're in, we're in big profits. By the way, guys, we don't ever talk about this, but if you guys ever feel the need that I've like truly helped you in any way, let's say I made, helped you make a bunch of money, whatever, and you guys do want to tip me, this is the one that I get 100% of the tips on, okay? And then th that's also, like this link, when you send a tip through there, it shows up on the actual stream. So as you can see, nobody sent a tip through there. Um, 
completely optional if it's easier for you guys to operate through kind of uh youtube you can go ahead and do that it's not really a big issue i'm just saying like if you want to see your name on the actual stream for a while um that's how you do it is you have to send the tip through this link it's just through streamlabs versus youtube not really much of a difference still supports the streamer still supports the community but it's just uh to your liking whichever one's easier for you and then of course guys if you guys are trying to manage risk exactly how i manage risk i have the link also in this link right here um, for magic keys all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit this link right here and then use code tj10 at checkout okay so we do have the v3 for magic keys currently out things game changer in terms of scalping honestly it's helped me leveled up like tremendously with my trading so if you guys are looking for the same results and just kind of practicing risk management at the next level all you guys got to do is invest in yourself and use code tj10 at checkout but now back into the charts ladies and gentlemen again my name is tj if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel you guys might as well go ahead and do so now it's completely free and you guys could watch me as i get funded live with you guys all you guys gotta do hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications i go live monday through friday at 7 30 a.m pst and of course if you guys are having fun here we got 153 of you guys in here right now go ahead and smash that like button let's help out the youtube i'll go if you guys are new in the chat welcome yourselves right down below and then all you guys got to do is just say hey and that's it i'm gonna welcome you it's that simple uh but, but, but. okay so now price looks like it's gonna go up looks like gold is gonna continue down but let's see if we can get a nice little rejection off this hour demand um who else we got who else we got ladies and gentlemen what else we got every time frame gives you um how's crude oil looking actually i will i will pop at crude oil because we had it marked up i don't think i deleted anything so let's see what it's doing still kind of respecting this area still trying to fill the gap all the way it did bounce off of here there still is a gap that needs to fill in this area so it's kind of in like a no trade range right now and the only reason guys that i'm looking at that right now is because i already had it marked up previously and we've kind of been just studying oil in the background of all these trades anyways so don't be offended if I'm not looking at your charts right now. It's just that one I for sure knew I had marked up. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. But every time frame gives you different info, so you have to switch constantly. Um, so there is no specific time frame that is best to read the candles. Absolutely. W's in that chat for Alex's statement. That is a great statement. Uh, SMC is not going to after someone... So, not, is not going to after some time because almost everyone is learning it yeah honestly I, I don't even know what it is i just trade a uh, supply and demand support and resistance and uh yeah that's what i trade and then i use a uh, 200 moving average i just draw some boxes and um some horizontal lines i like to see the horizon and um yeah and then i draw some arrows it's pretty cool it's pretty cool that's how I found consistency. Definitely just kind of paying attention to this kind of stuff. Like I, at the end of the day, guys, if you guys listen to like, if you guys listen to the short that I just came out with this morning, um, I kind of talk about how I journaled my trades and like that really, really helped me. It didn't help me with like my risk management, but it helped me with actually understanding the market. Okay. Understanding market structure, everything like that. And the way I did that was I would post in my discord. Okay. Like, dude, we can go, we can go way back. I don't even know how many, like how far back we can go, but we can go back. Like we could really go back. These are still ones when Zach was doing, like when Zach was in here, like I'm talking way back. Like, what do you guys want to see? How far you want to go? Okay. How far? Cause we can keep going. This is almost in 2021. Okay, like, uh, I'm going to go to 2021. Let's go to 2021. Where are we at? Oh, my gosh. Right before 2021. But, yeah, anyway, so, like, I've like I've been doing this stuff, guys. And, like, I've been marking up charts. I've been studying kind of, like, what I, like, what I practice what I preach, okay? So, like, you guys can see this. Like, literally, I was sending this out when there was nobody in the group. I was sending this stuff out, and it was more just for me. And if people wanted to join and kind of be a part of it, cool. But at the end of the day, like, this stuff was for me, like all these trades. This is so I could learn. This is so I could understand market structure. And that's how I journal my trades. I don't, I don't, 
I I don't think it's a terrible idea to like put in when you got in, when you got out, your stop loss and all that stuff. I don't think it's terrible to do that. But at the same time, like does it really matter? Because like your stop loss and take profit are never going to be the same again. So does that does does documenting that really matter? I like to see visuals. So like if I could see the visuals of how trades played out, like let's say I've called out this trade, and it's like on a 30 minute time frame or something like that, and then I go and check it, um, you know, two days from then, and it's still on my chart. It's still there. I could see what price did based on my my trade ideas that I was waiting for it to happen. So it's like that's that's what really helped me level up. Okay, and then the next step was this, was magic keys, just getting my risk management down, okay? Because when I was calling those first trades out, those were all like swing trades. So under, like I understood higher time frame analysis, what I could predict, the mar or not predict, but what I would think that the market would do. And it normally would end up doing it. Like more times than not, it would end up doing what I was marking up and what I was seeing. So then I eventually had to like scale it down because I learned more about myself and how I operate in the market. It's like, I have too much anxiety and stress on my plate and I got in this to not be like that, okay? So if I'm swing trading, I have too much anxiety and, and like stress in the back of my mind, and I can't really enjoy my everyday life is if I still have a position open. So that's why I became a scalper, and that's why I invested in Magic Keys, is so I could just be in and out of the market and get my risk management down super clean and just follow my plan. That's it. That's what it comes down to. So I just went on a little rant. I'm, I, I apologize. Um, let me get caught up on the chat. The ch <laughs> let me get caught up on the chat again real quick. All right. So went on a rant. Um, I've heard something interesting yesterday that isn't talked about a lot. When the market is hot, uh, you should change your strategy a little when it's slow in terms of position uh, thoughts. I think your strategy should never be so black and white that you miss out on opportunities. I feel like if you've been around the block a couple of like a couple of years, a couple of times or whatever, like you've seen kind of what you you've seen multiple things play out. You hear multiple people talk about different things like you don't need to only trade two like two things. You could have a couple little tools on your tool belt to kind of help you gauge what you're going to do cuz no trade will ever be the same. There's times when I'll be marking out my demand, but it only came to resistance or like my structure points, okay? Instead of coming all the way down to my demand, it only came out to my resistance and then I would have to kind of adjust/tweak what I'm looking at to find the entry from that point on and just be flexible. But by the way, guys, my name is TJ. I've been trading for four years. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, all you guys got to do is go ahead and smash the subscribe button. I'm going live Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. We are currently documenting a, a live funded challenge with you guys. Um, sorry, it's not live. It is in the challenge stages. We are currently up 0.83%, but I am documenting the entire process from start to finish with you guys Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. And then at the end of our trading session, when I'm done trading the account, we'll go into like Q&As and I'll help answer as many questions as I possibly can. So again, if you guys want to be a part of that, all you guys got to do, subscribe to the channel. And then of course, if you guys are getting any value from what I'm talking about on these streams, you guys like being here, you guys like having a good time, go ahead and smash the like button. We're currently at 102 right now. And uh, we're really trying to get these streams popping off, get more eyes, get more eyes on the channel and the community. But we can only do it without you guys. So go ahead, help out, do your part, keep asking questions, keep the chat active, keep popping. Um... <laughs> All right, where, where am I at? Can we get 200 viewers? We might be able to today, guys. We might be able to. Uh, Rich Steve, let me uh, let me do this thing real quick. Let me do this thing. I, dude, I, I spaced out on taking Trista's advice and making the channel for the beginners. But I got you. I actually have a video specifically for people that are kind of getting into this stuff. Let me just post this real quick. I'm going to pin it to the top. So if you guys are new here and you guys want to kind of watch uh the supply and demand support and resistance that's what the horizontal lines are that's what the boxes are um i made a i compiled a video in literally like 10 minutes and explained it from top down so if you guys want to you know go show it some love you guys can go ahead and do that as well um drop a like drop a comment on it we're trying to help as many new traders as we possibly can all for free um what is magic keys you guys magic keys is this um it's a risk management calculator if you guys want 10 percent off you guys can hit the link top one in the description and you guys can go ahead and hit the magic keys code or sorry link and it will take you here but it pretty much has all these different buttons you can manage the trades at a click of a button put your stop loss at entry at the click of a button you can close full close half everything at a click of a button you have your calculator you know exactly how much you're risking how much you're putting on the line before you even get in if you're a fixed lot size trader they have a button for that so instead of managing it in terms of um 
percentage, you could do fixed slots, you could do just overall money. If you think better in monetary value, you could also do it in percent trading. So that's how I do it, especially approaching these challenges is the percent trading. So if you guys want to go invest in it again, it's the top link in the description. Use code TJ at checkout to get 10% off. And they also have an on-screen um, version as well. Okay. Dude, my neck is killing me right now. My neck is killing me. Let's see. Um, did you already win into a trade? No, I haven't really seen anything yet. TJ, are you taking the one hour uh, demand up to supply? No, 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 I'm not. So the reason I'm not doing that is because this. So this four hour candle has not closed yet. But right now, it is a complete wipeout bar on the four hour. And we don't get a lot of these. So when we do get them, uh, they're they're very, very powerful. Um, we try to find like another example of it. Um, I guess this technically, right? So let's say like, see how it closed down here? Look at how much more it dropped all the way. So like it could it could definitely be forming something like that right now. So I'm just being very patient, guys. Like like I said, I don't really like trading Wednesdays, but if the setup is there and it's so black and white for me, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. Currently, in my opinion, gold is in a downtrend on the four hour chart. Okay, hasn't really formed it fully, but there's still an imbalance here at the bottom where price can go. And if we're creating like a type of double top, maybe on the daily time frame here or a higher time frame, maybe six hours or something. I don't really know. It could be creating a double top here and this four hour candle is initiating that. Okay. And if we break this structure here, we're going to continue to the downside and we could fill all the imbalance here. That's why I love news days, but at the same time, I don't trade news. I don't try to, I don't try to just catch this big candle up. I wait for, I wait for like a, a continuation of what that, what the news told me. Okay. Cause right now the news told me it, it, it came out and it said, all right, cool. We don't really like that. We just used you to close the cap on the upside. So we're literally just chilling right now. Um, support and resistance is more reliable than SMC and also easy. Absolutely. I keep my stuff as simple as possible, guys. Just with anything in life, if I ever have something that's way too complicated, it's just, <laughs> it just makes it so much harder to learn for no reason. Like, have you guys ever heard the, uh, the expression kiss, like keep it simple, stupid. Like I, I held that one to me. Okay. I learned that a long time ago, a long time ago. And like, I, <laughs> I just applied it to trading. Just, just kiss. Just keep it simple, stupid. Like that's all you gotta do. Like don't overcomplicate it. When you get in your own head, is when you're like your worst enemy. I also trade important zones like support resistance. Yeah. Come on, can we get 200 viewers on the live? We're almost there, guys. Can you see oil? Uh, yeah, we had oil marked up. So I'll just pop over to it real quick while we're waiting. Let me look at the higher time frames for you. Okay, so it created the double top, came back down, um, found support here. It looks like it's going to continue to the upside to fill the rest of this imbalance, maybe get into this range a little bit, and then we might be able to kind of go from there and see what we could short, but for the most part, nah. Excuse me. Watching from South Africa, where's everyone at right now? Where's everyone at? You guys know I'm from Southern California. Where are you guys at? You guys need to be proud of where you're at. Spam that in the chat. Let me see where you guys tune in from. Who has the most fans? Where, like, where do we got the most fans coming from? People that love the vision, that love the Started Bro community. Where are you guys coming from? Where's the, where are the most of you guys located? I need to hear it. I need, I need some motivation right now. I need some motivation. Um, let's see what else we got. What else we got? Uh, Rich, did you see that message I sent about the, uh, that video though? And then Millman said, magic keys are game changer. Absolutely. String trading is so stressful. Can't even sleep properly. Exactly. And then Fungi said, my G, it's not Iran, it's pure knowledge. Things I don't hear fully discussed everywhere else. Hey, it is what it is. YouTube is pushing TJ's lives. YouTube is taking care. It's taking care of me. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and pin this message to the top so the next time somebody asks about pretty much uh, how I trade or whatever, I'll just kind of push them to that video but of course guys we are in the live trading session my name is tj i live stream every single day monday through friday at 7 30 a.m pst if you guys want to be part of those live streams all you have to do go ahead and smash that little red button right there turn on post notifications 
We're trying to grow the community as big as we possibly can and help as many people as we possibly can. And then, of course, if you guys are enjoying the stream, go ahead and do your part by liking that stream. Again, I want to hear where you guys are from. Let's see it. Let's see it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, Lev said, after studying SMC for years, it mostly has the same ideas and concepts as classic technical analysis. They just came up with new catchy names and, it mar and marketed heavily. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I mean, I didn't say it. And then Flat Whiskey said he made a, he made a huge return on his trade yesterday from the Started Broke live stream. And I said, what trade? He said, the swing trade, my guy, on Started Broke Index. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm scrolling on the chat, guys. I'm catching up. Trust me. I'm just waiting right now. How much funds should you need before you start trading a Forex funded account um, as a beginner? Um, zero. You need absolutely zero funds. All you guys got to do is go ahead and learn on a demo account and save your money. And when you feel confident enough to put it into the real market, if you have $100 saved, only put like $50 in. Because then it's going to turn in, it's going to like take you in levels, right? So like learn the technicals, learn the entries, learn how to properly risk, um, like what proper risk looks like on your, on your accounts. And then you guys can go ahead and... Um, then get the psychological side of it put like a small amount into it, an account right like something that you're willing to lose and then just kind of practice with like penny lots so don't go to like make like crazy money or like change your life or anything like that like just put a small amount like if, in, if you're in the states and a hundred dollars is easy for you to get like just put a hundred dollars in and trade 0 0.01 lot sizes on like us or not us 30 on like euro usd and just learn just watch the consistency document how your trades play out do all the stuff everyone talks about, but nobody actually does. That would be the best, my best advice for you. Trevor said, dude, these ads, dude, the, the channel's monetized. What can I say? I'm sorry about that. Hey, Daz, what's good? Hey, 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 I'm late. Had a water, a water leak. Oh, that's, that is terrible, actually. That is terrible. How was your guys' night yesterday? When you uh, when you headed off, uh, you're putting your daughter to sleep and everything, so everything was good. I think you I think you guys slept good. You guys just woke up with a water leak, so that's a that's f that's f to pay respects for sure. And can you explain more what you meant by imbalance? Yeah, so I have a short on that, you guys. Like I literally have a short. If you guys look at um, gap fills, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. I have a short. Like literally, it's like it was on gold a long time ago. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, perfect. It's this one. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this over real quick. All right, we'll just we'll just leave this here for a second. We'll leave this here. Okay. Um, let me turn this up. Probably gonna be at this area, which is 1990. Closes the gap, support and resistance area, good structure, and all that good stuff. Uh, another confluence that we were kind of looking for as well, guys, is this gap fill. It started way up here, right? And then eventually it closed here, closed here, and then now we closed here. So we still have all this gap that we would like to close. Best point for gold to buy is probably gonna be at this area, which is 1990. Closes the gap, support and resistance area, good structure, and all that good stuff. Uh, another confluence that we were kind of looking for Okay, but like, does that make sense? Like, sorry, I didn't mean to like, I, I just talk about this all the time. So you'll, you'll definitely, um, you'll definitely hear me talk about it more on the streams. But like, for instance, um, if you want to go watch that short, I sent the link in the description or in the chat, but you take it from wick to wick. Whenever you have massive volume on these big candles, you take it from wick to wick. Okay. And then see how this is just clean traffic as, as these wicks come up, it's filling the gap. So it fills the gap there, fills the gap here fills the gap here this is the remaining gap so drag it across fills it there and then eventually filled it completely okay so the imbalance has been complete um okay yeah so this hour demand looks to be respecting right here guys we did take a position yesterday on gold at hour demand let me see what this 30 minutes looking like So there are going to be some people that execute this, okay? There are going to be some people that execute this for sure, all right? Some people are going to execute this at the breaking structure and continue to the upside. However, TJ is not waiting for that. I'm waiting for sells, okay? Because this is major. This is major if we break this level, okay? Um, Nice. 
Oh, okay. We got everybody in the chat. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This I'm getting caught up. Can't, <laughs> but in becoming a fan, can say much for now, but in becoming a fan. Uh, can't sign up for Discord, bro. It's stuck at verify phone number. If you guys are having trouble verifying your phone number for the Discord, by the way, top link in the description, it will take you over here. Click the Discord button. It'll come to the verification page. You're going to click verify on the robot. It will take you to a third party link. Fill out the CAPTCHA and then you guys will get your role so you guys can actually see everything in the Discord. Okay. It's completely for free. All right. Completely for free. And uh, oh, there we go. Thank you, Trista. Appreciate you putting that link out there. I totally forgot to do this today. I was so focused on just hopping in the charts because I was so stoked to tell you guys, like, dude, that four-hour gap filled on on, uh, <laughs> on gold, and then now we're already getting a bearish engulfing. Like, it's just, it's looking good. That's all. Um, but, yeah, okay, so I went over the imbalance. Went over. Did I sell gold? No, we aren't in any position quite yet, guys. We're waiting to sell gold, but we need to get clear confirmations. Um from this supply or from this 200 moving average whichever one's going to give us fat rejections first and give us a breakout structure to execute off of we will execute on it um, but nothing quite yet and we're not going to risk too much because it is wednesday and it was a pretty big news day so we are 0.83 percent up in the account right now so we're going to risk probably only 0.25 on this position unless it's absolutely like clear as day i might up it to 0.5 um or i'll leave the i'll leave it at 0.25 and then i'll double trade if it goes against me a little bit and then we'll kind of go there and we'll, we'll consider that our one trade for the day. Um, a, so we got Asia, SG, we got Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, we got Texas, Washington. We got, what is your risk ratio? My risk ratio is normally a one-to-one -one or whatever the market gives me. If it gives me more, cool. Michael is from Texas. We've got a lot of people from Texas here. We got, I think Texas might take the cake. Texas might take the cake. We got France, 20 minutes from uh, Monaco. That's awesome, Rami. Uh, we got Ohio, London, India, Ron, Rhonda. I think that's how you say that. Who else we got? Where are we at? Um, we got, oh my gosh, the chat reset. Romania. <laughs> what do you think about GBP, JPY? We'll check that as soon as we're done kind of looking at the pair and waiting for what we're waiting for. We'll look at other pairs, guys, and kind of answer all your guys' questions. We're so close to 200 viewers as well, guys. My name is TJ. I go live every single day, Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. We're currently documenting the process of getting funded live with you guys. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen. But when we do get funded, when we do get that payout, we're going to go ahead, reinvest it into another challenge, rinse and repeat the process, and continue to be here live for you guys Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if, all, if, you guys, if that sounds good to you, you guys want to be a part of the community, all you guys got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. If you guys are looking to join the Discord, the link is the top one in the description. It will take you over here. All you guys got to do, click the Discord button. It'll take you to the verification tab. Tab, click that link go fill out the captcha and you guys will be entered into the discord and again if you guys are just stopping by enjoying the vibes all you guys gotta do is smash that like button but again it's only if you feel the need to in your heart guys only if you need to um indonesia kenya egypt broward county florida who else you got india naz um on its way back up to resistance will it go further Um, this just isn't something that I would trade right now. I wouldn't say that this is going anywhere quite yet because like this is still supply on the 15. Could be creating a 15 minute head and shoulders and then melting even lower to fill the imbalance right here from news. So I, I'm staying away from that show for show. But let's see what else we got. What else we got going on right now, guys? And then bulls and GBP, JPY buys. GJ buys were the move yesterday for us. Wow, it actually did end up going all the way to take profit. That's beautiful. People in GJ buys right now, it's not a terrible idea, but at the same time, it's kind of a little scary. I don't know if I'm down for all that. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm down for all that. Kind of staying away from that. We're waiting to see what gold does. I want to see if gold like kind of comes up to like this structure, right? Gives us some confluence, maybe like a nice little liquidity grab, just a little touch, a, a nice closure below the 200, right? Nice little wake up in there. Then we'll see if the momentum is going to take us to the downside. Or we're going to see if this hour demand is just going to be brutal and it's absolutely just going to rip back up and it's just going to be a seesawing day, right? Boom, 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 boom. And just kind of just do some very aggressive ranges. 
But guys, this is the first time, I think, honestly, we've been up at over 200 concurrent viewers. So welcome each and every one of you guys. If you guys are new here, drop a comment in the chat. I'm doing my best to get every single comment read and provide as much value as possible for you guys. Um, I don't recommend demo. New traders should feel the pain. The earlier, the better. True, Alex, but I just want them to know not to hop in the market with too much money. Like, like a lot of the times, people like to actually like, people like to get in the markets and think they're going to make life-changing money right away. So that's why I say start in demo, practice actually like understanding how this stuff moves, what the risk is per trade, everything like that. And then you can start with a low amount of capital in your funded, or sorry, in your live account. And then you guys can go ahead and go from there and do your, uh, like, like just do small lot sizes, just feel, feel the pain, feel the pain. Even if it's just a small amount, I think it still gets the same psychological feeling because it is still money that you worked for money that you worked for your hard earned sweat over these dollars. Uh, if you guys are trying to use the same funny challenge as me and support the channel at the same time, I just sent out the link to my Forex funds. That is currently the challenge account that we are on right now. We're currently at 0.83% in profit. But again, guys, we're being patient for our entry. If we get it, cool. If we don't, cool. Remember, we do have orange folder news starting at nine. I don't know personally how Chef Pears, like Chef News reacts to gold. This is actually gonna be the first time I see something like that. So we'll see. And then after that at 10 o'clock, we have another USD news but we are at 147 likes guys if you guys have not already smashed the like button go ahead and smash that like button let's get it to 150 stream is popping right now we've been live for a little bit over an hour so welcome each and one of you guys and uh yeah so we're analyzing gold right now guys this is literally gold yeah this is gold this is what i'm waiting for you and then uh fx starfleet i enjoy swing trading as i place Stop loss and take profit on my half position while I'm sleeping and it takes all the pressure off. That could work. Some people got that swing trading stuff down to a T, dude. It's just not me. Uh, what's my RR? Like I said, I, I secure and float. So at one to one, I'll secure partials and float. If the trade is telling me that's going to continue to the upside, it hasn't reached full structure yet. Um, but for the most part, guys, I'm very aggressive with how I manage my trades. I protect my capital like like that's what I do. I just literally protect my capital at all at all costs, and especially what we're gonna be doing on this funding account, or this challenge account. Where can I learn to trade forex, guys? Honestly, just click the link at the top of the uh, at the top of the chat right there. That's my supply and demand, support and resistance video. Um, that's what I trade. That is the basis of my entire strategy. And then if you guys want to look at like actual entries and what I look for for entries, all you guys got to do is go ahead and watch the journal entry breakdowns on the channel as well. Those ones are pretty sick. Um, it goes over a bunch of different types of trades, bunch of different different types of setups that I look for. Like no trade is ever going to be um, exactly the same. Dude, my neck is killing me. Okay, um, let's see. What else we got? This 15 minute candle is closing in two minutes as well. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. What is this, the 15? No, this is the five over here. Let me see this. All right, guys, so I'll explain what I'm doing right now in like two seconds, but basically I'm risking 0.5%. Okay, I'm putting my stops above the supply up here. And then now I'm waiting for this candle to close. We got one minute on this 15 minute to close and I'm, it's looking like it's gonna close bearish, right? So if it closes bearish and I get momentum to continue to the downside on the open of the next candle, um, I will take an impulse entry on this buy. But if we start managing this on the five minute and it goes against me, we will wait for a re-entry up in this area. All right, let's do 0.25. All right, there we go. So let's see what happens. Um, is volume, is volume an actual trader count? 
volumes, just like how much money is flowing through the market at a given time, like banks and institutions. It's not really like what we're like what trades we're taking. It's more about like what trades they're taking. Sokar, Sokar, what is the best strategy for managing money? Buying magic keys, thirty-five dollars for the on-screen version, and then like a hundred and eighty-five. I think it's like one sixty after you use the ten percent discount code. Top link in the description. Click the magic keys link goes over here you guys can use 10% off on either or um, but me personally I like to use the physical edition of these things um, it truly helps me out with managing my risk I can go risk okay I guess the site's just not going to load but anyways click that link right there use code TJ10 at checkout help yourself out invest in yourself um, but yeah it's it lets me focus more on the chart and not necessarily worry about risk management it just lets me focus on like what the candlesticks are telling me uh any strategy you need to learn nothing makes you profitable overnight yeah absolutely nothing makes you profitable overnight like forex is all psychological guys like just trading in general like as long as it makes sense to you like don't overcomplicate it that's what i've learned okay just don't overcomplicate the process enjoy the process and take it for what it is and like as soon as it starts making sense and like you feel like it's making sense but it's too simple like that's good keep it that way don't add more stuff to complicate yourself in this psychological game okay like you want to keep your mind as clear and free as possible while trading so you make the highest level decisions and it's like you're still going to make mistakes like we got to understand that okay you guys got to understand that we're still going to make mistakes all right but it's how we bounce back baby it's how we bounce back very important to understand all the concepts it does lie about market makers going after retail traders money it is not true we are only about five percent of all volume True, true. Let's go back down to the five minute. So it's either going to be a double bottom on the five minute and continue us up into this area, or it's going to break below. Okay, so we got multiple options right here. Again, guys, news is coming up. So we'll see. We'll see. That's why I bumped the risk down to only 0.25%. We're risking hardly anything. We got to be like super simple on the trade. Super simple on the trade. We're already in profit on the challenge account. No need to go overdo it, right? But if we're if we're seeing that we're we we can't hold the momentum up from this one hour demand, and we're starting to break these lows, we'll enter. Okay. <laughs> Just saw an ad for the for the fancy chairs. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. Um, I'm so far behind on the chat. I'm sorry, guys. One sec. How would you say about gap in one hour candles, especially the news candles? Those are like the best gaps. Those are actually like the best gaps in my opinion. Because that's like, that's just pure volume all at one point. So like that we know that that's clear imbalance. Like that's just not normal, right? It's just, it's clearly some, some type of event. There's some type of catalyst to push price into a certain direction. And eventually it'll have to kind of like go pick up the orders that it lost because <laughs> some people got left behind the big dogs are greedy there's still money to be made what do you think about your usd um mbi i will check out uh, all other pairs a little bit later in the session we're just gonna get in our first trade get in an area where we're kind of like in profit we can secure and float and then i'll start we'll start chilling um David, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Thank you for asking. Really do appreciate that. By the way, guys, my name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, all you guys got to do is smash that pretty, led, that pretty red button right there. Turn on bell notifications. And then, of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, gaining any value or knowledge at all from this live stream, all I ask is that you hit that like button. Currently looking to short gold. Um, if we can break these lows, there's only one minute left in this five minute candle. So I would really like to see, I would consider this my break a structure candle at that point. And then once we break, we'll kind of take it to the downside. And at my stop, we're like not risking, we're literally not risking anything. So normally guys, when I do like, when I find my break a structure candle, normally, like let's say it closes here, and it's very bearish perfect if it breaks below um i will enter the position and my stops will be like this okay in a normal situation i haven't decided if i'm going to sorry normally like this whatever my break structure candle is that's where my stops will be 
Um, but because it's nine nine o'clock is coming up, I should put my stops at least above these highs, at least. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I need to see like some clear momentum to the downside before I enter this trade. And then again, like dude, like my take profit doesn't matter as long as my stop loss is is dialed in. That's all that I care about. Okay, just want you guys to know that. And then David, yeah, trade support and resistance supply demand. So if you want to check out a video on how I use both of them together in my strategy, it is the link at the top of the video right there. I'm trying to get that I'm trying to get that video to be like as popping as possible, honestly. But I'm trying to just help as many people as I possibly can. What do you think about you? Who else we got? Botswana. We got Argentina. We got Kenya. Balkan, Germany, Orlando. Georgia, Iran, Detroit, Abu Dhabi, Hungary, <laughs> Hungary, Hungary. I think that's how you say that. I was going to say hungry. I'm like, dude, I'm, I kind of am hungry right now. Uh, Kosov, Mars. <laughs> Everyone says Mars. Bangladesh. How are you doing on the challenge? We're doing all right. We're up 0.83% right now. So this could be actually a good buy position to take up into this zone, just so you guys are aware, because it does look to be creating a double bottom here. Just so you guys are aware. Like this is that re-entry. If you guys were looking for buys off the hour demand, this looks like it will be a re-entry. Uh, not confirmed yet. Waiting for this five minute closure will kind of be that that game changer for you. What about crypto trading? I'll mark up crypto for you guys. Where are you from? I'm from California. Um, what would you say is the psycholo uh, psychology that allowed you to become profitable? Just literally like knowing myself like having a deeper understanding of like who i am and how i operate and w the things that i look for like who am i as a person that helps your psychology a lot okay let's see how this five minute count closes And remember, what are we risking, guys? We're risking 0.25%, all right? I'll answer that question for you. Because we're already up 0.83% on the challenge account, right? We're not going to be risking too much. Normally, we would risk 0.5% on these trades. It is Wednesday. TJ doesn't trade Wednesdays, and it's a massive news day. And we have news in eight minutes. Um, orange folder news, but it still is news. So definitely should still not be risking too much per trade on these um like in these certain situations, although the trades are looking very juicy and very solid, um, still should keep the risk low. Still should keep the risk low. Food swings was is good. Mm -mm. Which uh, one of the fun and challenges did you choose? We chose the least challenge, like the very smallest one. So we chose the MyForex one's 5K account, guys. I want to show you guys what is possible with the least amount of capital up front as long as you prove yourself consistent. So obviously, I want to see if I can get funded live with you guys while live trading. And then, of course, get the payout, get funded, get the payout, reinvest it into a higher challenge, and then rinse and repeat because everyone talks about doing that um, all over YouTube. But, like, let's see if it's actually possible. We'll see if, like, what everyone says is so easy to do and so attainable if it's actually possible. Right? Obviously, I'm taking a little bit higher risk doing it live with everyone, just having a bunch of outside noise and like answering chat and still focusing on the chart. I think I got my mindset down well enough to be able to perform at a high level um, and still answer questions at the same time. I think my multitasking is a little bit is a little bit higher level than than most. So we'll just put it to the test, see what's possible. Gold emptied your account. Oh man, watched uh, you. CPL days now, loving the vibes and transparency. Rock, welcome to the channel, man. Thank you so much. Of course. Of course. I appreciate, uh, like, again, guys, like, I, I preach this. Like, if you guys, like, whatever you put out into the universe, right, you will, you will get back, okay? Just be a good person, okay? So, like, my thing is, is, like, this is an industry that has a very bad and, like, stained name in terms of, like, marketing, just selling people the dream and all this stuff um, and not really being transparent. Okay, so 
if I want to kind of make an impact and leave like a legacy, like in this industry, like what I have to do is be as transparent as I possibly can. Like, obviously, like, I don't want you guys to focus on the monetary value. I just want you guys to focus on the trading and the skill set for itself. OK, so you guys will never see me flex about my personal accounts that I trade, anything like that. Like, I'm only ever going to trade challenge accounts with you guys on here. I just don't think that it's smart to kind of use money as a tool to get more eyes on me instead of using what the skill is to get the eyes on me. OK, so it might take me longer than like the for the big Forex gurus to get where I'm trying to go, but I think that I will actually change the most amount of lives if I do things the right way. We also got people from Brazil, Jamaica, India, Magnolia. Um, are you in a trade or you put order? Can't see your profit. I'm not in a trade yet. This is my magic keys. We're just chilling right now. You're a chef officially broke structure potential long. Are you in? No, I'm not in yet, guys. I want to see what this does. We're, we should literally just wait for the nine nine o'clock candle because now it's like, we yeah. We, if it's news at nine o'clock, we should literally just wait and see what the news does. So I'm just gonna take the calculator off. I thought this next five minute candle was just gonna give us immediate immediate upside, fill the imbalance. But if if we if we our original analysis on the 15 was just waiting for this, just be patient and wait for this. Let the news take us up to here. It's orange folder news. Give us a little volume and then look to see if we're rejecting that area. And we'll just take shorts if it, if we do that. So I'm going to close my calculator on magic keys. I just saved myself some heartache, some pain. It's all right. And then Kenny just passed a 10K and 25K. Awesome, Kenny. Congratulations. I love to see it, man. Love to see it. Welcome to the stream, by the way. My name is TJ, guys. If you guys are new here, I've been trading for four years. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. Uh, my goal is to kind of document this whole entire process of getting funded live with you guys and then reinvesting the profits that we get back into a bigger challenge and um, just try to get as much capital and control of capital on the live streams that we possibly can so I can trade that live for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to stick around, all you guys got to do, subscribe to the channel. We hit 4K subs yesterday, so it was a big monumental day. If you guys want to be a part of the journey, again, smash that pretty red button. And then, of course, turn on, turn on post notifications. And of course, if you guys are having fun and you guys uh, are enjoying or getting any value from this stream, go ahead and smash that like button. We're currently at 174 likes. We have been live for over an hour and a half, waiting patiently for our setup. If it doesn't come today, guys, it doesn't come, okay? We already talked about this yesterday. Like, I need to see some clear black and white, sked like, <laughs> like just clear black and white trades. And for me, just looking at the higher time frames, like watching this four-hour candle form right now, and it's a, a bearish engulfing, I should be looking for shorts all day. Can it find support in this one hour demand here? Absolutely. That's why we're getting some rejections here. If the news rejects and closes the gap on the 15 minute, okay, and we come up to this 200 moving average, we got some good structure here, maybe give us a liquidity grab up into this supply and we start closing with bearish rejections. We're just going to have to enter that short. We're just going to have to enter the short. That's what it comes down to. How much lot size do you use, guys? Guys, I don't worry about my lot size. This this beautiful contraption here called Magic Keys, that's the one that worries about the lot size for me, okay? So if you guys are trying to get 10% off on the uh, the 10 percent off on Magic Keys, you guys can use the affiliate link. You just got to click the link, top one in the descriptions, and then click that Magic Keys link, and it will take you over here. There it goes. It loaded this time. And all you guys got to do is get that version 3 right there. It's a brand new baby. I think they released it like two or three weeks ago. Um, I currently don't have, I have version two right now, but if you guys are looking to level up your trading, this is the tool for you. And then of course use TJ10 at checkout. If you guys want to join the discord, it's the same exact link. You guys completely free discord, click the discord button. Uh, you guys will be into this verification tab here on the right. You got to click that. It'll take you to a third party site. You're going to fill out the captcha. Um, and then you will get your role and you guys will see like all this stuff, right? Uh, but guys, my trade idea is like this discord started. What is this, 2023? This Discord started in July of 2022. It almost went into, yeah, it almost went into 2021. Or sorry, not July, January. So super sick, super stoked on it. Definitely have come a long way, you guys. So there's that break of structure coming up to nine o'clock. Let's see if we can get some rejections after news. Nice little liquidity grab. I should probably get my calculator ready for shorts because we're planning on taking shorts. I should probably do that probably be pretty nice okay probably be pretty nice if we did that huh we'll just put our take profit somewhere down there 
dude, my neck is killing me. And then and Ateni is funded 600k on my Forex funds. Absolutely awesome. We got a lot of funded traders in here. You guys are killing it, guys. Keep it up. Some life-changing stuff right there. No, I'm not in any positions right now, guys. No positions. I do think that you could have gotten that five-minute double bottom buy, but I was just like, I had to like step back a little bit, and I'm happy that that next candle didn't give me clear momentum. I would have been tempted to just jump in the trade, um, but it wouldn't have been smart, right? We got orange folder news, so let's see how price reacts. If we can start rejecting off of this zone in the 200 MA and close bearish, we'll enter our original analysis of shorts. Okay, we just got to see how this works out. I gotta like stretch right now. Um, all right, let's see. Risk management. What gold taking my 70% 70, 70 capital today loss? Uh, dude, that's a uh, that's gnarly, guys. Risk management, risk management. We need we need magic keys all around. Everyone, get a, get a pair of magic keys. You get magic keys. You get magic keys. I'm on phase one on 50k for TFT. There you go. Buys or sells tree. I'm looking for sales overall. Jay Patel is back in the building. Just need $500 more, and I passed my 25K challenge. There you go, Angel. W's in the chat for Angel. I love that stuff right there, baby. I love that. Chef News in five. We're going to see how this reacts, guys. I've never I've never watched Gold and seen Chef News come out at the same time, so I actually don't know what to expect. Let's see. And uh, LMAO got a buy running on Gold right now. Quick scal oh, For quick scalps, for sure. I think buys will be solid. That's why I almost entered the buy position, and I was like, "Nah, let's just wait. Let's wait for the. Let's wait for my my cells. Let's just wait for my cells. That's what I want. Let's wait for cells." And it kind of aligns with like higher time frame too. Um, J King said, "Oh snap! I was watching the live from 15 minutes back, talking to myself. <laughs> I'm dead." Did you take a trade? Not yet. Daily, daily was good, Vincent. But like, what does Magic Keys do? How does it work? So basically, it's a calculator, right? So as price gets closer to this, like every time price moves, it adjusts the risk for me as long as I set the risk to what I want to to, to risk. So if I want to risk, in this case, 0.5% or 0.25%, um, every time price adjusts, it's going to adjust the lot size that's needed. And then at a click of a button, so if I get my entry and I'm scalping and I want to get in instantly, I press that button. And at that moment, the risk is absolutely calculated to a T. So that's why I love Magic Keys so much. If you're joining us, welcome. TJ is looking for a trade setup. We have news in one minute, so please be patient. Absolutely. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Bro, the 2028 is the order block that will be tapped in the sell-off. Okay. So I love, I love when people call it order blocks, but in my head, it's just supply and demand. It's crazy. It's just supply and demand. Hey, Jay, so continue being uh being awesome, bro. Yo, TJ, got a Telegram or a VIP Telegram? No, I don't. I got a Discord, though. I got the Discord. If you want to join that, it's completely free right now. We're not charging for anything at the current moment, guys. Um, I'm currently, like, mentoring somebody, but I'm about to go on vacation, too. So it's just, like, time times aren't lining up. The only things that I will ever charge for are going to be, like, Pretty much the basic stuff, but I'm gonna find ways to add more value than the next guy. Um, so, for instance, like my boot camps, I'm always gonna keep my boot camps small and intimate, so that way I can teach you guys and answer the questions that are suited directly towards you and how you learn. Um, because if there's too many people, there are people out there that are kind of like stage fright, if you will. So, if I'm if I'm kind of just talking and I ask questions and everyone understands, and there's 50 to 100 people, they're gonna be like, uh huh, yeah, I understand, but like truly they don't understand. So. The way I'm going to do that and kind of counteract that is always keep my boot camp small. Don't necessarily make it like an absolute huge cash grab. Just make it to have the interest of the person purchasing it, their best interest in mind, right? Because I want to provide as much value and give the most knowledge that I could possibly give in those two days or three days boot camps that we do. Um, but we're not there yet. Like I said, I'm currently mentoring somebody. So that's in taking the investment majority investment of my time. Um, and we're going to pick up back with the mentorship with and him right after I get back from Hawaii in like i'm pretty much gonna go mia but i'm gonna have content ready to go for you guys but i'm gonna go mia for a little bit at the end of may and then the beginning of Ju uh, june so a lot of stuff planned eventually i'll have a course too guys but I'm, i might make some people mad i might just keep my course super cheap like what is the average price of a course right now 
it's definitely over it's over 300 right i might just make some people mad just to make them mad and like just just give out the game for absolutely dirt cheap i might just do it for the memes and then have you guys kind of like review it keep it super cheap for a long time get as many reviews as i possibly can get on it see if it truly helps and develops people as traders and then of course uh you know to take it to the next level and get a deeper understanding of everything have it more personalized to you we'll have the boot camps and then i like some people want me to do the uh, memberships for for youtube but i don't know if i want to do memberships for youtube or if i want to just go and do like a discord membership because it kind of be the same thing but i feel like i can provide more value in the membership for a discord like i can answer more questions and kind of like be in touch with you guys more closely when i'm not on the live streams i got 22 days left and i'm down 70 dollars in total had a bad start do you think it'll be possible to reach 1600 dollars us profit lma so what you got to do bro is don't focus on that focus on just getting in profit okay that's step one don't focus on getting sixteen hundred dollars in profit focus on getting in profit to begin with so that way when you do come like the timer is ticking right just take your time only do high probability setups and like practice on getting in profit so if the time runs out you at least get a free retry because you're in profit magic keys would have saved me today was up 30 percent on the account this morning during cpi totally dude you could have put stops at break even or drag that thing up manually however you want to do it do you think it'll break the 15 minute demand i'm honestly waiting for a rejection here guys this is 15 minute supply do i think it will break it probably not how long do we have for the four hour candle this doesn't close so we still have some time let me see how this last hour candle closed hour candle is still showing rejections to the upside but i believe that it's gonna this this new hour candle should re retrace to where we're kind of expecting it to there's good amount of structure here and then we could see it reject and it's also around the 200 ma on the 15. so that's why my stops are set up like this and then what did ross say oh yeah okay got you yeah yeah some people call it order blocks some people call it supply and demand so whatever makes sense to you guys raw academy really do appreciate that stuff guys by the way guys my name is tj i go live monday through friday at 7 30 a.m pst if you guys want to be a part of the journey as i currently try to get funded live with you guys take out the profits reinvest it into a higher challenge we're literally starting from ground zero live documenting the entire process with you guys all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and subscribe to the channel all right and then uh, of course if you guys are gaining any value or knowledge at all hit this hit the like button we're so close to 200 likes guys we are definitely popping off right now so shout out to each and every one of you guys if you guys are new in the chat definitely let me let me see who you are like welcome yourself to the community we're still small but we're still pretty intimate we know who the regulars are we see them every single day so if you guys are a part of the community now and you guys consider yourselves one of our family go ahead and join the discord and then of course mention yourself who are you in the chat in the chat uh did you have any live demo on magic keys before thanks so pretty much for my magic keys i practiced on demo for a while until i really got it never took it straight to uh to live capital until i was completely confident in how to operate it um, and i recommend everybody do that as well just because you get magic keys and it's a risk management tool if you don't know how to use it it can still go bad just get comfortable with using it see how it operates understand you know what needs to be done before you enter the trade and do it before you like don't rush yourself if it's not set up before right and you made a mistake don't try to set it up fast because you might make a mistake have it ready to go like how i have it right now like just have it ready to go and then and then just wait for price to get where you're trying to go and then press open open trade it's that simple you got a sell limit at 20 30. no i got us i i'm managing this so as soon as i see rejections on a 15 minute time frame and it closes and we're getting aggressive selling heading to the downside i'm gonna i'm gonna hop in a position my this is my stop loss so it's like predetermined risk right so if i'm risking 0.25 percent just because i don't want to take that much risk today um then i'm gonna have my stop loss right above the supply okay i'm not gonna try to put my stop above uh above my like break a structure candle or anything like that like my entry signal that i normally would just because i want to give it plenty of room to breathe like guys this account is a 5k account and look at the lot size it wants me to use from how far away it is currently it wants me to use a 0.01 okay so it's like 
if if we could sit through this together and actually like make some profit off of a 0 0.01 we know what's possible okay this is a 5k account and magic key still still wants me to use a 0 0.01 on gold all right do you ever draw zones or lines um through price it'll price respond to old price action that has been traded before um cam in terms of supply um and demand and support and resistance all you guys got to do is watch that video up top that's how i utilize it that is how I utilize it. Um, just came home from work to catch your stream. Hopefully you had some good trades or was it a bloodbath today? Uh, we're patiently waiting. We're gonna patiently wait and see if we can get something off of this. Remember, we do have news at um, 10 o'clock as well. So we might not get what we're really looking for until 10 o'clock. So that's kind of uh, it's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, USD Chef. Watch uh, correcting go sell. Did you catch any trades today? Not today, not not yet. Forex with Sam the goat. Can't see the balance. The balance is right here, guys. This is our trade history so far. Okay, we're all at 0.83 percent. I posted the results in the Discord. I don't know if it's still there. Let's check it out. Where is it? There it is. So if you guys want to see what the dashboard looks like, this is what the dashboard currently looks like. I haven't taken any more trades since then. Okay, so we're we're doing pretty good right now, but I don't we're still in the cushion stages. We're still pushing our cushion as high as we can. So we have a little bit of playroom so we can start upping our risk. So we're just chunking away at this bad boy right now. We're chunking away at it. Okay. Uh we are almost at 200 likes by the way as well. And then N N J Bailey donated one dollar. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Big shout out. Hopefully that means I'm providing a bunch of value and knowledge for you, and uh, it's definitely helped you out. Helped you make some money. That would be super sick. Super sick. Um, by the way, guys, when you guys donate, if you guys want to get your name on the stream, um, I know this is kind of weird. I thought it would actually take the donations that we're getting from the super chats and put them on that little box right there. Um, but it is through Streamlabs, okay? So if you guys want to get your name on the stream, all you guys have to do is send a tip through here or a donation through this link, and then your name should pop up under new tip and top tip because you'll be the first one. Totally not needed at all, you guys. Like, we're literally just chilling and vibing. I just do what I do because I enjoy helping people, okay? And I'm just creating a community, right? Just have like-minded people in the community, because communities make us stronger. This is a lonely journey as a trader, but if you have a community behind you, the world is yours. The world is yours. And then if you guys are stuck on the, if you guys are stuck on the verification page, I don't really know what to tell you, um, honestly. It, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Pretty much my what I was told to do is because there's bots that could just type verify and all that stuff in the verification place. It's not safe to actually verify people manually. OK, like this, there, the reason that this is here is to prevent bots, to prevent scammers from joining and everything like that. People that have bots set up re just readily available to like script the same scam over and over to people. So if you guys are trying to join the Discord, once you click the Discord link, top link in the description, click the Discord button, you're going to press this verify button. It takes you to a third party website, fill out the CAPTCHA form, and then you guys will be entered into the Discord, okay? I, I, who else we got right now? How's the funding going? Can't see the balance. We're still at the same place that we were yesterday, guys. Still kind of waiting for our setup to form. If we get our setup, it's still not confirmed that we will. And we do got news at 10, okay? We do have the news at 10. So if I'm getting too close, if I'm getting too close to where I don't really like, you know, like let's say I'm about to enter and it's 10 o'clock, I might just hold off and kind of see which direction news is going to take us. What's this one? Oh, there we go. Yeah, bro, you're there. You're, you're almost there. This is Ellen Mayo from chat. 207 people today. What is up, guys? My name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys want to watch the journey of me getting funded live with you guys and documenting it from start to finish, all you guys got to do is just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Stay tuned. And if you guys are looking for the Discord link, it is the top link in the description. If, of course, if you guys are getting any value or knowledge, you guys just like hanging out with us and chill. Um, yeah, of course, hit that sm <laughs> smash that subscribe button. 
we're currently at 205 likes the vibes are high today guys we're chilling like we're literally chilling right now so shout out to all of you guys community has been popping community's been growing we literally hit 4k subs yesterday and like i don't even i'm scared to kind of see what we're at right now we're kind of popping we're kind of popping we are at 4184 subs guys so we're almost on track to hit 4.2k today and then jacob what is magic keys magic keys is my risk management tool okay so like that red line right there that is my stop loss on my metatrader just waiting for me to press open trade so my risk is already pre-calculated predetermined before i even enter my trade all at a click of a button i could put stop loss at uh break even at a click of a button i could close half i could close partials i could sue a set amount if i want to close 90 percent instantly you could set that button up there's so much stuff that you guys could use and utilize this tool with and if you guys want to go ahead and use the top link in the description you guys too can also get 10 percent off to invest in yourself here using this magic keys link coupon code tj10 at checkout they just came out with version three it is backlit it actually looks it looks freaking sick i'm not gonna lie so again they got multiple versions they got on-screen version if you guys don't mind kind of tabbing around and having it on your screen versus the physical product it's a lot cheaper and you could still save 10 percent off as well uh completely up to you guys whatever fits your guys' needs you guys go handle again if you guys do purchase it learn how to use it on demo account before you guys actually go and <laughs> start live trading with it like understand how it works first all right could you go through this current short position that is possible so yeah yeah i got you guys so we're kind of watching this, um, you know, this hour candle closed with a nice rejection, okay? It could close really nice off of this hour demand. Okay, I'm looking for price to really break below here. So we had two options. Excuse me, that was the burp break. Anyways, so we have two options. Price could have broke through here and close and gave us like a retest of structure here, here, and then continued down. And then that's what our setup would have been. Because it held here, we're looking for this 15 minute supply to kind of like get a retracement, right? We've had aggressive selling. If we look at the four hour, four hour is very aggressive. It's still, a bull, as of now, it's a bearish engulfing, okay? As of now, it's a bearish engulfing. So we got to just monitor it and see how it closes. We got a couple bearish candles closing. This is the last hour before the four hour closes. So let's see what's next, 15 minute. So now I got my confluence over here, which is this. Is like we called out the five minute double bottom. We were about to enter buys from here, but then I was like, nah, let's let's wait and be patient for the bigger picture, right? We're not risking as like we're not risking that much as is on these trades because it is Wednesday and it's a big news day. And we're already in profit. We just want to keep in profit and just slowly chunk away until we have our cushion, then we'll kind of up the risk. So price is now kind of rejecting off this two hundred and this structure here. So price could definitely reverse from this point, right? But we're going to be patient and see if it's a true reversal, if it's actually going to break these lows and close down here. Then I'll look for buys from this area. If it comes all the way up here, and I, I really like price giving us a liquidity grab, like a nice wick, kind of smacking this structure here and then smacking into this supply and then closing below the 200. That would be my ideal setup. Like that would be my ideal setup for sure. And then I would kind of wait for price to just fall. I would monitor it when we get back down into this demand zone, right? If it's going to break, it, it'll kind of tell us. We'll kind of have an idea on the lower time frames if it's having clear momentum to the downside um, or if it's going to reject it again. And then at that point, we're stops at break even. And, you know, we're pretty much just waiting to kind of just manage the trade because that's what this comes down to most of the time, guys. It's just trade management. Like it's literally just trade management. Okay, it's. It's not necessarily the strategy. It's not necessarily the setups. It's just being patient with your psychology and managing the trade. Okay. Like we, we do have the website where I kind of talk about, you know, what I, what I look for in a profitable trader, what I believe creates a profitable trader. And we can kind of go over that while we wait. How many times, how many more minutes we got? We got, we got a good amount of minutes. So let me open up one of these real quick. Okay. Here you go. All right. This is what builds a successful trader. Okay, 77% psychology. So once we understand how the brain works, we could then reverse engineer the trader's favorite emotion, fear and greed. Next is 18% discipline, okay? You could be the best trader in the world, but if you are not disciplined enough to follow your strategy and plan, the road ahead of you is going to be very dark. And then 5%, everyone thinks this is like the most important, um, is gonna be strategy. There are many ways to make money in the market. A strategy that works for me might not work for you. However, the key part of any trading strategy is following the trading plan, okay? So why do I do it like this? Well, it's like 
they kind of work in blocks, right? So if your psychology is good, then you can focus on the discipline. If your discipline is good, then you should be worrying about the, the strategy, okay? And then if you reverse engineer that, hey, I have a good strategy, I have a good risk management plan, I have all this stuff, but do you have the discipline? Okay, if you're if you're still focusing on the discipline, if you're not disciplined enough, then that's kind of where you got to focus your attention. All right. And then once your discipline is good, that should theoretically kind of align with your psychology to help you start thinking in a higher probability mindset and just in a, in a higher level kind of kind of disengage your emotional brain and your logical brain and have your logical brain have a majority of that of like the pie. OK, so like if your brain equal like this kind of shrink your emotional brain and have your logical brain be a little bit bigger and kind of communicate because you will become you will see yourself come in emotional situations 100 percent, you guys are going to be in situations where you get emotionally hijacked you make mistakes and you don't think logically but our goal is to kind of minimize that and the way that we do that is we have our logical brain speak to our emotional brain and kind of talk some sense into it um but that's just being human okay that's just how the brain works it's called emotional intelligence okay it's called emotional intelligence. W's in the chat for emotional intelligence. Um, why can't I verify my Discord? Guys, I don't know what the problem is. Some people are verifying their Discord, some aren't. All you guys gotta do is fill out a CAPTCHA. So like, click this, go to the third party link, fill out the CAPTCHA form, come back, and then you should have your rule, okay? And then, Nayj is new here. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat, welcome to the community. Euro Pro, OMG Nightmare. Nightmare day, how's it going? We're doing good right now. We're just being patient. We're waiting for price to kind of reject our zone. And if we get some good rejection from there and a continuation of the trend, we'll enter for some shorts. We do have like 10 o'clock news though. So it's in like 40 minutes. It's in 40 minutes. Hi boss, I'm new to the game, but been never been this hungry for success. George, I love it, bro. I love it. If you're kind of new and you want to get like your base understanding of what I'm doing, I'm going to do Q and A's and I'll mark up pairs for you guys like live in front of you. We're currently just live trading right now, okay? So if I could find a setup today, I and it looks absolutely appetizing and absolutely amazing A-plus setup, I will take it. Um, but if we get past the news and volume starts kind of dying down and the setup never presented itself, we're not going to take a trade today. And what we'll do is we'll do Q&As um, for the rest remaining of the stream, and I'll mark up technical analysis with you guys. We'll chill. We'll chat. We'll have a good time. It's kind of what we do here. Forex Pips, what is good? Welcome back, baby. By the way, guys, if you guys are new here, my name is CJ. I last stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to go ahead and be a part of that journey with me, all you guys got to do is hit that beautiful red button. And then, of course, turn on post notifications. We just hit 4K subs yesterday, so we are cruising. We're definitely going to hit 4.2K today. I, I feel it. I feel it in my, uh, like, I literally just feel it. That's it. That's what it comes down to. Uh, but of course, guys, we're at 219 on the like button. We got 219 concurrent viewers. So if you guys are enjoying yourself here, gaining value and knowledge, smash that like button if you have not already. I love your content. To be honest, you aren't dry as other streamers. <laughs> Appreciate that, LMAO. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. I know I, I've, um, yeah, I've definitely um, hopped in a couple streams, like when I'm doing my cardio in the morning. And yeah, dry as... Dry is the best way to kind of say say that. I haven't watched that many streams though, guys. Um, let's see, one minute. Uh, I don't look at the one minute. I just just monitor like a little bit higher time frames. Like this is still scalping, guys. Fifteen and five minutes still scalping. You don't got to be on the one minute. But if you like the one minute, you trade the one minute, and you're profitable on the one minute. Be on the one minute. I get that you're engaging with chat, but doesn't it get tiring saying that all the time? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It gets tiring. 100% it gets tiring, but you know what? There's like this, there's this thing in my heart right now, right? I got heart. I got, I got heart and desire for you guys, right? I got that desire to just help as many people as I possibly can. So that takes out any tiredness that I may have. By the way, today's a Disneyland day too. So you know what? It was already a good day before the day even started, all right? <laughs> it was a good day before the day started. It was the Disneyland day. We're going to go vibe. We got to have that balance. We got to have that balance. Wifey and I, I don't know what we're going to do today. I don't know what side we'll go. We might go, Cal we might do both sides, honestly. We might go California Adventure. We might go Disneyland. Treat ourselves. You know what I mean? Keep those stress levels low. Probably after the stream, I'm probably going to go walk my dog, get some sunlight, sunshine. I think there's going to be sun today. I hope there is, or else that's not going to be working out all too well. 
Would I get in an oil buy right now? Let's see. Um, nah, I wouldn't get in it yet. Because we're still technically in a downtrend, right? We're still technically in a downtrend. You, you can consider this just overlap, maybe a liquidity grab on the higher time frame. It's like an hour, two hours or something. And it continued to melt. Um, wait, actually, one sec. I mean, yeah, but it, it's not a scout position. It's not a scout position. It, you definitely got a late entry, but if you're watching this, I would wait for like this 30 to close and I'd wait for the break of structure to continue up. But just know, like if you put stops here, and the only reason I say that is because, let me show you why I said that, hang on. So the only reason I say that is that we had this 30 minute candle close above the one, um, above the 200 MA, and we know that this is an hour's uh, demand. Okay, so bullish momentum closing above. This following one is closing above as well. You could you could do two things here, okay? It depends what type of trader you are, what style you, you kind of rock. If you're one that doesn't need like much for confirmations rather than like a break of liquidity or something like that, like you could take a buy instantly right here or you could just wait for closure and then you can go down to like the five minute and then you can say, okay, we close above these. We know that we're continuing to the upside. I'm going to wait for five minutes to come back down, retest the 200, come back into this demand and continue to the upside. That's if I was approaching this trade, that's how I would approach it. Okay. Cause I missed my first entry at the break of these highs. I missed that. Okay. And now it's getting more momentum to the upside. So I would just be patient. I would wait for this to create some type of double top, do whatever it needs to do, kind of retrace, right? Because we know it's a key level and we know that it could fall down a little bit. So if it falls down into our demand zone and we get multiple confluences and a respection off the 200 moving average and price continuing up with bullish momentum, I'll create my break of structure candle. I'll put a break of structure line here and I'll take it on the next open of the next candle right off the rip. What time zone am I, am I in? I am in uh, Southern California, so that's uh, Pacific Standard Time, PST. So 7.30 a.m. PST, Monday through Friday. If you guys want to come be a part of that, all you guys got to do is go ahead and smash that subscribe button. My name is TJ. I go live. I just said that. I did it backwards. But, yeah, you guys get the idea. I go live Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys are getting any value or knowledge, don't forget to smash that like button. We're just waiting for our setup on gold. Good old gold. But, yeah, but oil, this is what I'm looking at. This is definitely W's in the chat for oil. Like, I would wait for us to get a retracement. You could either have, like, a super safe stop loss and target these highs like this. Like, that's probably what I would do. Um, I, I've already started the funded account, guys. So, we're currently up 0.85% um, on the funded. Where am I at? It's not that attractive, guys. Like, I'm not trying to bait you guys in here with big, uh, big numbers. It's literally, we're taking the smallest challenge possible. Okay? Smallest challenge possible. Can you guys see this on the stream? Is it all on there? Yeah, it is. So we're up 0.83%. We have an 81% win rate. Okay, we've just been managing these trades super closely, super tight, and uh, just securing and floating a lot of our positions, only risking 0.5% per position. Um, and just whatever the market gives us, we take. As long as it aligns with our plan and, you know, we just stay consistent, that's what we're going to do. Does that all make sense to you guys, though? What's a good lot size for a 10K account? What do you think about my chart feedback? Probably probably sell from the order block. Let me see. Are you in chart feedback? This one's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Let me see. Is this gold? This is gold, right? Yeah, this is gold. This has to be gold. Yeah, it's for sure gold. Yeah, it's literally what I'm waiting for, too. Yep. Like whatever comes first. Sometimes guys I'll enter positions before before this something like this forms. Sometimes I'll enter like like let's say let's say you get a rejection and this candle closes like below these lows, right? But it has a huge wick off this 200 and a huge wick like respecting this area. Like we know we we really want it to respect this top line, but if it respects here and it respects the 200 and it gives us a huge wick to the downside, I would enter my first position there. 
but have my original stop loss, like a wide stop loss. So if price does come up here and touch against this line or even this area, I will double trade it. So it offsets the risk of the second of the first position with the second position. And as soon as my first position goes to break even, um, as long as it follows the analysis, I will either wait for my first trade to be slightly in profit, close that one, stops at break even on my second position because it's a way better entry, and I will hold that one. Okay? So that's how I maximize, like, just kind of how I manage my trades. We're mobbing right now. Money, what is good? Steve, you were on fire for two minutes and 10 seconds on US oil. <laughs> you saw that? Is that is that how long it took me on oil to kind of just well because we, we have like this other stuff already marked up on it so we've kind of been understanding what's happening on oil that's why I said this is one of those easy ones that I can kind of glance at I don't really want to get too much information in my head with a bunch of other pairs um, but we've been studying oil for a while and we've had the same markups for like over a week oh, okay keep up the great work yeah 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 do magic keeps work on all FX instruments indices and FX yes they do. Anything that is in your MetaTrader 5 or 4 or C Trader, Magic Key should have no problem working on. Devon, what is good? Do you vlog videos? Nah. I did one and I did, it was like, guys, it wasn't me flexing a Lambo. Like, it was literally me just showing you guys what I was doing without me even being in the picture. It was literally just me driving to a museum in LA, me looking at the museum, showing you guys what I saw at the museum, eating some food, and then going home. Okay, that was literally like my day in the life vlog. I'm going to the I'm going to Hawaii. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll freaking just record some waterfalls or something. I don't know, or the beach. But like, yeah, like I the daily vlogs. Guys, don't worry about the life. Like, if you guys want the lifestyle, okay. Like, let let me myth bust this real quick. Okay, forex lifestyle is all a marketing thing. Okay, if people truly wanted to do that, they wouldn't be posting about it. Okay, like. You can use the money for Forex to do whatever your heart desires. Just because you make money from Forex does not need to mean you you have to live the lifestyle that all these people on YouTube present in front of you, okay? Like, just know, like, treat it as motivation, right? You could, you could treat it like that. But at the same time, I believe it sends the wrong message to the people because it's like they're showing you all of this flashy stuff and you guys are focusing on the shiny objects rather than the actual skill set to get to that place, okay? So it's like... You guys, if you guys really want this, you guys shouldn't need that type of motivation to get you where you want to go. You guys should be self-starters and you guys should just be picking up on this knowledge and you guys should be making sacrifices in order to get where you want to go. And then you guys create your own lifestyle, your own Forex lifestyle. Your, your Forex lifestyle doesn't need to be what everyone else's is on YouTube. Create your own. Um, let's see. So yeah, oil is looking pretty pretty juicy i just went on another rant my bad guys didn't mean to do that i i sometimes just start popping off out of nowhere like i, I apologize i haven't taken any trades yet we're being patient if it doesn't get me a setup we don't get a setup and then Daz, same thing bro i kind of stayed away because of news as well if we get something we get something but like I'm not going to stray away from like my overall analysis or plan, right? If we got in on these lower time frame buys on the five minute, we would be doing okay. But at the same time, like this four hours is just still, still bearish engulfing. Okay. It's still a bearish engulfing four hour candle, tweezer top, wipeout bar, whatever the heck you guys want to call it. It's still engulfing. Okay. So like when we break these lows, we're breaking these lows. And I truly believe we'll probably fill into this level. We're going to have trouble in this area. Well, multiple areas. We'll have trouble in this area, this area, this area, and then the goal is to get to the gap fill. Okay. Hawaii vlog would go crazy. Yeah, guys, but then it's like I'm focusing on like, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll... I'm thinking. I'm like, I don't mind like posting like Instagram stories and stuff. If you guys want to follow the Instagram, it's literally like the top link in the description brings, brings you here. You guys can click on the Instagram up in this area um like you guys could follow this page right and you guys could see some of the stuff in hawaii 
But like for the most part, guys, like I'm pretty low key. Like I don't need to flash. Like I don't need to flex. Like I want you guys to be here for the right reasons. The right reasons is why I want you guys to be here. And it's like, if I have to grab your attention by showing you shiny objects, you shouldn't be here. Like I need you guys to already want to be here. Okay. Like this life isn't for everybody. Cause if I'm if I'm drawing you in shiny objects and you're chasing the shiny object and you're not even content with life as is right now, what happens when it takes you four years like it took me? You guys probably won't even get to four years, honestly. I don't know if you guys would get to four years if you're chasing a shiny object, if you're doing this for the shiny. Don't do it for the shiny. June, I'm doing it Monday through Friday. A little bit of volume right here. Nice little nice little volume. Money, we're going to check out. I got to focus and wait for my trade setup on these pairs here. Because um, gold's going to be moving quick. I'm only kind of looking at stuff that I already have marked up. And I'm kind of already expecting what price needs to do. Because we're currently live trading right now. Oh, uh, yeah. See, dang it. US 30, bro. I think I would have gotten stomped out, though, on US 30. I forgot where my stop was. Do you guys remember if I put my stops above? Did I have my, st where did I have my stops? Did I have it above here or did I have it above here? That would have been a nail biter, but like we would still be riding it. But again, I wasn't down or did I put it above here? I may have even put it above here. Who knows? I don't remember. You might have to scroll back on the stream to see where I was kind of at, but. We're coming up to we're coming up to that news time, guys. Let's see if we can get that set up. Kind of been waiting for it. The rants are great. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. I'm crying because I went in the downtrend too late, and now I'm in an L. June, I was just like. That's what I was telling people when we were falling from this area. It's like I could chase it, but I rather like I rather have a, a healthy retracement and then continue the trend down if that's what the market's really wanting us to do. So anytime you feel like you're about to enter a falling trade, step one, zoom out. Step one, zoom out. What what zones could we possibly chase off of? We got good structure here. We have a, a supply or sorry demand here. Okay. Look at how this hour rejected that that supply, or sorry that demand. Guys, I'm focusing so much on my neck right now. Jesus. All right. Hold up. Shout out, hey, shout out to Vibe Vendor CBD. Big shout out. Still the plug for myself. Still the plug for myself. Currently don't sell it to the public, though. My bad, guys. We'll start it back up eventually. COVID really kicked our butt. I had to become a day trader. Kind of sucks. Imagine. <laughs> uh... Nah, but it's, I'm stoked. I can't believe I still have like, I still have stuff left over. I gotta go wash my hands real quick. BRB. Are you guys still with me? I don't know if you guys are still with me. Let me find out I walked away and we dropped below 200 concurrent viewers. Let me find out I can't step away to wash my hands. You guys are crazy. Um, Let's see. Is that, is that said I can't make a million dollars for my first trade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, okay, fair value gap. That could be your liquidity grab in that fair value gap if that's what you're looking at. See, you guys, you know what's funny? Is that just by live streaming and hearing so many people come in that trade ICT, like, I understand the basics of ICT. So now I've learned, like, okay, order blocks are supply and demand. Okay, cool. Fair value are gap fills at the 50%. Like, it all makes sense. I, I've, by the way, I've still, uh, LMAO, I've tried to use multiple times on the stream. I've tried to line up the fair value gaps to, like, work for me. I never get it working. But I know people are, like, killer with the fair value gaps on the one minute. So, like I said, like, I'm not going to bash the strategy. Like, if you guys are making money, you guys are making money, baby. Like, congratulations to you. But just for me, like, I got to keep this stuff way more simple. Like, I got to keep, I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I was telling my wife this the other day. I was like, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I got to keep this stuff like like kindergarten, preschool level. And and we'll be able to understand it. If we, if we start overcomplicating it and we start going into like algebra two and stuff, like, bro, nah, like I, I need to keep this like kindergarten, two plus two equals four, like some simple, simple stuff. Um, can you talk a little bit how to achieve patience? I think it's a big issue. Um achieving patience guys is just understanding yourself and just kind of dis disconnecting your emotional brain with like using logic using the logical side of your brain to disconnect from the emotional side of your brain i used to be a very impatient person okay like very impatient um it's just like understanding yourself and working through it and getting better each day is what helps helps me okay like i've I've like I'm 27 guys, but I I feel like I have like I'm an old soul. Okay, I'm 27, but I feel like I'm I'm an old soul. I've been put in a lot of really different situations in life, and like grateful for each and every one of them. But like through some of those situations, patience was one of the biggest things I had to learn. I had to learn about myself. I had to learn emotional intelligence. I had to overcome roadblocks. Okay, and like the only one that could over overcome the roadblocks is TJ by doing the by doing the work. By doing the work and putting in the time, that's how you overcome roadblocks and just staying consistent with stuff. Like consistency, consistency, consistency. Um, I'm saying, what was this? Did I go into anything? No, not yet. And then money, I'll check EU. Like I said, guys, we got to wait till at least. Like because news is at 10 o'clock, we might not start looking at trades until like 10 30 11 today it's gonna be way later than normal we normally don't get news um while i'm while i'm like live streaming or live trading waiting for a setup like this we normally don't get news in the middle of the day like this at nine o'clock ten o'clock kind of random random times in my opinion mm -mm -mm. Just joined. What's the plan for gold, Doctor Sue? The, the these lines. Well, these are my these are my my goal for gold. So I'm looking at this four hour candle. Okay, I want it to close. I want it to close engulfing these lows here. Okay, like just literally tweezer top wipeout bar on this four hours. It's always a good sight to see. Um, if we drop it down into the hour. Okay, I didn't catch the falling knife here. I dropped it down to the hour. We saw hour supply here. Or sorry, demand. I keep doing that. Normally, I'm pretty good with it. Our demand in this zone here, and we have our structure, and then um, I think this is like 15 minute structure. So then I drop it down into the 15, and I'm like, okay, what's good? Well, at first we did this. I'll, I'll kind of walk you through the whole thing. At first we did this. I was about to take buys from here at the break of structure, and I was just like, nah. Like, let's just be patient. Wait for the 15 minute time frame, right? We have really good structure in this area. We have a 15 minute supply. We have a 200 moving average uh, rejection so far. Like I really want to see like price kind of inch its way up here coming up to this hour. And then I want to see a liquidity grab into this supply and close below this 200 MA bearish. That's what TJ is waiting for. When I see that, oh, it's on baby. It is on. Yeah, most. You're not too late, guys. We're literally just chilling right now. Uh, by the way, guys, my name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to be part of those live streams, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I go live at 7.30 a.m. every single morning. 
PST. If you guys are enjoying your time here, getting any value or knowledge, or just enjoying the vibe of the stream as a whole, all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, we're being very patient today. TJ doesn't normally trade Wednesdays, but because I am live streaming on Monday through uh, Monday through Friday now, gonna have to at least show up to the markets, right? And if something presents itself, if there's not any crazy news going on, um, and there's an opportunity in the market, I need an A plus. I need like an absolute black and white A plus setup. Like that's just if we're gonna risk any of the capital on the funded uh, challenge right now, one, I'm gonna risk half of what I would be risking right now, okay, to help minimize risk, and then two, I'm only waiting for I'm only waiting for like the absolutely like killer setups that we planned out, something like this. I'm not entering anything in, instinctively, just off the rip. I'm not doing any of that. I have to see some clear confirmations, and even if we make a very small amount of profit, maybe we make the nine dollars to make it a full percent. Like maybe we make that nine dollars. We don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, so you don't need to spam. Don't need to spam. I, I move down the list. I try to get to each and every one of you guys. Okay. I try to get to each and every one of you guys in the chat. Okay. Personally, if we close above 2027, 20, I wouldn't enter a short. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Did you upload in our group? No, I haven't uploaded in the group. So guys, if you guys ever want any of the technical analysis that I mark up, I need you guys to like let me know what you guys want to see because since I go live Monday through Friday 7:30 a.m. PST all throughout the week, this is kind of this is kind of what I'm what I'm doing now, right? So I don't really send stuff out. I should send this out though. Good idea. We've been patiently waiting for this for so long, but uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh. Okay, TJ, you need to learn how to spell, my boy. You need to learn how to spell. Shout out to computers, though. You feel me? Shout out to computers. Um, All right, I just wrote a whole essay for you guys. So if you guys are like looking for this trade idea, it's literally gonna be like in the Discord. Um, but yeah, TJ's been patient. TJ's waiting. TJ's chilling. Like news is about to come out. It looks like we're it's already starting off bears for this last 15 minute candle. So wherever this candle closes, if it closes with clear bearish momentum to the downside and we get clear momentum to the downside right after that, I will still keep my stops in a safe position here. Um, and then just follow the trend down with the clear momentum. Oil's coming down. What's oil doing? Uh, yeah, I mean it. It's doing. Yeah, it's doing what we kind of. I should have marked this one up too. Teach, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I feel like everyone should just be in the live streams. Well, I just understand why I'm entering these trades. I'll send this one out too, though, guys. Gosh. Here, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. Let's do this. No, 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 no. Yeah, we got to show them the highs. Okay, US oil. All right, trade ideas. All right, uh, everyone. US oil. We marked this up on the five min for. Um, wait for clear closure. Okay, I'm gonna type out type this out like I say. Wait for clear closure. Okay, and the continuation of momentum from this area. Risky taking the five min setup. 
right before news back out to higher time frame for safer stop loss but worse entry all right Does that makes sense gosh guys Anyways, my name is TJ. I last stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys are enjoying the content, getting any value or knowledge out of these streams at all, all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We currently hit 4K subs yesterday, so we are on a vibe right now. If you guys are enjoying your time here, gaining value and knowledge, again, of course, smash the like button. If you guys are looking for these trade ideas that I send out, again, again, you guys, like literally all you have to do is go ahead and join the Discord. I prefer you guys to subscribe and hit the like button. It, it just helps out the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here, like type in the chat, say what's good. My name's TJ, I've been trading for four years. And um, if you guys are looking for the Discord button, all you guys gotta do is click the top link in the description, okay? Top link in the description. Then you guys are gonna go ahead, click the join Discord. It'll take you to the verification tab. You guys are gonna click the robot, verify yourselves, fill out the CAPTCHA, and then the bot will give you um, a role, okay? Just don't be a scammer. Don't talk to anyone in DMs or anything like that. Don't send any links. All you guys gotta do is send screenshots uh, and respect one another, okay? There's many, many different traders in this Discord. We are all, you know, we are all in this niche together. So we're not here to bash anyone. We're not here to bash anyone's strategy. We're literally just here to vibe, chill, and have a good time and just look at potential trade ideas that I send out. Um, Zach sends out, like, or Trista sends out, okay? Like, just. Be respectful. We're all adults and we're all here for the same common niche. So it's completely free. Just don't be a jerk. That's all what it comes down to. Keep the vibes good. Keep the energy levels high. But again, guys, my name is TJ and I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So hit that pretty little red button. Turn on post notifications. If you haven't already, hit that like button. We're currently at 260 likes, guys. This stream right now is absolutely insane. Just so you guys are aware, it's absolutely insane. Welcome to all the new members. If you guys are new here, drop a comment down in the comment section. I will personally welcome you. If you guys don't hear me talking to your comment right away, just understand that I'm human. I'm trying to show respect to each and every one of you guys asking valuable questions in the chat as well. So I will make my way down there. You guys don't have to fret about that. That is definitely something that we're doing. We're working our way down the chat. Trying to provide value to each and every one of you guys. Do my best. I don't trust one minute fair value gap. Did once. I can send you an example. <laughs> Mo said the channel's growing. Absolutely. Do you think Asian session will have a reaction to CPI? So I've never traded. Oh, well, I've traded Asian session, guys, but it's always been a, a very, like, watching paint dry. It's probably the best way to, to put that. Um, so for me, Asian session is, like, it would be all this stuff. It's like yellow folder news. I don't think there's ever red folder news at that time. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think there's ever red folder news. And I feel like that's why it kind of just doesn't have much volume. And it just kind of like consolidates in areas. Some people are telling me that gold moves during Asian session. Um, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, I don't... I think that news... Any movement from news events and things like that, guys. It gets affected before... Like it gets affected in New York or if it comes out and it, it like affects itself right then and there in those first couple of minutes. And then anything else after that is just retracements. So we're coming up to our level. Um, how many more minutes? We got seven minutes until news comes out and then we'll kind of see how this reacts. Let's see if we can get a bearish candle coming to the downside from this area. Uh, Freak, we haven't taken any trades quite yet today. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Are we longing gold yet? Nah, 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 nah. If you guys took, if you guys took the double bottom buy that I marked up on the five minute that I was about to take, you guys are in profit. And you did take the buys, but I'm waiting for kind of like higher time frame analysis stuff. So I want to see how this, I want to see if this four hour is going to close. Number one, I want to see if it's going to close and engulf all this. Like, is it going to engulf all this bullish momentum? It's going to be a complete wipeout, and are we going to just it? There's multiple confluences, okay? Four hours about to engulf all the bullish momentum to the upside. Then we're coming up to structure on the 15, 15 minute supply, 15 minute 200 MA. So I'm waiting for clear, I'm waiting for closures. Today is a good day to have a good day. Every single day is a good day to have a good day, guys. It, it really is. We have the power to make every single day a good day. Make sure you guys get sunlight too. You guys are traders. You guys stay inside all day. I'm only doing this for the community at this point. But for the most part, like, even after the streams, I make it I make it like an actual thing to go out into the sunlight, right? Go walk the dog, chill, 
like get some sunlight let the sunlight hit your skin you know what i mean get some good energy coming through you straight vibe I passed the 10K FTMO free trial and then took the 100K. And today was, um, for me, again, lost, but still in profit. 1.1% of the account. There you go. It's all right. Wednesdays are a little tricky, guys. Like, if you have the opportunity not to trade Wednesdays, I was the most profitable not trading Wednesdays. But now I'm here for the people. I got to put on. Got to put on. Doom, 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 doom. Do you still see a potential trade in gold in the next couple minutes? Well, I'm not going to trade right at... Right at um, right at news okay it might take another 15 minute candle to close in the direction that i want it to go after news it might take two but if i start seeing momentum continue the downtrend after this four hour candle i'm gonna go ahead and I'll, i'm gonna hop in on that i'm gonna hop in on that but again it is wednesday it's a news day and it's a really weird time to have news so i'm gonna be patient i'm gonna wait to see if i can get my setup um but if it doesn't come before 11 guys like most likely like 10 30 we'll just go straight into technical analysis like that's what it comes down to if gold starts uh bearish from here shall we go for it after one hour closure if you guys think about it if you guys think about it this could totally just be like a one hour pullback right and then the next candle could melt down so this could be creating a supply on the one hour but we don't know yet so we're just being patient so i'm gonna let this news come in i'm gonna let the news do what news does and then tj's been <laughs> TJ's been patiently waiting for this setup. So if we hit this, we hit this. But I'm still not going to risk that much because it still is technically during news. <laughs> How's the challenge going? This is what we're currently at right now, guys. Where is it? So we're almost to a full percent. This is 0.83%. We do have... I marked it up in general chat somewhere. I sent it. Uh, There it is. I marked it up in general chat, but this is what we're looking like. Okay, so we're doing pretty good, but I don't want to force anything. Okay? Wednesdays are weird. Should we buy? Nah, not buying. I mean, you if you guys see buys, dude, buy, buy away. Buy away. But, like, my arrows, my arrows are telling me we were expecting buys when we were down here. And it's just doing what I was waiting for. Now we're going to see if it's going to continue to do what I'm waiting for. I'm not going to predict it. Just going to react. That's all. Crude oil so close to stop loss. We'll see. We're coming up to news, right? So did you guys read what I said about this trade? I'm going to read it to you guys. U.S. oil. We marked this up on the five minute and have been waiting for this area to respect. Wait for clear closure and the continuation of momentum from this area. Risky trade or risky taking the five minute setup right before news. Back out the tire time frame for a safer stop loss, but worse entry. So technically... If you guys know how I trade, it never even triggered us into this. We never take impulse buys just coming into a demand, let alone a five minute. Okay, let alone a five minute. The way I trade, guys, is I mark up my supply and demand and I wait for clear break of structure, clear momentum to whichever direction I'm going. So if this candle closes bullish, right, and let's say it engulfs this and respects the 200, this last five minutes in the next three minutes, that will be my break of structure. And if the following candle opens, and continues the, with the momentum up, I will enter the position. W is if you guys understand that. W is if you guys understand that. Because this is why I don't send out stop loss, take profit on most of my trades anyways. Is because people get the wrong idea. They're like, it came to the zone, buy. It's like, no, dude, Like you guys need to have clear confirmation to buy. Ws. okay, cool, we got Ws. All right, those are, my, those are the OG members. You guys understand how I trade. So that makes sense. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Uh, but, 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 where was I in the chat? I don't even know where I was in the chat. Um, new here. Can I sell at 2028? 20, if you see sellers, absolutely. I trade the Indian stock market. Should I try Forex? It's up to you. If you're making money in the stock market, like don't fix what's like, don't fix it. If it's broke, like not broke, you know what I mean? Like if you're making money, that's what you do for a living and you're having fun in the stock market. Cool. But if you're just trying for like a different environment, something that's a little bit more global, I don't know how the Indian stock market moves. I we get a lot of viewers from the Indian stock market and they they say it goes crazy. They say it goes crazy for sure. Sorry guys, I didn't know my desktop audio was on. Good did I play anything in the last couple of minutes? Did I play anything? I don't think I played anything to get copyrighted, but good thing I noticed that right now. Um Yeah. 
but we're at 282 concurrent viewers right now so welcome each and every one of you guys my name is tj if you guys are enjoying your time here you guys want to be a part of the live stream we're currently documenting the process of getting funded on a challenge account with my forex funds and we're starting from fresh accounts so this is where we're at currently we're at 0.83 percent guys if you guys want to be a part of that journey and uh, watch the documentation of it all you guys gotta do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and then of course if you guys are enjoying the vibes here you guys are having a fun time maybe learning a thing or two you guys can go ahead hit that like button help out the youtube algo 275 likes in the building though you guys that is a major major w in the chat the momentum is popping we are popping t gal welcome to the stream sing sing i think that's how you say that welcome to the stream i'm just gonna call you k i don't know how to say that first one welcome to the stream christian wilson welcome to the stream mohammed welcome to the stream lth welcome to the stream who else we got rc cello vas slow welcome to the stream all right so is it news all right we got news let's go back to what we're waiting for okay let's see let's see how this next 15 minute candle reacts okay let me get caught up on chat while this forms. Hopefully I don't get too uh too crazy here. Uh I think gold will reach the fair value gap right under the 0.5 Fibonacci level and then short it. Possibly. I took TFT 100k challenge was 1.6 but lost 4% looking to perfect the plan. Is there any way to understand volume? It seems to come in spurts. So Kenny Robbins, good question. I would look at market open, market close of New York session and London session, depending on where you're trading. You're going to see the most volume come in at those times. In the middle of the sessions, there's not a lot of volume. When you're trading Asian session, not a lot of volume. And Sydney session, not a lot of volume. So New York and London are the big boys. That's where you're going to get movement in the market for the most part, like aggressive movements. A lot, a lot of news comes out during those times as well, too. Um, and Kenny, if if you were looking for news, go to forexfactory.com slash calendar. OK, just type in Forex Factory on Google. It'll take you there and come to this calendar area. So the ones that are really going to move the market is this. OK, it's going to be these it's going to be these red folders and orange folders. Very rarely you'll see any noticeable movement from yellow folder news but understand that the news for what pairs you're trading like usd is going to be affecting gold right so that's what we're waiting for right now we have an orange folder going on we'll see what happens um and if it if it follows our plan we're going to enter here but it doesn't look to have any insane crazy volume quite yet it might take a couple of minutes here and we'll see it blasted through the demand zone yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is that news, right? So if we backed out on the higher time frames, where would you guys have put your stop losses? If we backed out on the higher time frames, would you guys put it below the hour, the hour demand, and then taking the ride up? That's why news is risky, guys. We don't, we just don't trade news. How, what's your, what's your take on fundamental analysis? How do you trade news? You just don't. Unless you went to like college for economics and you're like a freaking, you're a stud and you totally understand this stuff. Even then, some of the people that truly understand it at a high level, they say it doesn't react the same, like how it should based off of current news. Okay. Could have taken the stop at the 15 minute area right below 200 MA. That seems a little bit more safer. There's multiple things we could be doing here. Okay. Now it seems to be getting a little bit more volume in gold. Let's see how it actually plays out though. Mm -mm -mm. I'm never trading U.S. oil again. I took so many trades on U.S. oil and I lose every time. Uh, crypto trader, don't don't spam in the chat. Don't spam in the chat. We're all we're all uh, we're all adults here. I'm just slowly moving down the uh, I'm slowly moving down, trying to show each and every one of you guys attention. Okay, don't ruin it for the other people. Uh, news what minute it happened right now 10 o'clock for me so it's orange folder so we'll see what type of volume you get we'll see if we'll get enough volume to continue the trend down um, if it doesn't continue the trend down guys and it's clearly just breaking above these demands and every, uh, the supply and everything we're just gonna just not trade it and we'll just go ahead and start marking up uh, marking up charts for you guys am I a full-time day trader yes I do this full-time I don't trade my live capital on these streams though, you guys, okay? 
I want to attract people that actually want to learn the craft, not necessarily people that are just looking for uh, a quick buck or for signals or they need the shiny object in front of them. Like, if you guys need the shiny object, this is not the channel for you. Like, look at the channel name. It literally says started broke. Trying to relate to actually everyone around the world, not the 1% of people that uh, that just flex their, their goods to create more wealth for themselves. We'll actually teach you the skill set here. By the way, guys, my name is TJ. I last stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to be a part of that journey, we're currently taking a funding challenge live together. We're documenting the process with all the uncertainties. Can TJ get funded? We don't know. Stay tuned and find out. The only way to stay tuned, though, and find out, you guys, is going to be by subscribing to the channel, turning on post notifications, and then, of course, smashing that like button. My goal is to help at least one trader every single live stream. So if I do that, I am currently doing my job for you guys. Um, but again... This is not a signals room. So if you're looking for a signals room, you're looking for a buy, sell, stop limit, whatever, stop loss, take profit. If you need all that, this isn't the channel for you. Now, if you want to actually learn where to put all that stuff and why I enter and get a little bit more inside my brain because I talk out loud while I trade for six hours, um, then this is the channel for you. But if you're looking for just, I guess, like brain dead trading, you guys can, there's plenty of brain dead trading accounts that uh, will send you some signals. It, this just isn't the one. I apologize. Millman said, TJ, your stream is popping. Yeah, we're, we're popping, guys. We're popping. Didn't hear anything play. Just got filled on gold cells. Dang, you got you got you got, <laughs> you got sell stop orders on on news? That's next level. You guys are <laughs> you guys are crazy. Millman said, TJ, it's only a matter of time until you got 1 million subs. Guys, we'll see. We'll see. Nothing is guaranteed here in life, all right? I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, stay on my path, stay disciplined, and stay uh, stay pushing forward, stay chugging. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to sit here and try to force it. Like I said, guys, um, you know, like I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to do it the slow, organic way, and really just literally what it is, the hardest way, just providing pure value and not flexing, not marketing, just be myself. So if it takes me six years, it takes me six years. If it takes me 10 years, it takes me 10 years. <laughs> That's so me, Fazli is looking for a, for a signals room. <laughs> you think news goes up or down? Guys, I think I'm pretty much caught up on chat now. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much caught up on uh, on chat. Trader Star, do you think the news uh, is up or down? Um, currently, it's just still kind of respecting the area. We didn't get any insane volume, getting a crazy liquidity grab. Um, this candle hasn't closed yet, so there's still a couple things that like I'm waiting for here. Um, how to get better at spotting support and resistance. George, really good question. Click that link um, at the top of the chat right there. That is actually the video I created specifically for you guys, um, and it's pretty much support and resistance supply and demand in under 10 minutes. It's a video that I compiled for you guys to learn exactly what you guys are seeing in terms of the boxes and the lines on my screen, how I use them. Um, and then of course, like you guys can look for entries, right? So you know how I was explaining what, what's happening to oil right here, right? And I was like five minutes, super risky, back out, use a higher time frame thing, especially with news. So like what I look for for my entry signal on like these scalp entries, it's all throughout the channel, okay? There's multiple ways and multiple things that I look at in terms of entering a trade. So you guys could study them, but you need the foundation from that first link up there in order to find the key levels of supply and demand, support and resistance. And then you use those journal entries. I have 16 episodes currently, and it will go over exactly what I look for in past trades on the past live streams and how I entered and why I entered, why I managed them certain ways. Is it, like there's so much value <laughs> in the content that I created. It's just not viral content because it's very like, like it doesn't have a Lambo on the thumbnail. It's just not viral content. It's just some dude trading uh, supply and demand, support and resistance and key levels and break of structures. Like that's it. So like I said, it will take me longer to kind of be one of the top dogs on YouTube guys. But as long as I stay consistent, follow my morals and always just do what's right for the people that are consuming the content, like we'll go far. We'll go far. Just got to be myself. That's it. 
Um, thank God I found you, man. Nothing is free out here. I've been looking for good, pure content. Absolutely, Beast. Absolutely. And, like, I'm always going to have the free content, always going to provide value for each and every one of you guys. And then eventually, like, for the people that need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention, um, let's say they need, like, a course and they don't have time to come to every single live stream and kind of sit here six hours with us. Um, all you guys got to do is just, like, I will have, like, the boot camps for you guys eventually. I will have, you know the uh the courses but like i'm gonna make people mad i'm gonna make my course cheap because you guys pretty much know all of it but if you just need a little bit more a little bit more guidance i guess a little bit more clear guidance that's all and that's what you need as a person like i'll have it for you but it's not a cash grab and then andy says paper trader giving advice yeah dude crazy paper trader crazy gold still looks shiny <laughs> Let's see. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> I love the hammer. I love the hammer. But yeah, if you guys um, want to know what a paper trader is, so in order to validate Andy's kind of like, I guess, hmm, comment. Okay, so what paper trading is, is demo trading, right? So when we're taking these challenges, we currently are on demo accounts. Okay. You have to pass two challenges on two separate demo accounts, and then you get funded, and then they pay you out with live money once you have a live capital account. But in order to do that, you do have to do the paper trading. Um, so that is what we're doing. Well, don't even respond. It's a great, it's a great comment. And if, if for full transparency, okay, for full transparency, you guys, this is all we got to do. This is a paper trading account. No big numbers here, guys. No big numbers on this paper trading account. We're documenting the journey. We're documenting the journey. If you guys want to be a part of that, all you guys got to do is go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And of course, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are enjoying the content, gaining any value at all whatsoever. But of course, it's completely up to you guys. Andy, I appreciate the view and I appreciate you watching my ads for me, man. Um, but yeah, if this isn't the channel for you, if you need to go look at a real account or real trader, go ahead and do so. Um, by all means, you have the power to make your own decisions, sir. The absolute power. Dun, 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 dun. I went with my Forex funds good so far. So Forex Trader has definitely used my Forex funds. By the way, guys, if you guys are trying to take the same funding challenges as myself, all you guys got to do is smash that link right there that's coming through from Nightbot, okay? Um, I do get a kickback from it, but only if you guys were already planning on using my Forex funds, use that link. If you were planning on going through another... Um, company, go through the company that you already had the the ideal plan on going through. Um, let's see, how long have I been trading? I've been trading for over four years now at this point, you guys. Over four years. Okay, I'm a full-time day trader. I left my job a little bit before the new year. So we're, we're definitely over six months now, full-time day trading live in front of you guys. And then, of course, I don't trade my live capital. So people will get mad. That's okay. Um, but if they need to see my bank account in order to validate themselves and the content and the value that I provide, this isn't the channel for them. I've already kind of spoke many times on why I don't trade my life capital in front of you people. Like I'm not here to sh flash shiny objects. I'm here to show you guys what's real and what's possible. Um, but again, if you guys need the flashy objects, there's plenty of people that will flash that stuff. I'm just here to provide raw value and content for you guys at the entry level of transparency, like nothing to hide in front of you. Bye, Andy. Have a good rest of your day, man. Um, let me see. Okay, boss, thank you right now. I'm going from one week to one day to four hour to one hour for those. Uh, okay, George, I get you. Yeah, you could do that for sure. 100%. Everyone say bye, Andy. W's in the chat for Andy. He's going to go have a good rest of his day and trade his life capital. Bye, Andy. Gold stomp me out. W's in the chat for Andy, everybody. W's in the chat for Andy. It's not time to sell gold yet. Not quite yet. 
just stumbled on your live stream sick of watching videos with titles like i made a million dollars in five minutes this is a breath of fresh air chris <laughs> welcome chris welcome to the channel man if you guys want to be a part of the channel document the journey with us all you guys got to do let's go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking that nice bright shiny red object right there um and then of course you guys if you guys are having fun here enjoying the vibes and you guys want to be a part of the community smash that like button and then click that top link in the description to get into the free discord right over here okay it'll take you here you're going to click the discord button it'll take you to the verification tab press verify and then once you fill out the captcha puzzle you guys will be entered into the discord and of course guys there's going to be so so many keyboard warriors and it is what it is it comes with the territory it comes with the territory but we got w's in the chat everybody we got devon martin W's in the chat. George W's in the chat. We got Beast Mode Star Sailor. We got L in the chat. We got Steve. Who else we got? We got C4. June is Camo. Bye, Andy. <laughs> He's back under another account. <laughs> Probably. It's all good. Um, <laughs> w is in the account right here from Green Beetle. I watched one of Green Beetle's uh, episode yesterday. That was, that was a W in and of itself. Love the guy's content. So we're still waiting, guys. We're still being patient. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you want to make some money and get some knowledge. I love it. I love it. Steve, you have a great rest of your day, man. Please check GBP, JPY. We're almost ready to start looking at other pairs, guys. Almost ready. And I need to start scheduling... Um, I need to start scheduling the streams as well so you guys get post notific like get an email of when I schedule it. Uh freak what happened when, what's wrong with Andy? I made him upset that I'm taking a challenge live in front of everyone. I made him upset. It's okay. I need to go, boss. I will see you tomorrow. George, have a great rest of your day. Thank you for tuning into the live stream, you guys. By the way, my name is TJ. I live stream every day, Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST, documenting the process of getting funded live with you guys. We just hit 4K subs yesterday. Um, so if you guys are looking to be a part of that journey, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We are almost to 300 likes as well. If you guys have not already hit that like button, you guys are just chilling, enjoying the vibes, enjoying the free game, free knowledge. All you guys got to do is smash the like button. Let's get it up to 300. I know we could do it for show for show. Um, what else we got in the chat? Check what I posted in Flex Zone. Where you at? Is it this one? Oh my. Oh my gosh, Devon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Devon. Why we gotta do that? Why we gotta do that right before CPI like that? That is brutal. That is literally brutal. What else we got in here? We got Reese just taking buys on BTC this morning. What time was that? 6 a.m.? I just saw somebody say BTC is dead, so we don't know if this is confirmed or not. Okay, we got some nice volume charts here. Never learned how to read the volume like that, Darius. But it looks like a W in Tamayas, for sure. Absolutely. Guys, gold is still respecting this area, okay? We haven't got clear confirmations for sales yet. We're just being very patient and seeing if it's going to continue to hold this supply here or if we're going to break above. So this four-hour candle ended up being a bearish engulfing as well, okay? BDC is dead. We'll check BDC. I can keep this up open here, guys. Okay. I'll keep this up over here so I can kind of manage gold. We can go um, check out all the other charts and everything. Green Beetle's out of here. Take care, dude. Take care. Thank you for stopping by the stream today. Really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> look at Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. Everyone start typing what pair you guys want us to look at. And we're going to go look at pairs. I'm going to use the restroom, fill up my coffee, and get ready to go. This trade is not valid as of today. So it's Currently, we took no trades today. No setup pre like presented itself, so we're chilling. Uh, we're gonna sit this one out. Nothing really, yeah, nothing really presented itself. 
So I'm gonna go fill up some coffee. You guys chill, keep talking in chat, keep the keep the vibes high. And then of course, let me know exactly what you guys wanna see. So, so far I'm starting to list that gold. We'll go over gold one more time. Uh, BTC, GBP, JPY, and AUD CAD. So, oh, and you're a USD. So keep it up guys, keep it up. I will be right back. All right, yo, 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 what are we looking at? What are we looking at, guys? All right, I'm going to start I'm gonna start from the top of when you guys started calling out pairs. I know I'm going to start with your USD, and then we'll go back down in the list. Um, but your USD for sure, because people were calling this out major today while we were waiting for this setup to form. It never, it never came by. It never came by for sure. So in a funding account, when the approval happens, when the company gives you the money on the free margin or is it on balance so basically what you do is you are trading for them and they monitor your trades and then they place your trades into a pool of their live of their live capital okay so as long as you um stay within the risk parameters like you don't get to just go full margin like you have to get funded okay and then you still follow the same rules that you used when you got funded and but you're just now making money from it okay that's like that's how that works All right, there it is, there it is. All right, let's break this down. Oh shoot, that coffee is hot. That is, coffee is hot. Everyone's saying, look at BTC, what happened to it. Okay, I got you guys. Oh shoot, <laughs> bro, what, BTC just died. <laughs> what the heck it literally just fell over and died and this literally came out the same time as news this doesn't even make sense i like how bitcoin got affected more than gold did on news anyways oh yeah i gotta leave this on gold let's kind of manage this see what's going down see if we end up getting that Guys, we broke 300 likes, by the way, just so you guys are aware. I don't know what the subs are, but if you guys are new here, my name is CJ. I've been trading for over four years now, and I'm documenting the process of getting funded live with you guys on the live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to be a part of that, go ahead and smash that sub button. And then, of course, if you guys think that you're getting any value or knowledge or you're just having a good time vibing with us, smash the like button. We're currently at 303 likes. Um... And yeah, we're just getting into this. So far, we haven't seen a setup today. I don't think the setup is going to form. And if it does, it might be too late in the session. Uh, but we're going to be patient and see. I'm currently looking for a gold setup. We had it marked out. If you guys are in the Discord, it's the top link in the description. 
verify yourself right over here, fill out the CAPTCHA, come back in, and then you guys can see the trade ideas that I send out. Again, this is completely for free. The rules in the Discord are these, okay? These are the most important ones. Be respectful to one another, no links, just screenshots of charts, and do not DM anyone from the Discord. Keep everything public. I'm a very transparent trader. I tell you everything that's going on. I tell you exactly what we're doing. Um, and I just want the same respect to the whole entire community as a whole. Um, scams come from these DMs and stuff, guys. So like literally just keep everything public. If you can't keep it public, you probably shouldn't be saying it as it is. So that's how I feel about it. But let's get into EuroUSD, guys. Let's get into EuroUSD. Hey, are you guys all having a good day? I know some of you guys traded CPI like early morning. You guys are kind of nuts. You guys are kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. I kind of liked where that four hour candle closed. Let me get one more on the four hour. All right, we'll move to the one hour now. Four point two K subs, we did it. CPI was hilarious on gold. Okay. So now we're on your USD. We're just looking at the hour right now. Okay. A couple people wanted to check this one out, guys. So we're going to go down the list. So this is like our Q&A session of the live stream because it looks like we have not formed our setup that we're currently looking for on gold. Um, so in order to keep the stream adding as much value as possible for you guys, we're going to go ahead and mark up um, pretty much all these all, all these charts for you. So if you have a question, you want to see technical analysis on how I approach the market and kind of like my mindset behind it, all you guys got to do is drop a comment of what pair. I will slowly work my way down the list. So if you don't get to it right away, like just be patient. Um, but yeah. Here we are. Let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. What am I doing right now? I just want to see what the gap looks like on here. Like what, what remaining area can we actually fill before price continues or breaks like maybe it feels this and it continues to the downside um this is definitely like a five minute supply here for show for show okay um so we'll get our box back out we'll hit this like so okay um but for me personally guys there's just not much not much to go off of right now for euro usd i don't think i would be trading this at all like there's really just not much it's I, the, there's it's yes there's clean traffic here guys but there's just too much going on on the outskirts of it like too much going on right here too much going on right here nothing's very clean yet so i mean if you guys are gonna like even when we if we take shorts at the break of these lows it's like over here we have a bunch of like a bunch of structs like a bunch of just noise so the volume might still be low when we get in that area as well, too, because there's no news or anything to kind of push that through. So you're at USD. That's going to be a no for me, dog. It's going to be a no for me. Um, let me go. What else we got? BTC is dead. We saw BTC died. If you guys are looking for gold, this is what I'm looking for in gold, okay? This is the setup that we were waiting for. And it's clearly not happening right now. So we're going to wait and see if we can get sales below this point after the retracement to the upside. Because now that it's breaking above this, where's the next supply on gold? The next supply on gold's right here. Okay, also at another good area of structure in this area. Okay, so it could fill the imbalance that we had from the aggressive selling, right? It can give us a liquidity grab maybe on the four hour. It might go up, fill all this, and then come down from there. Um, but it still hasn't closed and broke out of this area yet. So it's not out of the question yet. It's just we're waiting. Um, what else we got? We got odd CAD. I could check out odd CAD. How long have you guys been watching the stream for? Like, when did you guys start following the channel? How many, like, I think in total, we've been streaming for about three months in total now. 
we were posting some some videos before that before the actual streams but like who's the oldest follower i have like where like when did you guys start popping in on the channel i'm i'm just curious I'm just curious so those are daily lows mm -hmm. that's a good area as well that's a good area as well I wonder who's gonna I wonder who's gonna take the cake like actually been here like the longest I want to say it's either gonna be Trista Devon I think green beetles up there as well maybe maybe per per Perry too Puri is Puri's been around a long time too. And if you guys, you know, you say like how long you were you were kind of here from or whatever, what were the what were the viewerships and the likes like on those streams compared to what we're doing now? What where were we at? Whatever time frame you guys popped into the channel, where were we at? Nice. How many? Oh, the fifteen just opened. Never mind. Thought it was just about to close, but it just opened. So I would wait for like this 15 minute candle to close. And if we still have very bearish momentum to the downside, like this is good lower time frame structure and it kind of is aligning with the higher time frame as well, uh, just for continuations of shorts. It's clearly respected those those higher time I think it was like 91 area. It's respected this area, this area multiple times. So on the lower time frames, if I'm seeing it reject so heavy multiple, multiple times on the higher time frames, I'm gonna be looking for shorts. Okay. So now I just have to get my lower time frame analysis and like actually like mark it up and understand what my entry signal is gonna be. And then I just have to wait for that to happen and unfold in front of me. So what's for GBP JPY? A lot of people have been talking about that one today as well. So this is all yesterday's stuff. We can remove it. We'll break down top down again. Dude, it filled that gap so so gnarly. Filled the gap so gnarly. Um okay, so yeah, GJ is falling right now, but it is coming up to daily daily demand in this zone, okay? Which is also good structure here. All right. So before I would would hop into this like i need to see clear breaks below this point which is like 168 and then i would take shorts to kind of to kind of fill the remainder of this gap which is just down here and it would take it to this structure okay so now that we have like the daily analysis then we're going to break it down to the four hour see what the four hour is telling us so four hour just closed the remaining of this gap okay so we could see a remain like a continuation to the upside okay just breaking it down to the four hour now because remember, we said this is our daily demand. We aren't looking for shorts until we break and close below. But so far, it looks like it still has the opportunity to kind of find some stability in this area and continue to the upside. So I'm going to leave it at that because clearly there's a bunch of momentum to the downside, created a double top. And if we find some stability, like we could, we could overlap our boxes here. This is the four hour demand. So this is a very, very key level. So 168, like 700. That's a very key level. So that's all I'm going to put for GBP JPY, okay? What about, what else we got? What else we got? I think I'm getting caught up. UJ gave you the craziest profits. Let's look at what uh, UJ did.
So this is what we were waiting for it to do. If we broke this level, it ended up breaking down, but it didn't give us the full rejection of this area. It was close, but it didn't give us the full rejection. Uh, but now it's kind of coming back into an area where I can see possible buys as well again. I'm sure it kind of looks similar to what GJ is looking like. Pretty sure it looks similar to what GJ is looking like. So let's check it out. Yeah, so we're still in a daily trend, right? The only time I ever put trend lines up is if it's very clear and it's on a higher time frame. Okay, guys? Clearly in a, in a higher time frame uptrend. Created the double top, but still finding lower highs. So UJ buys also look clean. I think it looks cleaner than GJ in my opinion. Um, just not yet. Okay, so if we know what the 4-hour looks like, like same thing. 200 moving average is also in this area. It's also respecting the trend line, right? Yes, it's breaking right now, but this 4-hour candle still has a long time to go. So this 4-hour candle can give us a liquidity grab, test into this 4-hour demand, and then it could also test off the 200 MA. And if we get a bullish momentum and closure on the 4-hour candle, that's when I would be looking for buys. Okay, I might even send this one out. Should I send this one out on trade ideas? W is if I should send this out on trade ideas. I don't know if I should send this one on trade ideas. I like it though. It just filled the imbalance and it's kind of chunking its way back up, getting a nice retest, and I think it's going to continue its way to, to fill all this clean traffic. Um, Let's see. Okay, Devon wants to, Devon wants to see that one in the chat. Two days, three hours, two weeks every day now. Devon 500 gang. <laughs> Blockchain said it just follows you today. New from Malaysia, one week. Zipper, 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 one week. Dollar is buy, gold is buying. Any correlation? Uh, we'll have to look at that in a second. I'm down to look at that in a second. Four hours. <laughs> What do you think about US 30? If we can get a five minute closure above 2033, it'll take that to 2033, uh, 2030, uh, 2036 trade that I had set up yesterday. It might be doing that. Let's go to gold. I just want to peek on gold real quick. Let's peek on it. Okay, so again, still kind of respecting this 15 minute supply that we have marked up. Okay, guys, it's still respecting it. It still hasn't given us clear breaks and closures above the highs here. And then we also are going to look at CAD JPY. What do you think about US 30? I see all these answers. Okay, guys, I'm going to work my way down, but I want to get everyone in order, okay? So, yeah, UJ, let's see. Did we get any more Ws to send this in the trade ideas? Yeah, we got a couple. Uh, where is it? Oh, shoot. All right, so UJ, and then it says CAD JPY after that. So if you guys, I don't know if I should send it out on the trade idea. I don't want to spam the trade idea too heavy, too heavy. But if you guys are new here, my name is CJ. I last stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST every single morning. If you guys want to be a part of that journey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash the bell notification to know when I go live each and every day, Monday through Friday. If you guys are getting any value or knowledge from this, stream and you can just stop and buy you're not you're not really committed for the sub yet don't forget to smash the like button to help out with that youtube algo um and then of course guys if you guys want to join the discord the top link in the description it is completely for free all you guys got to do is click the link it'll take you here and then you go into the discord right there and then you're going to go ahead it'll take you to the verify page verify yourself it takes you to a third party site go to the third party site do the captcha puzzle and then it will come back and then you will have access to all the trade ideas, um, all the general chat with all the community and just being be in here and vibe. Just get in here and vibe. That's what it comes down to. Um, let's see. 15 minute closure in seven minutes. All right, cool. So UJ is what I've seen here, guys. Like, I think it's a good structure where it's kind of approaching a key level. I think that will definitely continue to get buys up. And if we clear this clean traffic and we break above these highs here on the four hour, we'll continue to clean that traffic as well. And then just rinse and repeat like levels and levels and levels. So NZD, USD, and then CAD JPY. NZD, USD. Okay, 
So same thing, top-down analysis, over and over and over, rinse and repeat. Whoops, I don't like going on the weekly unless I absolutely need to. So 200 moving average, rejection, rejection off of a key level. We've had liquidity grabbed up in this zone multiple times, okay? Daily candle hasn't quite flipped yet. I know there's some people that as soon as they see like a candle flip on the higher time frames, they will enter these shorts because we were rejecting like something like that, for instance. So if you want to approach the trade that way, you can. Um, four hour, not not convinced quite yet from here, guys. I would wait and see if we can get like, let me see. Probably wait to see if you can get closures below there, just off the four hour. That's kind of like my four hour area of interest. And then if I drop it down into this, I could adjust it a little bit better on the hour time frame. So then I would say, okay, cool. Like if we can close and break it below that, I would drop this down even to a lower time frame and then look for your entry to take these for shorts. And you guys can kind of decide where you want to take profit on it. And then CAD, JPY, and then US 30. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so CAD, JPY looks like it's it's on its way. This is kind of a, this is kind of a funky chart. This had some crazy movement. I think if you're if you're in sales, you're doing well for yourself. It's at an area like if I'm just looking at the hour and you're telling me you're in sales, based off of where you got in, I don't really know. But we are coming up to an area where we might see like small rejections. So I would secure a good amount of my position, at least 50%, put stops in profit, especially if you broke the lows here and then just took the candle flip. I would definitely put stops in profit. Secure 50% at least. And then just kind of do like a trail, a manual trail and stuff. So as you keep seeing like lower time frame candles form and you see good structure, I'd put it above the highs of the structure and then try and try and close this full gap. Try. But it might not do it fully. Okay, I would say it would probably go there. All right. So close partials at this area where it's at right now. And then you can kind of wait and see how it reacts to the one hour 200, the one hour structure here, and just monitor it. Just manage your trade. And then US 30, we haven't looked at that since the morning. Ooh, that is brutal. Again, this just reacted into a key level same area so we had this marked up earlier guys like it sucks we could have taken shorts but at the same time i was kind of scarred from us 30 yesterday when we got trapped in consolidation wasn't sure if we we're gonna get trapped in consolidation again so i chose to wait and use my time on a gold setup and wait for a gold setup to form so it's the luck of the draw right it's still a winning day if you don't take a trade because you still manage the trade you waited for your plan the plan didn't present itself it's still a w um, but US 30, for sure, for sure. This is, uh, this is in a demand area. Okay. So we're going to, we, there's no trade to really take quite yet on US 30. Let me look at the four hour and the daily. Kind of like I kind of like the structure here, hugging the the lower of the of the bottoms. How much movement would it be if you got a lower if you got a lower time frame scalp from here at the break to here? It's 138 points, so you could definitely maximize maybe a scalp once we start getting into this area. Because we had aggressive selling, guys, we're going to need to retrace at some point. So I don't know if we're going to retrace on this hour demand here. Continue up to the hour supply, which is also at a very key level that we had marked up from this morning. And then you could take the bigger the bigger move to the downside to the structure we have marked up. Okay, that's kind of what I'm seeing on US 30.
Um, what else we got? Four hours from yesterday, a few days, two months. Just following you today, two days ago. Probably Zach and Devon. Possibly. Cirque was two days ago. Bave US30 and NASDAQ. Love that. I think I'm the newest three days. <laughs> dollar is buy, gold is. Oh, yeah, let's check out the dollar and the gold. What's going on? So in order to kind of see, like, this is the five-minute chart. And this is the five-minute chart. Okay, so I like to see this. So what I think gold's doing right now with all this momentum, I think it's going to come up here. And I think we'll get a really nasty liquidity grab from the upside. And that's when we'll start seeing shorts. Just because of what the DXY is doing right now. Let me look at the 30. See if I can find any reason on where... get the 15 okay so 15 candle is about to close and check it out it's closing within this range okay yes it wicked up here but it's closing within this range so this could be the correlation that you're you're kind of talking about so if it continues to go up we need to see closures above this point and then it kind of wouldn't make sense but currently it still kind of makes sense Currently, currently, um, was about to do a pullback on gold. I've been subbed for a bit, but haven't, but I've been inconsistent with watching. Okay, Z, okay. I can't stand magic indicators. Oh, uh, you guys, you guys don't like the magic indicators? Don't they work for everybody? Anyone ask for GU? I don't think anyone's asked for GU yet. Let's check out GU. I don't know what levels I was marking up. I don't remember what time frame I was marking this all up on. All I know is that my arrows are going up. My arrows are going up and price went up. So what time frame did I mark this on? Yeah, I don't know. Let me let me read you this. That was all yesterday. That just looks way too way too bunched up. Way too bunched up. Oh, hang on, guys. I gotta like stretch the neck slash shoulder blade right now. It's killing me. It's literally killing me. Dun 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 dun. dun. By the way, guys, if you guys are getting any value or knowledge, you guys want to see these chart markups, I am in the Q&A session of the live stream right now. So, again, guys, this is all for you. If you guys want to be a part of the channel, my name is CJ. I've been trading for four years. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so now. I'm currently documenting the process of getting funded live with my Forex funds. And if you guys are looking to get funded with them as well, all you guys got to do is go ahead and use this link. It will help out the channel and also give me a small commission as well uh, completely up to you guys most of the time i just tell people if you guys are already planning on using them go ahead and use it but if you have another funding company in mind it's all preference so if you want to use another company it is totally up to you guys do not feel pressured to use the code if you were already planning on going with somebody else it is for those of you that were already planning on it um but right here i think honestly gu same thing with like EU, I was kind of looking for buys still. So if I'm looking at this lower time frame, I want to see how this 15-minute candle closes. It just opened right now. If What if we can get a bearish engulfing above the highs here? Okay. Or sorry, bullish engulfing above the highs. At the next candle open, which is going to be an hour candle, we might have enough momentum to the upside. Okay. So if I'm looking at GU, that's what I would wait for. Just because we've rejected off this 200 multiple times. But I need to see clear confirmation that we're rejecting it again. Okay. So really good question on marking up GU. I love marking up GU. Um, gold rejection, or sorry. So you're saying if gold, if the four hour closes with the rejection wick, buy? Um, not necessarily. 
Not necessarily quite yet. What if it makes a four hour head and shoulders? What if this four hour candle closes like right here? Next one comes up into this area. And then the following one melts down and goes back into structure. And then that's when we start seeing shorts. It's not necessarily just a buy because because my sell analysis didn't work out. Okay. I would just wait for something more clear. Like if you guys see something and it makes sense to you and you're like, okay, yeah, buys make sense right now. Take buys. But this was clearly the setup that I was waiting for and it didn't happen today. Okay. And you guys know me, like I am a breakout trader, but at the same time, I, I wait for price to aggressively sell or buy, come back down into that area as close as it possibly can. And then continue the t continuation of the aggressive buying or the aggressive selling. But I need to have some kind of confirmation before I enter the trade. Mario's from New York. Just popped out of your channel today and joined your channel. I really appreciate uh, for what are you teaching here? So Mario, I'm teaching supply and demand support and resistance. I'm currently just going over a couple of pairs. If you want to see kind of how I trade, you can click the link on the top of the chat right there. It is basically the video that I created going over how I use supply and demand and support and resistance within 10 minutes. Okay. It's literally like nine minutes and 50 seconds. A uh, lot of value there. And then of course, all the other trades from the past live streams are documented as well um, under video journal entries. So if you guys want to go ahead and first watch this video and then direct your attention over to the video journal entries. That's when you guys can actually see how I actually specifically enter trades, how I managed it. What did I look for? What did I need to see in order to even enter the trade in the first place? But step one to all of this stuff, the guys is getting your key levels, right? So get your key levels right by watching that video up top there. Okay. Um, do you use GBP, uh, Baquet? is it called Baquet? Oh, basket. I was like, <laughs> do you use GBP basket or DXY as correlations for your trades? Chris, I use gold and DXY as a correlation. Um, uh, we had a member mention about the GP, G, uh, JPY basket on one of the recent trades. I haven't actually correlated the pairs between these um, quite yet. Haven't really done that quite yet, but theoretically it's on there because I plan to do that. I just have to remember, remember to look at it as I'm looking for a trade on the JPY chip on the JPY pairs. So it's there for a reason. I just haven't used it quite yet because I still just got into it. And then same thing with VIX. VIX is like the correlation for US 30. And I just haven't seen, I just haven't seen it yet. You know what I mean? Just haven't seen it yet. Haven't been ready. Check this out real quick. What time is it right now? It's almost about to be 11. All right, yeah, I'll do it. Again, guys, again, right? We've been waiting for these setups to kind of form today. This is the one that seems to be coming to me in my direction. Um, but I'm going to take this on a 15 minute setup. So I'm not just going to impulsively enter quite yet. I need to see that this candle is going to continue to push up. And if this hour momentum on the next candle continues with the momentum to the upside, we'll enter it. But very, very small position. Still is Wednesday. Still is at a really weird time to trade. But it did come up to an hour key level and the hour candle is rejecting this hour demand. Okay. So only 0.25%, like I said, very, very tiny, small amount of capital. We're already in profit with the funding challenge. So we got to stay in profit. Um, and especially at this uncertain time, we just want to be very patient with it. There's the five minute entry. So perfect example in terms of what I look for when I enter trades, you guys, is this. It's like, okay, we came into a key level. We had bullish momentum. This is our break of structure. You could have even used the wick. Okay. And as soon as the momentum, it opened, it opened bearish, but now it just took us to the upside. 
So this is how I would approach this, okay? And then because this is my break of structure candle, I put stops right below there, give it slight breathing room, not much. This is the five minute time frame. At this time of day, I'm only gonna take trades on 15 or higher. It's just, if there was a ton of volume, if there was an absolute ton of volume, you know, early morning session, I would take more five minute entries, but because we get stuck in a lot of consolidation, um, I use the safer stops and I just use the, safe, the safer um, take profit and everything like that. Um, short USC CAD, it will bounce off the key level. Let's see. Did I look at this one already today? News kind of messed with this one. That's for sure. I feel like it's a it's been a bunch of five minute candles to the upside. It needs to cool off a little bit. It might only come to like structure and then continue to the upside. But higher time frames, we've already kind of marked this up yesterday. The news kind of did its thing, um, but it looks like it could still theoretically follow this trend of going up and closing all the momentum from or closing all the gap right here. Like all this clean traffic, I think it will still fill it up. Um, it looks like news had a different plan this morning. But now it's kind of retracing itself, kind of fixing it, kind of bouncing back out. Do I also trade London? No, not really. How are you guys all doing today, though? Who do I got in the chat? Who I got in the chat? Next mod to GJ channel is me. <laughs> How much are you up on the new account? We didn't take any trades yet today, Kraz. So we're still up. We're up a little under one full percent. When I get to $50, it'll be at a full percent. It's at 0.83 right now. Uh, next five-minute candle closed on US30. Let's monitor US30 a little bit here, guys. About four more minutes on this 15 minute candle. So let's see if we'll close above. So I'm just like hyper focused right now. Like I need closures above this line and I'll just enter at the closure. And we'll aim to take this a little bit higher if we can. But again, gonna be super aggressive on how I manage this trade. So if I put stops at break even early on, like that's what we gotta do. If we get stomped out at break even, it is what it is. I just got back from the dispensary. My gold trade is in profit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. There you go. How many more minutes you got? Yo, 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 what's good, guys? Who's tuning in right now? Who's tuning in right now? Let me see it in the chat. Who we got? Who we got, though? A two sativa's got to feed my brain. <laughs> there you go, Kenny. Stay active right there, baby. Stay active. Stay <laughs> active. 
<laughs> oh gosh, I love you guys, dude. I love you guys. You guys, you guys literally make my day. W's in the chat for all you guys. The W's are for you. Uh, second day this week, Rocco. What is good? What is good? What is good? The W's are all for you guys. All right. If you if you guys are throwing W's in the chat, it's it's literally all for you guys. It's it's all for you. Okay. This isn't for me. This is for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Dude, rejection's there. That means oh my gosh, bro. Like dude, I'm putting hearts in the chat. I'm putting hearts in the chat. Where are we at? I'm putting hearts up there for you guys. See those hearts? That's all for you right there, okay? Big big W's. Big W's. I don't know where we're going to enter, but market is wild for sure, for sure. By the way, guys, my name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys want to be a part of the channel, be a part of the experience, all you guys got to do is go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Did I just get filled at a terrible entry? Oh, my gosh. All because I wanted to hit the subscribe button thing. There we go. Whatever. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys. My name is TJ. We do this Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. All these W's in the chat are for you guys. You guys make my day brighter, okay? Trading is so boring, but when I get to share the experience, share the passion with you guys, it definitely lightens it up, and I get to kind of just bounce ideas off, help as many people as I possibly can. Uh, so if that sounds good to you and you guys want to kind of learn, get a step inside my brain, how I operate, how I manage trades, all you guys got to do is subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. That will probably help, too. Um, Discord link is at the top in the description. It will take you to this area here. Click the Discord button, right? And then verify yourself. Make sure you guys are in a robot. Click the robot, take you to a third party link, hit the CAPTCHA, and you guys are good to go, baby. Well, this is the first trade of the day. Actually a very, very late, 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 late time for us to be trading, but it is what it is. Do I have a video of my strategy? Yes, I do. It's the top video at the top, you guys. The one that's linked up top, that is the supply and demand support and resistance. It's how I trade. And if you guys want to look at how I find entries, you have to go then after you watch that video, get a basic understanding. Then you guys go over to uh, the channel and search any of the eight, 16 episodes of video journal entries. And then that should help you guys out in terms of what I look for. Because it goes over so many different types of setups, guys. The market is never the same. Okay, the market's literally never the same. So there's so many different setups that you guys could be taking, but at the end of the day, you just have to be flexible and don't try to re predict the market, but react to the market, okay? React to it, whatever it gives you. My actual goal right here, guys, is literally just to get $9 so we can say the account is at a full percent. I'm not trying to hit full take profit. Like if I start seeing rejections from this area, like I'm gonna hop out early, okay? I'm gonna hop out early. I'm gonna put stops at break even. I'm gonna secure. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect capital. That's what it comes down to. At all costs. All right. At all costs. New hour candle close. So if you guys are wondering why I entered this trade, I can kind of just give you a rundown real quick. I do need to monitor it pretty closely, but we had a one hour demand, aggressive selling, right? So look at how this hour candle closed. We rejected this demand pretty well. Um, and then also this 15 minute just engulfed all this bullish or bearish momentum. And then it now looks like we're contained to the upside with clear momentum on the following 15 minute candle. Um, so yeah. Um, oh no, I've tried plenty of funded accounts for X, plenty of funded accounts. It's, it's tough. I have to kind of trade a little bit differently than I would on my personal capital. I've been funded before, but I never reached it to the payout stages. So why not document it? You know, the last time I was funded was probably about a year ago, maybe more than that. So now that I'm even a year better, a year more experienced, and I'm kind of doing this full time now, what better way than to document the journey with you guys and getting funded and getting the payout and then reinvesting into the bigger challenges and just kind of watch the journey. And you guys could hopefully learn something from the way I approach it. We don't know what's going to happen. We literally don't. But we're all going to be here. We're all just going to enjoy it. We're all going to watch it. And we're going to see if we could learn something. If I make mistakes, hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. Learn what not to do, right? 
up 0.5% today before new nothing much for sure. That's good. That's good. 0.5% is good, especially if you guys are starting these funding challenges. Like I only risk 0.5% per trade. This one specifically, I'm risking 0.25% per trade. Okay, like I'm not going for anything crazy. Like I need some type of cushion on the account before we start going crazy. How much did you risk for funding challenges? If you guys could trade every single day at the same time consistently, I think you should have no problem risking 0.5% to 0.25% per trade. Get a nice cushion up of about 2%. Honestly, I feel like you should go 2.53% by taking a bunch of like consistent trades and, and managing and securing your capital the best you can. And then you can go ahead and uh, once you have a cushion, start upping the risk to about 1% to 2%. But you need to have some type of cushion. Um, how long do stages work for the payouts? Uh, you guys could check for the most part. I think the first month of my Forex funds is going to be a full month on the account. And then after that, they'll do bi-weeklies. I think they start at 75% first and then scale up to 80 and then 85%. And then eventually after five consecutive months of payouts, they'll scale you up to 90%. Is anyone else trading right now? What trades are you guys in, by the way? My name is CJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys want to be a part of the journey as I get funded live with you guys, all you guys got to do is subscribe to the channel, be a part of the community, and of course, like the stream if you guys have not done so already. We're currently at 335 likes. I don't know if we'll be able to reach 400, but we're going to do our best to try it today. That's for sure. Which uh, instrument am I currently in? I'm currently in US 30 buys. NASDAQ buys? Stop loss and profit? J King's really out here. Justice US 30 trade. Okay. I like it. Just a little quick scalp on NASDAQ. I want to see, dude, honestly, I want to see like, I need to see this. I need to see this candle. Like I want to see it close like up here, honestly. Then I'll be like, all right, for show, sure. for show, sure. We'll be good been out since my lucky play with news today <laughs> smart decision devon smart decision sir that's a w in the chat in and of itself still in a cheeky gold buy i'm telling you you guys are nuts this could be a break of structure candle forming off the, the resistance here you guys are nuts to be in buy still low-key it's my own personal opinion though make sure you guys protect your capital if you guys are still in gold buys like just protect it uh, what are we currently up? Like 21 points right now? Is that what that is? 20 something? A little something light? A little something light right now? Let me see how this five minute just closed. Pretty nice. Not quite ready to put stops at break even yet though. Up one K so far on this US 30 buy. Dude, so a lot of you guys caught the US 30 buys. Kraz is saying US 30 bounced off of a weekly structure. Yes, it did. You guys are nuts. How many losses you placed on this trade? Uh, 0 0.12, 0 0.12 on the MyForex funds funded 5K account, risking 0.25%. Risking 0.25%, you guys. Okay, 0.25%, it's literally nothing. Guys, so the, the pip counter that you guys are seeing, it happens when I use magic keys. So if you guys are trying to get a pair of magic keys and you guys want to get 10% off the most recent version, which is version 3, go to the top link in the description, click the top right here. All right. And then you guys can purchase magic keys version 3 with 10% off code at checkout TJ10. All right. Take care of yourself. Invest in yourself. Honestly, it just makes my life easier. It just makes my life easier. I think it... I think without magic keys, I don't think I would be able to have so much flavor on the streams. I don't think I would be able to like talk to you guys so much, like, like honestly. Have you blown an account at the beginning? Dude, I've blown so many accounts, so many accounts. Also been looking at GBP, JPY, waiting for confirmation. Let me see where this can go. Yeah, okay, I got it about right. All right. uh let's see are you guys still hyped what is gold doing now i think gold's about a short from here honestly 
I mean, but can it still continue up? Absolutely. It's just, it doesn't matter what I think, guys. I got to focus on this trade right now, though. Got to kind of manage, like, the trade I'm in. You guys feel me? Got to manage this trade. Let's see. I passed the phase two in my funded account, your 25k funded account. There you go. There you go. New to trade. My boy's about to get 25k capital to trade with. If you guys are curious on what funding company I use and you guys want to use the same funding company as I am currently live in front of you guys, all you guys got to do is click that link. Help support the channel if you guys are already planning to do so by taking a challenge with my Forex funds. It is the one I use every single time I take a challenge on the live stream with you guys. So... Of course, that's going to be the one that I recommend. I've not never had any problems with them. They have a great track record. You guys could do your own research. Look at the payout verification. Look at how long they've been around. Um, but yeah, completely up to you guys. And we got six minutes for this candle to close, okay? Six minutes for this candle to close. I would like to see a last little push of volume into this candle to the upside. I don't like the wicks. Don't like the wicks on top. Did you lose any did you lose any trade ideas today? No, this is my first trade of the day actually. First trade of the day. Had it like I had to wait for this one, that's for sure. I had to wait. Patience patience is doing pretty good for myself though right now. It's doing it's doing all right. Our goal is to really get like nine bucks out of this trade. Okay. Our goal is to really get at the full percentage mark for the funded account. And I will consider that a W of a day, okay? But we're just not there yet. We're just not there yet. Mr. Apex for a $30, $30 for a 50K challenge. Absolutely. Apex is a good company if you guys trade futures and you're comfortable with futures. I got funded with them already too. Never got the payout though. But just so you guys know, when you do get funded with those low challenge fees, then it's like you basically buy the challenge. It's kind of reversed. So like their profit technically is pretty much like the, the small amount. That's why they're able to do the 80% off on their model because then they hit you with the actual like data and everything like that. So for the 25K account, I spent 140 after getting funded. Uh, no, this is what the, uh, let me show you the history. This is what we're at right now. Uh, we were both in the trade together. We are still going up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see for sure. Nothing's for sure in this game, you know? So I just got to just gotta watch this. The VIX is looking gnarly, though, on the hour. Let me see how that hour closed. Like, that hour is disgusting. A disgusting hour rejection. So if people correlate this, I'm new to kind of correlating the VIX in the US 30. So we'll try this out. We'll see how it is. Do you trade Euro USD? I'll mark stuff up for you guys, but for the most part, I trade gold, GJ, and US 30. Those are like my main ones. Very rarely will I trade NASDAQ. But if the setup's there, the setup's there. And we got three more minutes for this 15 minute candle to close, guys. So I need this candle closing bullish. Like, I need that volume, I need that momentum, baby. I took a loss, but still 1%, 1.1% in profit on your account. Beautiful. Uh, let me see where we're at. So if I let full stops or full take profit hit, it's gonna it's gonna net us eighteen dollars. Okay. We only need nine. All right. We only need nine. So what I'm going to do, because we're getting up to this five, this five minute like supply area, what I'm going to do, you guys ready for this? Okay, good. I'm going to close half. I'm going to put my stops at entry. Okay. If we get stomped out, F to pay respect, but at the same time, like we're not risking anything. I rather I rather take my goal is to make nine dollars off this trade, but I rather take a small win 
and protect the capital. Okay? It's a challenge account. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is. Like, if I see five minute supply forming here, like, yes, on the five minute time frame, yes, this 15 minute candle can come down and smack me out, and that's it. We're done. But, guys, like, bigger picture, like, why should I risk anything? We don't trade at this time normally, right? The setup presented itself. But, like, be content with the small profits. Okay? Be content with the small profits. That's it. Yeah, VIX and US 30 should be exactly opposite. That's why I've seen this in this hour. Where is it? This hour candle closure was insane. This hour candle closure was insane. Okay? Like, that was nuts. Off the 200, double top, like, all that stuff. So I do believe US 30 is going to continue up. But I'm going to take just a couple, a little bit of profit off, right? And I really want to float off of this double bottom. Really want to float. Does it need to? Absolutely not. Does it Does it need to smash TJ out on take profit? Or sorry, smash TJ out in uh, at break even? It could. It absolutely could. But I told you guys from the beginning of this challenge, we are going to be aggressive with our profit. Because there's always going to be another trade. There's literally always going to be another trade, okay? So stop there, break even. We secured partials. And we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. Hopefully it fills the gap on the hour. We don't know what's going to happen. That would be ideal. But that's all. All we could do is wait now at this point. Okay. By the way, guys, my name is TJ. I last stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If that sounds good to you guys, I want to be a part of the journey as I get funded live with you guys. All you guys got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. And then, of course, if you are enjoying your time here, don't forget to hit the like button. It took forever to get a trade in today, you guys. But patience paid. We secured partials. Um, and now we're just floating the rest. Like, what do we do? We secure and float. That's what it comes down to. That is literally what it comes down to. We secure and float. Stop off and stop loss and profit just floating. Mine's not ready to be in profit. I'm just at break even. When we start getting closures up in this area, I'll put stops like below this area in profit. But for right now, if we get stomped out at break even, F's to pay respect, but we're just chilling right now. Literally just chilling. By the way, I'm going to Disneyland today. Like I told you guys it was gonna be a good day before we even started. <laughs> Literally, yeah, it's crazy. Who's still here right now? Who's still here? Bro, I'm still holding this crazy profit TA. Most dope. Most dope. <laughs> you feel me? We do this. Say what's up to Big Mickey. Say what's up to still. Say what's up to Big Mickey. Ratib, we're in a we're in a trade currently. I just want to monitor this trade. Well, I just want to be the first one to know that I got stomped out. Kenny says smoking, grilling, watching. <laughs> Dude, you guys are a straight vibe. Kenny's Kenny's like gone off that sativa right now. He's had to get his mind right, reset. He had to reset but lock in at the same time. I feel it. I feel it. Dude, I forgot how good this. I forgot how good this bomb is. Like, if you guys are just now tuning in, I, I messed up my neck. I don't know what I did. I messed up my neck. But luckily, your your boy is sponsored by Vibender CBD. You feel me? I'm sponsored by that Vibender CBD. Now, it's just been saving me on this stream. Neck's still been hurting. But all you gotta do is just reapply. Forgot how I forgot how good this bomb was. This stuff's fire, dude. It smells good too. Shoot, love that. And if you guys are wondering, I'm not sponsored by Vibe Vendor CBD. Like I'm the owner of Vibe Vendor CBD. It was the first company, many many moons ago. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick.
So guys, there's there's a couple different things, okay? There's there's like a couple different things uh, of um, <clears throat> like what could have happened with my neck, okay? It could have been like number one, okay, I slept wrong, whatever. Number two, um, it could have been me pretty much like looking left all the time at chat while I'm trading, probably like repetitive motions, whatever. Or step three, okay, step three, it could have been, all right, my hair is getting long on top of my head now, right? So after my shower today, I was like, you know, gave, gave a little, little hair flip, like shake it out real quick, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just kind of vibing back when I used to surf. But TJ is not 18, 19 years old anymore. TJ is 27. So those, those quick, rapid movements, all right, those quick, rapid movements, could have caught up with me and that could have been a big l could have been a big l like imagine i gave myself whiplash because i wanted to just fling my hair <laughs> oh my gosh dude oh man diver we're taking a 5k challenge man we're taking a 5k challenge uh <laughs> bro i was just like i was vibing because i remember i used to do that all the time when i had long hair when i used to surf right and then like <laughs> I was like, I just turned 27. <laughs> I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. Not necessarily if, like from surfing, not the cutback, not the cutback, but I'm just saying like my hair because it's long. I'm not used to having long hair and it's finally getting like some, some length, right? So when it was wet, it was kind of like in my face. I'm like, dude, get out of here. And then... My neck started hurting after that. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was kind of sore, and then that one just took it overboard. That one, I was like, cool. I just gave myself a whiplash. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, dude. What time do I broadcast? 7.30 a.m. PST in the morning. In the morning, you guys. So if you guys want to be a part of that journey with me, all you guys got to do is hit the subscribe button. My name is TJ. I've been trading for over four years, uh, currently documenting the process of getting funded live with the smallest funded account with you guys, showing you guys what is possible. The goal is to get funded, get the payout, reinvest into a bigger challenge, rinse and repeat the process, and then gain a bunch of capital live with you guys. And then I will trade the capital with you Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. But we are currently on ground level. Step one, pass phase one. So if I can get a couple more bucks out of this trade, we'll currently be up one full percent. Um, but right now my stops are at break even. I already secured partials at this five minute supply, possible area of reversal. However, I truly do believe it's going to continue to the upside, but I just don't want to go in any drawdown at all. I currently just want to protect as much capital as possible. I think that's the, the move with these funding challenges while trying to get funded. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, how much was that? How much until you got the challenge? Is US 30 better than gold? Not necessarily. I trade both US 30 and gold and GBP, JPY. It's just all preference, you guys. I just like how US 30 respects to like higher time frame structures. And same thing with gold. Like they both respect higher time frame structures. And when I talk about structure, if you guys are like curious or new here, you guys can look at that video at the top link there. That is my supply and demand support and resistance video. And pretty much it goes over exactly how I mark up my key levels, my structure points, my supply and demand, support and resistance, all in under 10 minutes. So if you guys want to save that tab into it and just watch it after the stream, uh, feel free to do so. And then all you guys got to do is uh, after that one, if you guys want to learn more about entries, if you guys are still new and need a little bit more clarification on that, watch my journal entries. So I have 16 of them. So it's a bunch of trades from the past streams um, and how I manage the trades. And it's literally just a trade breakdown, a bunch of episodes of them. So never... No trade will ever be exactly the same. You're going to have to manage them differently. You're going to have to look for different things. And like knowing that and seeing a bunch of different examples from those episodes, you guys can utilize a lot of content on my channel for free and really learn and get yourself a very solid foundation with trading. Okay. Um, but yeah, completely up to you guys. If you guys want to put in the work and actually study it, you guys can, or you guys could just show up to the live stream and then hopefully I can get to your question um, because they are getting bigger and it's harder for me to answer every single one's question, but we're doing this thing. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. So I'm doing my best, guys. Bear with me. Again, my name is CJ. I last you Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Watch the journey as we document it live in front of you guys. Fully transparent. I, you know, I, I literally want to be the most transparent trader on YouTube. Show you guys the uncertainties, the ups and the downs. Show you guys my losses. And um, 
yeah, that's what we're doing. So if you guys can respect that, you guys want to be part of it, you guys got good vibes, go ahead and join the Discord. It's the top link in the description. It will take you over here to this page. Hit that Discord button. It will take you over into this one. Verify it by clicking that button right there. It'll take you to a third-party CAPTCHA site. Fill out the CAPTCHA puzzle, and then you should get your role, and then you will be having access to all these um, areas, including my trade ideas, right? It's things that I'm looking for. Again, I live stream Monday through Friday, so most of the times what I send in here will be posted like we'll be marked up live with you guys um so there's just value in like all different directions like you guys just got to choose where you want to hang out you want to hang out in the discord you want to hang out on the youtube you want to hang out on the live streams completely up to you guys all right um and then of course if you guys want to manage risk the same exact way as me at the click of a button highly recommend this tool this is magic keys it's a risk management calculator it allows me to focus more on the charts and uh put stops at break even at a click of a button enter a trade at a click of a button have my stops ready to go and calculate my risk to an absolute t at the click of a button so again if you guys want to invest in yourself and use that 10 percent off code click this link and then you guys can purchase the new v3 right here all right i have v2 v3 just came out so you guys can get 10 percent off even the newest product so go ahead and take advantage of that again my name is tj i've been trading for four years 15 minute double top on what let me see uh we'll see like i said we already secured our partials so if we get stopped out at break even we get stopped out at break even we're vibing Chris Wilson said, I hurt my neck once I dropped the coin at the bar and, and down so fast to pick it up and it hit me on the back of the neck. <laughs> what percentage you use in trades and what's your risk to reward? My risk to reward is just whatever the market gives me. Um, and right now on a funding challenge like this, I'm only risking like 0.5% because it's Wednesday and it's a news day. I'm only risking 0.25% per trade. Uh, stops are currently at break even and we already secured partials. So now we're just going to let this thing float up if it wants to float up. If it wants to come down and smash this out in... Uh, at break even it could do that too i don't really try to predict the market guys like very rarely you will see it hit take profit i used to have enough like so much pride i was like watch how many times i could hit take profit this that and the other thing but also watch how many times it could reverse on you too so if you guys like to get the one to six risk rewards and all that stuff and that works out for you that's super cool i'm super stoked for you if it makes you money it makes you money I'm not here to bash in anyone's strategy i just manage my trades very closely um it's a job i do this for a living right so I got to practice what I preach. If I'm if I'm surviving off this source of money, right? Obviously, this is the challenge account. I'm not surviving off this account specifically. But for my live capital accounts, I got to protect the capital at all costs. You know what I mean? I always I always got to protect my capital. So my risk reward is different than other people's. Some people come in, they don't like it. It's cool. You guys don't have to like it. It's not your account to trade, man. And how much until you got the challenge? So if I get 1%, so we're trying to get 1% in total off this trade, right? So then we'll be up one full percent on the account. And then after that, we can kind of gauge what's next and see what kind of setups we get tomorrow. But we are currently at 349 likes. If you guys have not smashed the like button, smash that like button. And again, my name is TJ. I last you Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you guys are looking to watch me get funded live with you guys. Um, this is the goal. We're starting with the 5K challenge, getting the payout, reinvesting, throwing it back into another challenge, and then getting funded again with higher amounts of capital. And then, of course, all these live accounts will be trading on your guys, like on the live stream with you guys, right? Because you guys need some validity. Um, <laughs> but yeah, of course. Do you think two R risk to reward is good to aim every time? I only do two RR. Could that be profitable long term? Absolutely. There's mold guys. There's people that only aim for like one to four risk to reward, and they're profitable. Like they're super profitable. There's people that aim for the one to ones. They're very profitable. It all just depends what makes sense to you um, and how your brain works. Like, and if you have the patience to wait for that. For me, psycho like psych psychology wise, I okay. So when people have the higher risk awards, they lose more than they win. But when they do win, it covers all their losses and some profit. But for me, mentally, like that would mess with my head. That would mess with my head and make me doubt my challenge if I had to take three losses in a row and then win that fourth one. Because then it would make me wonder, it's like, okay, yeah, my, I'm making money, but at the same time, it's like, that's kind of like emotional damage, like losing three times in a row. That's kind of, a, that's kind of like, it's kind of brutal on the mental. 
that, that's very hard that's like a whole different type of level of psychology that maybe i'm just not there yet as a trader um but i enjoy to go and just take the small profits whatever the market gives me i take the small profits like that's just what it comes down to people are obsessed with pips what counts as risk to reward yeah i mean there's just there's many ways to manage trades guys so the way I manage the trade might not be the same way that you need to manage a trade. I just know what works for me and what makes me profitable and, you know, being very stingy with my profits and kind of leaving the secure and float method. That's kind of just what I do and it, it works out for me. Because when I secure and float, what it does is it, it has my logical brain tell me to secure something, right? You do this for a living, secure profit. And then let that remaining profit, let that be your greed, your emotional brain. Okay, let that be your emotional brain, fulfilling that, fulfilling that need from your emotional brain. But let your logical brain really have the control and then fulfill that hunger that the emotional brain needs of like fear and greed. It's kind of next level W's, honestly, next level W's. If you guys understand what I'm saying, like that's kind of crazy. Sam, I've missed you, bro. Where have you been? There is Sam, everybody. Sam has returned into the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give a couple heart emojis over here for Sam. That is just... that. Oh, that's not a heart. That's 100. There we go. I'm going to spam some hearts in there for my boy Sam, dude. Miss you, man. Glad to have you back in the stream. I haven't seen you in a cool minute. He said, I never understood the people's obsession with risk reward. You can never predict what reward you will ever get for a given set of risk. You can change the dynamic of reward when you move stops to break even. Absolutely well said, sir. Well said. Very, very well said. Very well said, sir. So I'm gonna close another half here as we're approaching this area. I'll move stops slightly in profit. Okay, just slightly in profit, nothing crazy. Right below these lows. All right, like right there, cool. You guys feel me? Oh my gosh, I'm going to close. Like, if I get stumped out of this trade, I'm making 30 cents. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. That's nuts. All right, so now it's truly a risk-free trade. Well, I guess I said before it was truly a risk-free trade, but I took a little bit more funds off the table. So we're guaranteed to be at 0.95% if I get stomped out where my stop loss currently is right now. Okay, we're guaranteed to be at 0.95%, so almost to 1%. Um, do I have a live account 5K in my Forex funds or something else? Yeah, so I'm using, it's not a live account, it's a challenge account, okay? So if you guys are looking to get funded with my Forex funds as well and take the, uh, take the funding challenge with me, you guys are more than welcome to do so. That's the company I use. And Michael, how much do I put into these trades for this account specifically? All depends on how big my stop loss is and what Magic Keys is telling me to risk. So this is my risk management tool. This is Magic Keys. You guys hear me talk about it day in, day out. But this is how I manage my risk so easy. Um, and of course, guys, if you guys want to get 10% off, it is the top link in the description. All you guys got to do is click it. It'll take you here. Click on this link for Magic Keys and then use code TJ10 at checkout to invest in yourself and get this version three of Magic Keys. They also have an on-screen version that's way cheaper, but it's completely up to you guys. I currently use the version two um, product, the physical product. So I'm comfortable with it. I like it. If you guys do end up getting it, make sure you guys understand how to use it before you actually put live capital on it. And uh, we started the challenge on Monday and we are currently, this is what we're at. So we're at 46, or what is that, 45.60, but after commissions, we're at 44.96. Once we're done with this trade, I will put the updated balance and win, win rate and all that stuff. If you guys want to stick around for that, it's coming up shortly. Like, we're going to see what this trade does uh, very, very shortly. Do you teach the method you trade with? I mean, I got free stuff that you guys can probably gain a lot of value from. Um, I don't charge for any services right now. 
And when I do, it's going to be like very intimate, small groups. So I can actually answer all the questions fully and give you guys the most value, most bang for your buck. So if I host a boot camp, it's going to be like either a two day boot camp or a three day boot camp via Zoom. I'll record all the sessions. We'll give it to you, but it's going to be personalized to you guys. So if I keep it as groups of three or groups of five, I feel like that'll kind of give it it the family feel so you guys don't feel scared talking in front of 50 to 100 people um and we'll keep that like an affordable rate right for as long as i possibly can um that way you guys are getting something that's like personalized to you the most value because when i come out with my course like it'll still provide value to some but some people need clear explanations and if i don't explain it properly in the course there's only one way that you guys are going to hear it and it's whatever way i put it in the course okay so the boot camps are going to be like next level value. If you learn the course and you need more clear guidance, you can do the boot camps or go straight into the boot camps. And my goal is to personalize it and answer every single question that you guys could possibly have and then record it and then give you guys that personalized content um, for yourselves. So you have it forever. So, I mean, it, there's just multiple things. And then, of course, if you guys just want to be a part of a, a community that's like more based towards people and um like serious traders there has to be a paywall for the discord eventually i'm always going to have the free discord but there will be a paid discord and then of course you guys can invest in that and kind of be with the more serious traders that kind of do this for a living or just want to have like that higher level of like in, not entitlement but higher level of community feeling with people that are kind of around the same level as them so you guys can actually we'll have that eventually but currently i'm mentoring um somebody right now right and i'm going on vacation so in terms of like selling stuff right now now is just not the time like i'm still pouring out giving free value and i always will give free value but just know that there will be services that eventually you guys can invest in um but i'm going to hawaii in like two three weeks i'm going to be gone for a while so just not yet i need to like reset my mind recalibrate get dialed back in and then when it's time you guys will know because you guys show up to the live streams okay but live streams Monday through Friday will always be free for you guys. Um, and I'll always provide as much value as I possibly can. Just know as we get bigger, it's going to be hard to answer every single question. Uh, do I have any live accounts you trade with? Yeah, I trade with my live accounts. I don't trade every single day on those live accounts. So I don't need that much to live, guys. I live super below my means. And this is kind of like my season of giving. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing more on these challenges with you guys. Uh, Sayla, I'm currently in a trade. I gotta, gotta manage this, big dog. Don't spam in the chat. And then I'll look at EJ once we're done with this trade. Currently floating 86 points in profit. 91 points in profit. We'll close half of the position. And we'll drop this down into the five. Put it, put it right here for now. Uh, yeah, I'll explain it. We're about to, we're about to finish this trade, but it's, it is a very basic, basic, basic trade. There's nothing too crazy about it. All right. I'm just going to leave the yeah, honestly, I'm just going to leave, leave my runner. All right. So I, I secured literally like probably like 90% of profit, 95% of profit. And I'm just going to let this ride. I'm going to see if we could hit take profit here. Let me look at the hour time frame. I want to get the exact gap fill. There you go. That's where that would be. Stop loss and profit got hit. I, I put st I put my take profit guys right, right where this gap fills. And it's almost about a hit take profit. So we're chilling. Daniel in the chat, guys, guys, we waited. We've been here since 7.30 in the morning. 7.30 in the morning waiting for a trade setup to present itself to us. All right, what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Like, I need you guys to remind me. I need you guys to remind me. If I've been here since 7.30 in the morning and it is currently 11.38, what does that mean? That is freaking crazy. That is crazy. 
<laughs> Millman said, TJ, don't spam chat like that, please. <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry. I got hyped. I got hyped. I want to see W's. In like, that's the only thing that we could ever spam is just, is just W's. It's just W's. So I got to practice what I preach. Like, I need some high probability trade setups. Like, I need that. <laughs> okay, okay. He said please, and he said no spans. So we'll look at EJ. Sailor, you're so funny, dude. You come in here. <laughs> bro, you you make me smile because, like, you come in here, and it's like you come in so panicked with all caps, <laughs> but you're already in the position. <laughs> So it's like I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's just different. What are you in? Are you in buys? Are you in buys or sells? <laughs> Take profit one forty nine. <laughs> A mailman. <laughs> are you in buys or sells? One for one forty seven buys. One forty seven. One sixty. You got in at 147, 160. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, buys are solid right here. TP 148. Let me see. Okay, so me personally, for your take profit, if you're if you're swinging it like that, I would probably take it to these lows like this wick. What is that? I would probably take it to like 147.674. I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty chill with that, right? Just looking at the four hour, like, yeah, you're about to, you're about to catch this four hour candle flip, like, and that's going to be nice. But I, I wouldn't be too greedy. I wouldn't go for like a, a psychological number like that in this situation, 148 or 147.16. Uh, wait, am I tripping? Oh yeah, 148. Me personally, I wouldn't go for the psychological level. It's just a lot higher. Like, can it happen? Absolutely. I would at least secure partials, maybe like 80% of the position. Minimum 50% of the position at like 147.677. Um, but yeah, no, like this US 30 trade, guys. Um, I'm about to go over it. Who's still here? Who asked to go over the trade? I'm going to go over the trade with you in a second. Let's just see if this could hit take profit. Can I go P first? Am I able to go P first? I would like to go pee. Shoot. I'll be right back. All right, yo, what's good? What's good? Are we back in the building, baby? What just happened? Oh, all right, cool. So we just hit take profit. Oh man, I sneezed while I was in the bathroom. Dude, I'm getting so I'm I, why am I falling apart at 27, bro? I just like I was at a weird angle, like drying my hands, right, like this, and I sneezed, and like now my side hurts. I'm like falling apart live on stream. What the heck, bro? Um, but yeah, anyways, all right. Cool. W's in the chat. So we just got our first W, one and only trade. So before I explain what we we're looking at on this trade, you guys, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and go 
into my dashboard it's for sure the last trade we're taking no need to get greedy like i said wednesdays are kind of wonky so if we, we were able to secure some profit today like we'll just take our small profit and just be content with that um you know one and done one and done it took us like five hours or four hours or something to get this trade okay let's go to account analyzer where we at though Okay, put this like that. Hey yo. All right, we're chunking away at it, guys. We're doing it. Like we're literally doing this thing. Do you think that it's gonna short after it hits your take profit? Some people trade like that, but uh, I don't know. I like I'm not really focused on it right now. I was I'm just accepting I'm I'm accepting the win right now for what it is. So I will definitely where are we at, where are we at though. I'm gonna accept the win for what it is, and then I'm gonna post in general chat. Um, all right. Yo TJ, I'm PJ, bro. Just joined your Discord. Your knowledge is a one. Hey PJ, I just saw that. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate the love. I mean, MetaTrader, why does your MetaTrader only show $2 USD? Because we're literally, look at right here. We're literally trading a 5K account. We secure partials, right? We're only, we only took 0.25% on that trade, all right? We only took 0.25% on that trade. All right, so this is where we're at. I'm going to post the results of where the whole account is in terms of metrics right now. Like, I'm not in here to pass the challenge as fast as possible. I just want to teach you guys proper risk management and how to actually, like, manage trades. Or at least how I manage trades. And if it works for you and you learn something, sick. But this is what we're at right now, guys. That's what we're at right now. Yeah, Josh, I just... Uh, are you using a copy trader? No, I probably should for my live accounts, though. But I just trade my live accounts. Because I come, in on, I come on at 7.30... Um, AM PST. I technically have two hours to trade if I really absolutely feel the need to trade on my live account in the mornings. So I don't need that much to live, right? I could take like one to two trades a week on my live account, and and like I'm I'm good. I'm chilling. Like I live super below my means. So like my whole thing is building the community and helping as more people, like as as many people as I could possibly help. So like. Obviously, my goal is to get funded live with the smallest amount of capital invested with you guys, which is the $49 or $50 account for my Forex funds. And then get to the payout stage, reinvest it into higher capital, because I'll never trade my live capital on the live stream. There's just too much noise. There's too much outside opinions. There's just too much going on to where I can't really focus and lock in. So because of that, there's only one feasible thing that I could do is get funded. If I want to make money while trading on the live streams with you guys, I just have to get funded. So if that's what we have to do and that's how we have to do it, then we're going to do it. So we're currently in that right now. We're currently we're currently doing that right now. All right. So, yeah, this is what we're at. 86% win rate. Don't focus on the win rate, guys. Don't focus on the win rate. All right. Just because when I'm using magic keys and I'm taking partials, I think it counts it as a win. Okay, so if I'm taking three partials on one trade and then putting stops at break even, like, don't focus on this. Okay, focus on my losers. Like, see how well I manage my losers. So if I'm risking 0.5% per trade, what does this mean? If I lost $18, $19. What that means is that I got out of the trade before it hit my full stop loss because it, it, I was already seeing something that I didn't like. So instead of risking the full amount of capital that I put up for my full stop loss to be hit, I just managed to trade and I got out early. And then we turned around and we got two wins right after. All right. You have chosen a specific time frame. How do you know what is most suitable? Every single every single trade is like just different, guys. So like some trades will tell me like, okay, I need to look at the 15. I need to look at the hour. And like when you start correlating like all of the stuff together, then that's kind of when it when the magic happens is when you could when you could watch the story unfold on multiple different time frames and they're all kind of saying the same thing then that's what we could look for 
right? That's when we could look for our lower time frame entries. Like, yes, I scalp, but at the same time, guys, like, I consider myself an intraday trader too. Do I ever hold them to that level? No, because I scalp, because I'm, I understand myself as a trader, and I know if I'm not sitting here managing it, I can't, I can't move on with my day. Like, I'm going to constantly be thinking about the charts. I'm going to constantly be trying to manage the trade. Like, I can't, I cannot, I'm not one of those people that could just set take profit, step stop, uh, set stop loss and walk away. I can't do it. And I understand that about myself. You know? I haven't gone to Hawaii yet, Daniel. We're going to the, we're going to Hawaii shortly. Uh, first week of June, but I have some family stuff I have to take care of. Um, a week or two prior. I think it's a week prior. So I'm going to be going live, going ham, Monday through Friday with you guys, 7.30 a.m. PST, all the way up until I have to take care of that family stuff. Um, but there is going to be content. So I'm kind of like working overtime for you guys right now. Um, I am editing content in the background when I get off these live streams. And I'm making sure that you guys have plenty of stuff to kind of enjoy while I do go on vacation. I kind of just take care of myself for a little bit. So I'm kind of working OT, but um, having a lot of fun doing it for sure. Having a lot of fun doing it for sure. So yeah, you guys, you guys won't be stranded. You, you guys won't be hanging high and dry. All right, I, like I made sure to take care of you guys. You guys are gonna have shorts daily. You guys are gonna have long form content. Oh, question, question. Actually, you guys, I have a question. I need, I need to do a poll for this. So I'm gonna end the poll. Okay, because if you guys are still in the stream right now, you guys are obviously like OG supporters, like. You guys like it's it's kind of crazy, right? You guys are just OG supporters, so I want to I want to start this poll with you guys. I need to ask you guys this question, um, and I'm gonna give it some background, okay? So I only have a hundred characters. All right, I only have a hundred characters. I want to see if I can word this properly. Watch all. Um, okay, I, th I think this is, I think this is the best way to write it. So basically my plan is, so for long form content for you guys, um, while I'm gone in Hawaii and everything, and while I'm taking care of the family and all that stuff, since we're documenting the journey with this funding challenge, like live on the stream, do you guys want to watch the trades and kind of study the trades together, like in long form content? So we could either make them very quick videos, like maybe like, be like two to three minutes, right? But if I speed them up like that, you guys are missing out on the whole psychology mindset on how I manage the trade live in front of you guys. So like, yes, would it be easier to watch? Absolutely. Could you watch the full thing? Three minutes? Probably, okay? And you could see if it hit take profit or it hit stop loss. But I don't know, I don't think you guys would get the most value out of it because you guys wouldn't understand how I managed the trade, why I got out when I got out and everything like that. Okay, so my, my poll is gonna come out right now. It's gonna say, watch all trades from challenge account sped up or listen to how I manage. And then long form content, okay. No. All right, because sometimes we take, like sometimes we take uh, like three trades. Like yesterday we took three trades, today we took one trade, right? But how long did this trade take to get us? Like this this video in and of itself, okay, I'm gonna ask the community. But anyways, this video in and of itself is gonna be, this one's probably gonna be like, how long did that take guys? Maybe like, 
45 minutes. Yeah, uh, Katu, if you want to look at how I... I'll mark up more stuff with you guys. We're still going to be on here for another hour and a half, okay? Um, but pretty much, like, I just wanted to get that question out because I was thinking about it. My brain is always thinking, you guys. My brain's always, always constantly moving. It never really shuts off. So what I was kind of, like, thinking of yesterday, I was just like, dude, like, I know I want to do this, but what's the right way to do it? Like... Is it going to be better to be long form? Is it going to be better to be sped up? Like, the sped up one is cool. It'll be easier to watch for sure. But then you guys won't get to understand, like, what I try to preach in all my stuff is how I manage the trade. Like, I don't really care for take profit to be hit. I don't care for full stop loss to be hit. Those are just levels, and they help me manage risk. And then the next stage to risk management is, like, actually watching what the candlesticks are telling you. And if you see rejections early on, secure yourself, secure, secure some money, take some money off the table, and... If you need to actually absolutely let it breathe, put your stops in at break even, put your stops in profit. So it's like you'll miss out on all that if I speed it up, because I'll basically just start from the entry when I press go, right? We'll we'll do like a couple seconds before, and then all of a sudden we'll we'll speed up the whole process of the chart moving up and down, moving up and down, um, and then we'll kind of go into we'll end it with like okay, cool, we took our W, nice, all this stuff. Or you guys watch the whole process of like, hey, I'm securing partials now. I'm moving stops at break even. This is why I'm doing that. And actually understanding it. You know what I mean? Uh, so they said, uh, I personally like uh, long form. Thank you so much, Johnny. Absolutely. Trista said long form is better. Then I can watch it on two times or skip to the next step. Yeah, exactly. It gives you guys more, more flexibility. Brown says long video um thank you bro for your help absolutely owen lokova absolutely guys absolutely john wayne's 45 yes and then forex pip said nice win nice win thank you so much appreciate it guys um let me go over this setup on why we entered it i know we had another uh somebody asking but i had to take care of a couple things before so let me kind of go over what i was looking at so we saw aggressive selling in this area right okay so aggressive selling from here all right, news was causing aggressive selling. And pretty much all, all I saw here was I started looking at it as we were coming down into this zone, and I just marked up demand, and we kind of talked about it as we were sifting through other pairs, and I just said, okay, price might reject this area um, off of this one-hour demand. Come up here and then start shorting from here to continue the trend down and fill, fill these lows. So with that being said, most of the time I wait for the bigger, higher time frame movement, because we haven't taken the trade for the day, this is why we only risk 0.25% versus risking the full 0.5%. Okay, so then I broke it down into the 15. And then I saw I saw this bullish rejection here. Okay, I saw price was kind of already forming this. It wasn't quite above this high yet. It was kind of like level. And I'm like, all right, shoot, let me look at what the 30 looked like. And then the 30 wasn't giving me any much clarification on it. Okay. Um, and then, of course... The 15, I was like, okay, 30 wasn't giving me clarification, but we did have a doji in this area on the 15. We already saw how the hour was kind of forming. Hour was closing in probably like another 15 minutes as well, which was this candle. So I was like, all right, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I, I could have entered earlier. Absolutely. Could I have gotten a better entry? Absolutely. But I said, you know what? I'm going to be patient. This is a big enough move where I can capitalize enough, enough movement and actually make some okay profit off this. So then as soon as this candle did a bullish engulfing of this previous high and it closed bullish, I went ahead and entered the position as soon as this candle was starting to get some momentum to the upside. Okay. And my stops were below here. Like that. And as soon as we got up into this area, there's like some five minute supply where price could probably reverse. I kind of just watched it. It held strong. Once it held strong and it continued to pass that five minute supply, I knew that there was a 15 minute supply up here. So we secured partials on the way up. We secured partials at the five minute supply and we secured partials at the top of here. And then we floated the last like 5% of the position up to take profit. Stops at break even after first partials were taken, protected as much capital as possible. Did I make an absolute killing, a, a, an insane amount? Nah, nah, I didn't. But everyone wants to see gold. So we'll look at gold for sure. 
So this is the trade that we were waiting on. We spent hours waiting on gold, okay? We, w we spent hours waiting on gold, you guys. By the way, my name is TJ. If you guys are getting any value or knowledge at all in this live stream, all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Turn on post notifications. Get notified when we go live. But my name is TJ. I've been trading for four years. Again, we are documenting the journey of getting live. <laughs> getting live. We are documenting the journey live with you guys. Trading a funded challenge account starting from zero, absolutely nothing, and getting funded live with you guys, reinvesting it, and then rinsing and repeating the process. Eventually, who knows, in a year, six months, two years, we'll eventually have a, a lot of a lot of capital if we stay consistent with the plan and practice what we preach. And then that will be more entertaining at that point. But if you guys are getting now in at ground level, definitely a lot of value you guys can learn from it as we proceed. Okay. Uh, but yeah, anyways, back to the charts. So gold bounce off in this area we saw the five minute double bottom from here um, we called out buys from that area and it just didn't hold where we were looking to get in for the sells so i missed the opportunity here but i didn't go chasing buys all right and then right now on gold like it's still kind of in like a no touch zone for me it's a no touch zone for me all right because we could just be testing these highs continuing to the downside we know that there's imbalance um in the market that still needs to be filled like if we go to the higher time frames let's go to the hour real quick like all this news did today, you guys, was come and close this imbalance in the market. All right. Now price can fill these imbalances in the market. So I'm not too sold on like super bullish momentum on gold quite yet. I need to see something a little bit more. But this is just a very messy range that is currently in. Okay. We called out the bottom buys from here. I didn't enter it. And I gave you my reasons on why I was waiting for it to retrace after closing this first gap and continue to the downside. Okay. So it still looks like it could be respecting this area. Like this hour candle closed has a rejection wick to the upside. Um, but this hour has not shown me that we broke the lows. Like there's multiple ways that you guys can approach this stuff. Where will US 30 drop from? So US 30, I think it will drop from where I kind of have marked up, in my opinion. Because this is now one hour supply. We took the one hour demand buys. But I would I would need to do what we did on what we need I would need to see how like how if price reacts the same way that it reacts down here up here then I would do the same thing rinse and repeat with my short setup rinse and repeat can we see a four hour head and shoulders on gold let me see and then how do I take partials so for me it's super easy guys like all I gotta do is go ahead and use magic keys again i'm like a broken record with this stuff but magic keys literally changed my life it literally helped me become a, a profitable consistent trader and it kind of takes the emotions out of it like trading becomes emotional uh, emotionless when you have this tool like like a tool like this if you could follow your discipline the emotions of actually thinking how much to risk per trade kind of take it out because this one just does it for you okay if you guys are looking to get magic keys top link in the description click the magic keys code use code tj10 to get 10 percent off It could be, uh, yeah, this looks good. Four hour head and shoulders. I see what you're talking about here. It's just not quite there yet, but it could be on its way up. Could be on its way up. Cause that would be about at the 50% mark. And then we can, then we'll, then we might close the imbalance. We might close the imbalance that we're waiting for on the lower, on the lower time frames, like the hour, I think I saw it on. Euro USD. Yeah, J. King, waiting for like clear confirmations, like whatever time frame is giving you the most indications, like sometimes when there's uncertainty, like for this on the 15, like it's just not certain yet. Like now I would have to wait for like the 30 minute closure and make sure that the 15 is engulfing this low. Lura, what is good? Marcus Monkey, how about Euro USD? I could check that out as well. Do you analyze the daily? Sometimes I analyze the daily. One tap. <laughs> what is that? A one D? Are you talking about a one D? A little one tap. <laughs> uh but yeah i i analyze the daily i kind of break stuff down guys if i don't get clear indications of what price is doing on the four hour i bump it up to the daily if i don't get clear indications of what price is doing on the hour i'll bump it up to the four hour i like to kind of sift from top down analysis it's like best practice to start from the daily down um let's look at your usd though So your USD also looks like it's continuing the trend up, right? Like we did get aggressive selling today, but it found some stability here. So if we see this four hour candle 
close above these highs, I would expect price to continue from this point up at least to here. And the reason that I'm saying that for Euro USD is there's a slight imbalance on the four hour that needs to fill right there. Okay. And then you could kind of monitor this, right? See what it's going to do. And maybe if we break this structure, we can continue to the upside and test these highs and like treat it like a video game, like go step by step. But again, guys, my name is TJ. I last you Monday through Friday. I've been trading for over four years. If you guys want to be a part of that journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys haven't already, let's smash the like button. We are currently at 373, baby. 373. Um, Long form. So it looks like long form. Maybe I'll make shorts out of like the sped up content. We'll see. But I'll end the poll just because more people that come in, I don't want it to ruin like kind of... Uh, can, <laughs> can we see their surfing highlights? Dude, I, didn't, I haven't surfed consistently for years and years. Pretty much when I started locking into my career and kind of getting like a serious relationship and everything, not that the relationship like stopped me from surfing at all, but I just had like my priorities like, okay, like I need to start making some real money. So this is when I was like 18. So I got kind of stuck into, uh, I kind of got stuck into like the career path and the career path that I chose was very inconsistent schedule. Meaning like I would come home at like 3 a.m. some nights, then I would go to work at 10 the following morning, or I would go to work, leave the house at like 7.30, or sorry, at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Like it was just all over the place. Sometimes I would go into work at 4.30, right? So leave the house at like 3. But my goal is now that I have like the time freedom, once I feel like started Brokes community and everything is like in a good solid foundation, uh, my goal is to, my goal is to definitely like start getting back out there. So right now, like I'm just getting my mind right, like getting my cardio in, trying to lose some weight, trying to reverse basically seven years of bad habits. Okay, trying to reverse seven years of bad habits. Now that I got like the mental clarity, I have the time, I have the freedom, I have a skill. That's kind of taking me where I want to go and I'm able to do it full time. Now I can kind of create my own schedule, be like my own person, not really have to answer to anyone but myself. So we've already taken a look at gold, but this is what I see for Euro USD. And then gold as well could be could be on its way up for the four hour, but for the most part, guys, we already saw what we were waiting for. We wanted price to kind of retrace down into this area and continue to create a lower low, but it like look at where the candles closed. It it created an area of support at this level, and we called out gold buys early on. All right. So because we called out buys and I was looking for shorts, I never got in. Yeah, now I got to deal with keyboard warriors sometimes. It's all right, though, guys. Like, honestly, a true shines through, bro. If you, if you all think I'm a fraud, so be it, dude. Like, obviously, like, the OG people that have been here for a while, like, they already know where my heart's at, where my mind's at. I say this. I talk about where my mind's at and my heart is at all the time. You guys see it live in front of me, like, in front of you guys. Like, I don't know how much more confirmation we need here. Do you guys need my bank information, credentials? Like... People are ridiculous. They got shiny object syndrome. If they don't see the big numbers, it's a, they're fraud. And in my head, I just call them little little brain syndrome. I call that little brain syndrome. Do you have a video of my strategy? Absolutely. Video is at the top. It's that link right there. It's supply and demand support and resistance. You can click that one. Um, I, it's a 10 minute video that I compiled like short and how I use both of them together. And then if you want to take it a step further and kind of look at my entries in terms of entries, once you get those key levels right with supply and demand support and resistance, you could then look at how I enter the market. You can look at all of the journal entry breakdowns. Okay, you can look at all of the journal entry breakdowns. They have multiple different entry styles. So there's a lot of value on the, on the channel, you guys. So again, my name is TJ. I've been trading for four years. If you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and watch us get funded live together. We just finished our last trade of the day or our only trade of the day. We had to wait a long time for that one. You guys are more than welcome to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and then smack that like button, dude. We're almost at 375. We are going for 400 today. We're going to be live answering any of your guys' questions for the next hour and 20 minutes, 22 minutes. So we definitely have some time together. So stick around, stick around for show, for show. And can you check Discord real quick? Oh, did you enter the gold trade? It tested the fair value in the supply zone. Let me, I want to mark up exactly what you're talking about because we already had it marked up. I just deleted it. 
Um, so it's thousand dollars considered a small account to start with. If you don't know what you're doing, I feel like that's way too much. Okay, if you don't know what you're doing. But for the most part, I think that if that, like it depends like how you're living. Like, is a thousand dollars chunk change for you? Like, is that money that you're willing to throw away to learn a skill set? Because most people, when I tell them like, oh, like I'm still new, but I want to put live money in the market so I can get like that real life emotion, I tell them like a hundred bucks is plenty, but don't try to get rich overnight from it. Okay, don't get rich overnight. Like you guys got to look at uh, which fair value gap are you looking at? What time frame? But yeah, no, $1,000, it just depends what your current living situation is. Like, if it's easy for you to kind of come up across $1,000, like, that's the amount that I used to kind of backtest with when I was kind of at my job still. That's what I used to backtest with. Okay, if it's if it's not that much for you, because I was in that situation too. If you feel like you have a, an understanding and you feel like things are starting to click after practicing with, like, a 100 or a $250 account, and you're seeing some consistency there by risking, like, a realistic amount like don't try to make money off of your 250 fifty dollar account don't try to make money off your thousand dollar account just try to learn consistency and at least putting some skin in the game so your mental your mental game gets sharper and it gets stronger because for some people like it's very hard for them to uh so, so like sometimes it's harder for people to get their mind right and actually like take a demo account seriously and actually trade it as if it was their own capital so like i believe I believe in, in kind of forward testing. I believe in using real capital, but it needs to make sense in your current situation. I'm not going to tell people to go invest $10,000, $1,000. If that's like their life saving, it took them six months to save up $1,000. But bro, if it's taking you like a paycheck and you have the extra funds to kind of wiggle around with, like, and it's a thousand bucks, like I used to do it. And now I'm here where I'm at. Like I went through a bunch of emotional damage. I've taken a thousand bucks to $3,000 in like 15 minutes two separate like 15 minute trades okay so within like a one one day time frame and then i turned around and lost it because i wasn't doing it right like i was just trying to like flex for the gram so it's like have a reason know what your why is if you want this to be a job understand like what it's going to take to get there you're going to have to take the small amount of capital when it, the market gives it to you you're not like you got to manage it at a different level Um, but what other pair do you guys want to see? NZD, JPY? I hope that answers your question, though, bro. CP9. I hope that answers your question. I just, like, I know there's some people that, like, they don't have a lot of capital to be messing around with like that. So I don't, I don't give them, like... I don't give them like number figures like that. We always keep it small. Like if you could manage a hundred dollars only trading 0 0.01 and being consistent and profitable in that sense, even if it's only like $2 a month because you're barely risking anything or $2 a week, whatever your goal is, then that's when it's like, okay, yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of doing this thing. So NZD JPY just tapped and respected this one hour demand zone. What's my supply zone on gold? What time frame do you want me to see my supply zone on gold? I'll check it out right now. So this is a wipeout bar on, yeah. So it's a liquidity grab on the two hour. So some people for NZD JPY would have taken buys at the break of this structure. I did, thanks. And I'm on demo account since yesterday. And it's, yeah, exactly. And it's at 12, uh, 12,500 now. But if you're trade right now paper, how do you pay your bills until you're done with the challenge? Well, I'm up at 4.45 in the morning, every single morning. So if I need to take some more trades on the live account, make some money, I'll trade what I need to trade if it makes sense. I'm very, very patient. I'm very conservative with my life capital. So <clears throat> like, I, like I said, I live super below my means, so guys. I don't need that much to live. Right now, I'm currently saving everything that I do make, and we're, my wife and myself's goal is to invest into real estate in California. 
and then we're going to open up a company through the real estate and then it will be obviously like a place where i could run the started broke company and all this stuff and just teach people how to do what i did and then she could have her business in the house as well so that's kind of like our goal so i'm just building here right now we're building uh hi bro demand demand and supply zones in four hour will be better for gold let's check it out let's see what we're looking at oh that's not gold and plus like if i'm getting funded with you guys live on the stream that's also going to be a whole nother like source of income you know what i mean it's going to be a whole nother source of income at first it's not going to be much at all like i'm it's going to be like pennies right at first it won't be that much but i'm documenting the process of starting with like the absolute smallest challenge did we need to do that absolutely not but it's realistic for most people So after I get my payout, so pretty much I have to pass phase one, phase two. And then after that, we get the funded account. I have to be in profit at the end of the month in the funded account once we pass phase two. And then at the end of the month, they will send me the payout and the refund of the initial um, like challenge fee. Okay, and then the account is ours, but we still have to practice the same risk management uh, procedures while we're on the funded account so we're still going to be trading very aggressively and we're not going to be going for any crazy amount and then once we get paid out with that uh they pay out through deal by the way that's who the, my forex funds uses they pay out through deal and um once we get that guys it's like we're just going to get the money straight out and reinvest it into another challenge and we're going to rinse and repeat then hopefully the amount of profit that we get from the first challenge we're going to be able to afford not just the 10,000, hopefully we can get like a 25K or 50K account. It just depends how much money we can make in the month. Um, let me see, 15 minute, oh, okay. I, well, I kind of break it down top down guys. So hang on, let me let me focus on the chart real quick on what I'm seeing on gold. Let me get my levels. And by the way, I'm only, ch wait a second. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. I only get my, levels on the weekly for gold at this current moment because it's like at these all-time highs 2075 and then i'll break it down and i'll go like this okay so we know that's a good daily key level and currently it is respecting these highs. This daily candle looks to be closing bearish for the day. So like I'm I'm still pretty heavy on shorts for gold, guys. Like just because I didn't get my exact entry on it on the lower time frames doesn't mean that I'm not looking for shorts. Like daily, like just how I was seeing that daily candle and we're coming up to like close the market shortly. Like pay attention. I think gold's gonna short. Okay, so our gap filled the imbalance. Okay, filled the imbalance. Good structure on the hour. Okay, respecting this, hour basically closed below that line. Slightly above, but still had a huge rejection wick. Okay, so now this next hour is important. Are we going to get a wipeout bar setup? Is it going to be a bearish engulfing? Because if it is, in this next hour candle, we still have 45 minutes for it. Then I would start looking for shorts. Then I would break it down on the 15 minute right before the hour is about to close. If this hour candle is engulfing this hour candle from this key level that we have marked up, I'm going to drop it down to like the 15, the 30. I want to see how. Sorry, my headset. My, I talked to myself too long. My headset says, bro, you're literally talking to no one. You need to chill. But yeah, so it depends how this hour candle closes. If it closes below this previous candle after we already had rejection wicks from the top i'll be looking for shorts on lower time frames and like that's all i need to see euro odd goes hopefully i answered that question for you as well by the way guys we're at 379 likes if you guys have not already smashed that like button we're going for 400 likes today we're going to be live for a little bit over um a little bit more than an hour today actually so we have a little bit more time Go ahead and smash that like button now. And then, of course, if you guys are new here, my name is TJ. I've been trading live in front of you guys for a couple months now, but I've been trading for over 
four years. I think we're pushing like four and a half now at this point. If you guys want to be a part of the journey, I'm currently getting funded live, documenting it with you guys um, and seeing if we could do it live and on camera in front of everybody. So we're currently up 0.95% on the account. So I have a little bit of room to go. So 7% in total. We're taking our time. We're barely risking anything on these entries. Um, win rate is pretty good, but I'm not focusing on the win rate. I'm focusing on how I manage the trades and what profit we are walking away with each and every day. And... Um, yeah, so we're doing pretty good. So if you guys want to stick around for it, watch the journey. All you guys got to do is subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, smash the like button to help us get to that 400 like mark. Crazy, crazy momentum today, guys, honestly. So let's look at the next one you guys want to see is Euro Odd. Khan is looking at Euro Odd. That's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting this is just a fat liquidity gap and we're kind of just stuck back into consolidation um so i wouldn't so for this like i got to look at the higher time frames and kind of see where we're at mm. this just has a lot of traffic in it i wouldn't consider this necessarily like a demand zone because one it's way too big and then also like it just has mo like price has been stuck here on the daily time frame multiple times so for me on odd, I'm just going to kind of sit this one out until I start seeing some movement to the upside. Because we're clearly in an uptrend, okay? We're clearly in an uptrend, that's for sure. All right, however you, however you guys want to look at it, you could either say, you could either say, okay, it broke the trend line, it broke the uptrend, all right? And then if that's the case, we could find some stability in this area. We can wait for price to restabilize up into this area and then look for shorts okay this is where the aggressive selling started so we would look for entries on the higher time frames up in this area if you guys want to if you guys think like don't go based off of what i'm thinking but if you guys are seeing the same thing like okay we're in an uptrend for daily okay price is in this area consolidating hasn't really broke this level to the downside to consider it being in very like bearish markets like yes we've had a couple of red days but for the most part it's still finding some stability okay it's still finding some stability this daily candle's indecisive who knows it can, this daily candle has some time maybe this candle closes a doji maybe it closes with some bullish momentum respecting the structure and it continues to the upside oh sells in the 15 minute Honestly, bro, I think this is still just is so much structure that's that's kind of stuck here. If you're considering this your 15 minute structure, it could work. Like if you're seeing cells and you and you want to see it kind of test the double bottom here. If you want to see it test that, like and you see if you if you're seeing scalps on the smaller time frame and you got your entry signal, like take your cells. I'm just letting you know, like in terms of where it's at and like the higher time frames, I, I wouldn't be looking for scalps currently, especially because this is a this is a really fat range like this is just what was this was this news or something i don't know what this was probably news uh katu said after price rejects supplier demand you wait for a break of structure and you jump in yeah so if it respects it i gotta see that it's gonna actually continue it like if it respects it once and it gives us an, one nice candle let's see if like the next one like the next five minute candle or the next 15 minute candle could continue the momentum and it's not just running into another demand or supply let's see if we're getting like clear indications that we're going to where we want it to go uh us 30 is flying let's check it out nice so this is a this is a good area so i would not look for us 30 i would not i would not look for us 30 to continue to sell just off of what i'm seeing on the 15 minute but let's back out a little bit more. <laughs> Trista, hello, welcome. Welcome all the new members. I love that for us. If you guys are looking to join the Discord, make sure that you guys join the Discord from the link and then don't type in the verification channel. You guys are real people, right? So you should be able to click this button, go to a site, and then fill out the CAPTCHA form and verify yourself. OK? 
Okay. Like I need to know you guys are having trouble before I before I manually do stuff. See, this is why I sift through all the time frame, guys. Uh, this is literally the reason why I do this. Hold up. You guys see what I see? Scratch everything I just said. Scratch everything I just said. All right. I honestly think US30 is going to keep ripping. We see what the we we see what the end of the day volume brings us with the US30, right? Okay, so with that being said, like this for our candle, if we can close and engulf all of this bearish momentum, then we might have enough momentum to break out of this consolidation. Remember what I said about patterns. I don't know if you guys were here earlier in the day, but what I said about patterns is that like whatever we're seeing on the lower time frames, if we're seeing a higher time frame pattern clearly forming and clearly about to close going in the direction of this inverted head and shoulders, be very wary against going against that trend. Okay, so I'm going to send this one out like to the community. For sure going to send this out because yeah, we're for sure going to send this one out to the community. I like I need I need you guys to like tap in. I need you guys to see this right now. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. See if the four hour candle closes as a bullish engulfing. Look for the continuation. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, um, there we go. Good call on Dirty Thirty. Oh, you, are you talking about the the first trade we got in? That was all just based off hour demand, hour demand, and then I just looked at the four hour right now, and I'm just like, geez. I was like, geez, but yeah, guys, sorry, I was just, I had to send this out to the community. It was just looking too nice. Um, you know, there's not a lot of times where like a trade takes my breath away, but this trade is looking to take my breath away. This one, I'm already in the buy. I love it. I love it. And like I like you could you could play this a little bit more conservative on the take profit area. Like you could say like right here. Thirty four one thirty. But like if we have such a four hour like like if I see this forming and the bullish engulfing with the last minute volume. Not to mention we got in buys at like literally the bottom. Like what would the risk to reward be if we were still in this trade? Just, just for fun. Like, what would this be? Am I that guy? <laughs> Guys, I might be that guy. I might be the guy that calls out the one to sixes. No, I don't still have the runner, bro. Like, it, it got out on the lower time frames where I needed to go out. Like, I'm not just going to hold on to that. But, like, bro, the four hour, the four hour, the way it's about to close <laughs> is disgusting. Um, 
will it pull back i don't i mean you might get smaller time frame pullbacks but for the most part higher time frame analysis like It's kind of what I'm seeing. You guys aren't going to get entries until up here. Like you guys need to like look for your candlestick entries and then fill in this gap here, manage it how you need to manage it. But I called this out from a swing traders perspective. Okay. By the way, guys, my name is TJ. If you guys have not already smashed that like button, I go live Monday through Friday at 7:30 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to be a part of that, we are currently documenting the journey of getting funded live with you guys. We have 0.9 for 0.95 percent in profit on the current funding challenge account. Um, and we definitely started that challenge on Monday. So we we're slowly chunking away at it. We only took one trade today on US 30. We caught the bottom of this position here, um, but we secured everything we needed to. I just went back and looked at US 30 because of the bullish momentum that we're getting. And this four hour candle is about to close as a bullish engulfing. Um, so scratch this out if you guys are just tuning in. I just wanted to do that for just for fun, just see where it could have gone to and what the risk reward would have been for my initial entry. Um, but yeah, so we got this four hour inverted head and shoulders pattern forming. Bullish engulfing is almost on its way to forming as well. Um, and then I want to see clear breaks above these highs and smaller time frame confirmations with the candlesticks to get in for the second entry to fill up these highs here. Okay. So yeah, with that being said, guys, we got 384 likes. If you guys have not smashed the like button, smash the like button. Let's try and get 400 likes on this stream. It was another W day for us. And then, of course, guys, like the momentum of the stream was popping, popping, like kind of crazy today. It still currently is popping. So if you guys want to stick around, subscribe to the channel. All up to you guys. But um, what do you think about AUD CAD? Did I already look at AUD CAD? I may have already had that marked up. Let's see. Can we trade my strategy in crypto? Yeah, I've called out some crypto trades, but just know there's not a lot of data in crypto. Not a lot of data in crypto, right? On Bitcoin, you can kind of use TA. Like, let's look at Bitcoin. Did Bitcoin even respect what we we're... Look, we got a liquidity grab. It's still respecting my zone that we had marked up. Like, it's still there. It's still doing this thing. It's still doing this thing. Like, yes, it died, but it just got... Like, somebody hit it with the defibs in, in Battlefield. All right? Somebody literally went on the Battlefield right now for Bitcoin. It died earlier, and they hit him with the defibrillator. All right? This, my boy is back. My boy is back in the building. It stomped out all these shaky hands. All right. Just don't want to drop 500 yet. Kraz, take your time, baby. Take your time. Take your time. Made 50K on demo. Was only in drawdown for 5K. Bro, you're, you're an insane. You're insane. Check gold. We already we checked gold, guys. I mean, there's not much. It's not much. Like, I'm still looking for shorts, you know? And like it's starting to fall. All right, we called it out. Like, break a structure. Like, are we going to continue to fall? Like, you guys can enter shorts here if you choose to do so. But like, for the most part, like, I'm kind of overlooking at gold because like we're already looking for shorts. Like, we've already seen shorts happen today. And it's just like it didn't give it to us where we wanted it. Okay, it went a little bit higher, but like the shorts are still valid. It just respected this supply up here better than it respected this supply. Low volume won't be trading right now, but just just kind of like marking marking this stuff up for you guys, right? Just kind of see it like the bigger picture. Like don't a lot of people get lost in the sauce on these lower time frames when they don't realize what's happening on the higher time frames. That's this number one issue of why most traders aren't successful because the people that you guys are seeing on the internet that scalp like myself on the lower time frames, um we have reasons to get in on the lower time frames. We're not only looking at the lower time frames. Okay, like we have, like if you're looking at the one minute chart, you're probably looking at the 30 minute chart just as much, just to get a little bit more confirmation. And then what the one minute tells you aligns with it. Okay, cool. But for me, like if I'm mostly looking at the 15 and the five, then we're, we're like, then I'm probably using the hour and the four hour. J King's getting slapped around in NASDAQ. <laughs> J King. Whenever you come in here and you say stuff like that, all I could think about is like a boxer, like in the final rounds, when you say you're getting slapped around, like a, like an episode of Rocky, right? Or not an episode, but like, <laughs> but I just think of like Rocky just in the ring, you know, like the slow-mo boxing or Creed. I love the Creed movies. Just like super intense, like literally just getting beat, beat up. Like I love that stuff. And then absence looking at 
I didn't I didn't finish what I was saying on Oddcad. Let me look at the daily. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. So what I'm seeing here is we're still rejecting this area, still rejecting the 200 MA. Um, if we could see this close in this area the following day, like I'm not going to enter any trades right now. If we could still see this kind of close in the same general area, you might be able to look for shorts continuing to the downside and filling these lows at like 89.550. It's going to take some time. Like there's just no volume right now, guys. There's just no volume. But by the way, guys, if you guys have not already liked the stream, all you guys got to do is go in and smash that like button. We came across this issue last stream. We were so close to hitting 400. I think we ended up hitting it, but we didn't hit it until like the last, last section of the stream. By the way, I think it is biscotti hour. So TJ is going to go grab a biscotti. TJ will be back. Um, but yeah, everyone's popping off on the US 30 trade. Everyone loves what US 30 is doing. So for the people just coming in here right now, I want to see you guys. Let's see. Let's leave this up there. Okay, I, I want you guys to like study this trade and understand why I've marked it up like this. Gold is melting? Absolutely. That's good. That's good. We've been looking for these shorts all day. Lit forever. Lit forever. My boy, I've had a... I don't want to... Yeah, just... I know how to chill. I know how to chill, all right? I plead the fifth, but I know how to chill. Take it as you will. Okay, I, I know how to get my mind right. Definitely, definitely, like my chill level is max chilled. Max chilled. There, there's years of preparation behind that. Why am I max chilled? Years of training. Years of training. Okay, multiple different marathons. All right. I still have coffee though. Coffee's still hot. I'm going to go grab some biscottis. One sec. All right, the boy's back. The boy's back. By the way, guys, if you guys are new here, my name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. If you guys want to be a part of that journey with me as I get funded live with all of you, all you guys got to do is go ahead and hit that sub button, turn on post notifications, and then do me a favor because we're so close to 400. Smash that like button, baby. Smash that like button. But not while trading. Absolutely not. No, fat detox. Fat detox right now. Only at social events. Social events with the homies, right? But like I've been so locked in that we don't even really put ourselves in that situation. For sure, not while trading. Absolutely, hundred percent not. Some people do those. I mean, kudos to them. Those people are next level, bro. Those people are next level. Uh, dude, guys, what other? Like, what do you guys want to watch? You guys want to watch gold melt right now? Is that what we're waiting for? We're just going to watch gold melt? Closing below, below the 200 MA. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to watch gold melt and fill these lows on the lower time frames? We could do that. EJ looking nice. Let's scope it. I think I have it on here already. Oh. It is. It is, but it's not my cup of tea. There's some people where that's their cup of tea. It's not TJ's cup of tea. But I see what you're seeing. Don't worry. This, this is my cup of tea. This is something like, <clears throat> I'd hit that for sure. Like, you know what I mean? I'd hit that. <clears throat> I just respected our demand. One sec. I know this looks really messy. 
but we've been looking at this for so long, like so many days. So I'm just kind of keeping what I already had marked up. It's still respected this hour demand, guys. Like, yes, my stops that I put there got stomped out. But, like, look at the bigger picture. You finally got your entry signal right here. You guys didn't get the entry signal last time. So this is the break of structure. Here, let me, let me clean this up slightly. And I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, let me get this old stuff out of here. This is like a five-minute time frame right before news. Ah, dang it, my biscotti. My biscotti is going crazy. Come on, my boy. All right, check it out. Get this out of here. Get this box out of here. Oh. Oh, my gosh, I'm a mess. Okay, so what do we do here? All right, what do we do here in this situation? So you have multiple ways that you could have reacted to this, okay? So we know that this is a higher time frame, one hour demand on oil, okay? We know that this was bullish, but we had a wick here. If, if that didn't, if that wasn't your cup of tea, because we have the 50, uh, 200 MA, totally understand that, okay? It matched the highs here. If you weren't convinced, then you could have either con been convinced in this area, okay? Because we closed above the 200. If you still were iffy because of 200 MA, then you could have just waited for like this, and then seeing this candle, you would have entered, okay? So above the 200 MA on the 15, closed above these highs. So then you would do, okay, cool, what's next? I'm just gonna borrow one of these lines because we like, we already have these lines. Uh, but anyways, so you would consider this one, okay? The break of structure, all right? So as soon as this candle opens and it, and it gets momentum to trigger you into the trade, you're in. You could either do safe stops because this is the second time it hit the hour demand and you could hold it there. And we looked at the higher time frame, and we know that we can continue to the upside a lot, right? So you could you could have hopped in at the break of structure there. And then now it's giving you that last minute volume of the day. Um, if you're taking this as a scalp, you know, you could secure partials here, depending on where your stops at. You could secure partials at this high because it's another piece of structure on the 15, or you could secure partials at the highs here. Oh my. My biscotti's making a mess over here. Don't know if you answered this yet, but is volume actual traders slash trades? Volume is just banks and institutions, just algorithms, everything like that. Computers, computers with a lot of money behind them. It's not us. We're we're like the little we're like the little pip squeaks. If the institutions are like fifty percent or like 50 cents, like a half dollar, right? And I had to explain what traders are in the market. Let's say like a half dollar can move the market. We're like, we're like, probably like a third of a penny. Okay, we're, we're nothing. We're like so minuscule. Uh, but yeah, resistance is holding and there is selling pressure. On which one? Mmm. Literally a pipsqueak. Literally a pipsqueak. I like that. Nah. So I'm still going for buys. Like, look at all this imbalance here. We tested these lows, but we're still in an uptrend. So, like, there's clean traffic here. So I see, I see the clean traffic still waiting to be filled. That's why I'm looking for buys on oil. Right? By the way, guys, we are at 392 likes. If you guys have not already smashed the like button, smash that like button. Help the boy get to 400 likes on the stream. We've definitely been popping off. It was a slow and steady stream, but we stayed consistent through our plan, waited very patiently for an absolute banger of a setup, and we did it, baby. We did it. So if you guys want to go ahead and help out the boy, all you guys got to do, hit the sub button, and, of course, smash the like button. I did that backwards. Normally, I hit the subscribe first and then smash the like button, but let's try it different. Let's see if we can make a bigger focus on the uh, on the like button. But yeah, my name is CJ. I've been trading for over four years, you guys. If you guys want to be a part of the journey with me as I get funded live in front of you guys, get the payouts, reinvest in higher challenges, and literally build capital from zero as I document the journey live in front of you guys. This is going to be the channel for you. 
Um, haven't seen anyone do it quite yet on YouTube, um, like alive. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna do it live in front of you guys. Like I said, I will never trade my live capital in front of you guys, but if I do need to make money from the streams and show you guys what's possible, I will get funded with an account and, um, and document it. And then that will be the funds that I make live in front of everyone. But if you guys are here and you guys are upset that I trade on a challenge account or I'm not showing my personal bake account and it's not filling your guys' needs of shiny object syndrome, this is not the channel for you. I, I, I apologize. I know we're going to get the keyboard warriors any second coming in here now, guys. I've seen this all before. Gold is just a monster. Gold, gold could respect... Gold could respect where what, 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 what could gold respect? I really think we might fill these lows on gold though with this last minute volume, or at least into here. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm done trading gold, so I can't really take it seriously right now, right? So we already waited for what I wanted to happen, it didn't happen, and we sat this one out. Tomorrow's gonna be a new day, and it will present a lot of new candles, a lot of new movements, a lot of new data for me to kind of piece together. Um, but yeah. I mean, this is an hour. This is an hour demand here. It's not respecting correlation at all. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's literally following. <laughs> it's literally following. What the heck? Yeah, it's kind of weird. That is weird. I'm not going to lie. Mm -mm. I don't like it. And then Street B said, where do you think US 30 go is going? US 30 moon. We just need to see bullish engulfing. And then absolute safe buys above structure. Get your lower time frame entries. Do it, you guys. Do it. I'm eating a biscotti right now. You guys know what a biscotti is? I can't even tell you what it is. It's like a... I don't even know if you would consider this a pastry. What would you, what would you consider a biscotti? I don't know. Super not healthy for you. Biscotti with biscotti. Bis biscotti coffee with a side of the biscotti. That's what I'm talking about. Those chasing the gold chains and Lambos um, without knowing <laughs> and respecting fundamentals will probably blow accounts more than that we will. Teach their own, guys. Teach their own. Whatever. Some people like, yeah, like I'm on my own journey. You know what I mean? I'm on my own journey. I'm sharing it with you guys. If you guys want to be a part of it, sick. If you don't, sick. Like, I know that there's going to be people out there that truly want to, like, learn the craft and, like, they'll focus on what's being presented in front of them. And then there's other people that need to absolutely see, like, the monetary value behind stuff. Like, they absolutely need that. Like, if, if I don't post a Lambo on my story, I don't know how to trade. Like, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. Hey, but all my OGs right here, all my OGs, if I ever get out of line, okay, if I ever get out of line, if I ever, if you guys ever feel like I'm starting to flex and go away from my morals, I need my OGs to check me and be like, TJ, we started this to avoid this exact reason. Okay. There's a reason why we started all this. We didn't like what was going on with the industry. Okay? We didn't like what was going on with the industry. We need to be the light. We need to be the light in the industry. Do you guys think it's possible to change an entire industry? <laughs> TJ, time to shave your beard. That'll be codenamed for TJ. You're going down the, the wrong path, my friend. No, but for real though, for real though, my goal is I will never, I never want to flex any, any type of like watches, cars, lifestyle stuff. Like my only lifestyle flexing that I'm going to do, and it's not even a flex, it's me just going and enjoying my time, is like I'm going to post a sunset picture in Hawaii, right? I'm just going to go have a good time, enjoy my, enjoy myself. I'd rather just post it on my personal account, not the company account, but... 
Some people want to see it. But for the most part, I'm not going to be making a short video with stacks of 20s right next to me. We're not doing that stuff. Like, <laughs> my marketing is just showing up to the charts and showing you guys. Like, that's my marketing. Showing up to the charts every single day. Uh, Sammy said, you, have, you may have answered this question earlier, but do you aim for any percentage goals uh, per week or per month? Not necessarily. I feel like when you start, when you start setting goals and feeling like you need to reach those goals specifically in, in a market like, like, tr like trading like this, that is completely probabilities and doesn't need to do anything of what you want it to do. That's when you start messing with your psychology. I feel like that's probably why I'm so calm when I trade and everything is because like, yeah, we, in this month, we want to make 8% so we can pass phase one, okay? We, we want to do that, but that's in the back burner. I'm taking day by day, okay? I don't focus on like what's gonna come at the end of the month. I focus day by day and I wanna protect capital at all costs and I wanna make as much money as I probably can, you know? So like, I don't like putting like a, oh, I need to make 10% a month. It's like, because if you look at like the big traders, like the people that aren't online, the people that are like actually consistent traders and trade for a living, like full time. And this is what they do. 8% a month is a lot of percent to get. Okay. Consistently. Um, it's pretty much like, like people that manage hedge funds and things like that, like the percentage gains that they get is so minuscule per day. All they care is that they made money, okay? They just want to stop the bleeding as much as they possibly can. Um, one of the people that I kind of follow in terms of my trading career, like one of my mentors, um, not like a real mentor, not one-on-one -on -one session, but I took a class with somebody. You know, they were kind of saying that there is apparently a challenge that says if you can make like 8% per month for like a year straight or something or two years, or is it, it's like three years straight, something like that, that the, it's like a bank that has this challenge. The bank will fund you like some crazy amount of money because it's never been done before. It's just not feasible to make these, these high percentage gains per month. Like the goal of this whole trading stuff, guys, this is the absolute goal. Get enough capital to where you only need to make a percent or 2% a month. Something very small, something that won't stress you out. That's the goal. Get enough capital to be able to do that and you'll be good. Anything else after that is extra. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to say buy my course while I'm in Hawaii. My favorite one is when people come in here so mad and I literally sell nothing right now. Oh, I'll take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Okay. Take that back. Let me show you guys what I sell. Okay. Where's this thing? You guys are going to like this. Okay. This is the only thing that I currently sell. And my profit margins are terrible on them because it's print on demand. Okay. This is the only thing I sell. Okay. Secure and float stickers. <laughs> and a secure and float mug. Just to remind us when we're trading to secure and float, baby. Don't get too caught up in greed. But no, on, on a serious note, like I literally don't sell anything except for these. That's it. And it's like I still get called a scammer when I'm like live trading in front of you guys. I still get called paper trader. I guess I'll call it this. It's like, yeah, 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 we know. We've heard it before. We've heard it before. Like, we've, we've been, we've seen this movie before. How many times? We've seen it a lot of times together, guys.
And then Star Sailor said, what did Star Sailor say? Since I started watching you two weeks ago, I'm up 17.3% on my 100, uh, 100k demo account. I'm prepping for a challenge for I was uh, up and down with, without consistency. Nice. I love that, bro. I'm super stoked for you. Just take it slow. Like, don't get, like, just don't get caught up in the numbers. Any tips on, to, uh, on how to hold the trade till TP? Secure and float. Secure and float, right? We saw how we did that on US 30. It sought me out early, but guess what? I made money. The market gave me what I needed to get. Um, so pretty much like, so when I say secure and float, guys, when we're getting up to key levels on whatever time frame you take the trade and it starts reversing against you, or if you manage it like me on the five minute or the 15 minute, and you're watching how these candles are closing, when it gets to key areas where price could has the probability like there is a possibility price could just reverse because we're getting up to structure points secure some profits put your stops at break even right because if you're securing partials up there but then you still have a full stop loss like ready to go that money you made is pointless because guess what your stop your full stop loss will take away all the profit you just made anyways so it doesn't even make sense if you're going to secure partials put your stops at least at break even okay Unless there's like a very like once in a blue moon situations where you don't need to do that. Uh, but for the most part, like holding price until stop loss, like any tips to actually, or sorry, until take profit, any tips to actually do that comes from securing and floating. Because you only want price to hit your take profit because you have some type of pride or ego that says, and like everyone on the internet says, you, you either have to let it hit stop loss or take profit. That's why you want it to hit your take profit so bad. But in reality, what you could do is if it's getting to key resistance points or key levels on certain time frames, why aren't you just securing as you go up, putting your stops at break even, securing securing profits, protecting your profit, like protecting yourself, protect your capital, and then allow that greed that and that pride and that ego, allow that to then go and work for you. Okay? Allow that to then go and work for you. So logical brain says, hey, TJ. You should probably secure and float at this point. So sec secure some partials, put your stops at break even, risk free trade now, and then greed brain, emotional TJ over here, this part of the brain is saying, hey, let's let that float. Let's see how much, let's see how much more profit we can get out of this trade. I know it's going to go up. I know it's going to do it. And greed brain will win sometimes, but you know who always wins is logical brain. Logical brain that took the money off the table, secured what he needed to secure, and kept going. Just got out of the NASDAQ and profit, thank goodness, was down 10%. Let it ride. Is it continuing to the upside? Are we in sales? What are you in right now? Okay, I got you. And then um, Hosini said, how much was your worst loss? That when you when you go for revenge trading percentage wise, whole account, hundred percent of the account. Imagine being up three hundred percent. Okay, imagine being up three hundred percent off of a thousand dollar investment. So going up to three k and then losing it all the next day. Yeah. But that was when I was like an account flipper. That's when I had money to blow. Like I just didn't care. I just it was more of like flexing for the gram it was like that was tj that was doing this on the side just making some good money here and there but for the most part losing money and then eventually it was like okay if you if you really want to leave your job how what are you going to have to do in order to become profitable follow a strict uh like follow a strict risk management plan i had magic keys for the longest time guys and i wasn't even using them because i was like uh, magic keys like i tried the whole two percent one percent thing at first and i was like uh but I don't want to make just a dollar. I don't. I don't want to or ten dollars. I don't want to make ten dollars. I don't want to make just twenty dollars today. I'm trying. I'm trying to flex for the gram. Well, it didn't work out, and it, it caused my learning curve to be a lot longer than it needed to be. But as soon as I like hunkered down, followed a consistent trading plan, and allowed myself to have the discipline to do so, that's when I was able to make the the jump in taking, you know, leaving my job, having this income from trading replace it you know, replacing the income trading or 
replacing the income from the job okay but i wasn't able to do that first like i had to i had to fix some internal stuff with myself like i had to find the consistency but it was up to me and it, it doesn't fall on anyone else but me so trading is like the biggest like if you if you aren't one to take accountability for your actions and like very humble trading will humble you just just give it some time just give it some time for sure you, you'll get there trust me um but yeah forex trader said that's a good explanation was in sell got scared of that breakout dude I, how do you hold trades like that bro like what was i looking on this the one hour was it the one hour how did you not panic and not sell when we had like after a bullish candle like this and a continuation of breaking these highs how did you not panic and not not get out of your position like even at the break of these highs i would have just cut losses here that's crazy oh by the way you guys if you guys want to take a funding challenge the same company that i If you guys want to take a funding challenge, the same funding company that I am using, all you guys got to do is use that link to help support the channel. Um, if you are already planning on using my Forex funds, okay? So that's who I use if you guys are curious. And then, of course, if you guys are trying to get magic keys and use the same exact risk management calculator that I use, the top link in the description um, takes you to... Where is that link? Where did it go? Huh. I don't have it. Let me see. Let me go find it real quick. Hang on. Scratch what I'm saying until I find the link. There we go. I don't know why I deleted this link. Okay, so there you go. So the top link in the description, you guys, it will take you over here. And once you are here, you can go ahead and click on Magic Keys. Use code 10% off for TJ10 at checkout, okay? Invest in yourself. It's the best risk management tool I've ever come across in my entire trading career. Changed my trading for the, for the better allowed me to leave my job, become profitable, and stay consistent with trading by having the discipline to allow it to do its job while I do mine. Uh, what do you think I did wrong here? I was in sell at one, or 13, 3, 4, 8. J King, what, do you, what time frame do you trade on? What time frame do you trade on? Do you ever look at other time frames or you only look at the five minute? Um, didn't see anything left. I go based off higher time frames. Didn't see anything left. Expect those daily highs. So I guess the next daily highs that you could have come across were here at, at 13.386. And it kind of respected off of it a little bit. So if I was looking to kind of short from that point, I would have probably just waited for that. I probably would have just waited for up in this area. You said it was 13348. Yeah, I probably just would have waited for that. So you looked left and you saw the daily highs. I think the levels were just slightly off, slightly off a little bit. Because I can't see any other... Were you talking about these highs? Let me see. I might have been talking about these highs. Yeah, I got you, bro. So like, yes, this is a daily high, right? This is probably where, this is probably the one you're going based off of right here around this area. Maybe this one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. So when I'm looking at it, it's like 
what where did price respect most like where are the most wicks so we saw wicks come across this area we saw wicks come across this high and we saw wicks reject this area as well okay so like the most areas like it just looks like clean like i don't know like when you see like break of structures like it didn't create a new high until it broke this level it didn't create a new high until it broke this level it didn't create a new high until it broke this level so that's kind of what i look for on higher time frames when i'm looking for like key structure points but yeah that that would that's scary bro that's scary i'm glad you got out of that trade like this daily candle is just very bullish very very bullish for sure but by the way guys if you guys want to be a part of the live trading journey with me monday through friday every single day all you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and then of course smash that like button we hit the 400 likes for the live stream today guys so we are in the technical analysis slash q a section of the stream so if you guys have any questions at all all you guys have to do is drop it into the chat so we can continue to answer and provide value to you guys um let's see gavin gillies what's your list of rules okay you want to know the list of rules that got me profitable and consistent trading monday tuesday thursday and friday tj it's a wednesday i gotta do it for the people the time that I trade is from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. PST. I'm a scalper. I trade one to two times a day. My goal is a one-to-one -one risk to reward, risking 0.5% to 1% per trade. Time frames that I scalp off of are going to be the hour structure points and then five and 15 minute entries off supply and demand and break a structure candlestick entries from there. Um, as we move forward, all you guys got to know is that like you have seen the growth and the development, right? from me so now i'm starting to look at higher time frames and being even more patient because if the higher time frame is not in line with what i'm seeing on the hour the 15 and the five i just hold off on the trade and i want the higher probability ones have you ever heard city imperium traders prop no i haven't guys like i said the only prop firm that i i kind of stand behind guys is going to be my forex funds currently until somebody else changes my mind until somebody until we get funded with somebody else the next one we might get funded with um, eventually will be probably TFT because they are another big dog, big player in the game. And I do like their dashboard. Like I've used them before. Um, but for right now, the one that I stand behind is my Forex fund. So if you guys want to check out that link right there and support the, chan uh, the channel, all you guys got to do is buy a challenge from that site there. But understand what the challenge rules are. Understand how you get funded. It's not like you just pay $50 and you get 5K. Like you have to prove yourself consistent and then the money comes in. Okay. Um, but Gavin, I hope that answered your rules. Can I show the trades from today and explain why you took them? Yeah. Let me see. Yes, I wait for a pullback. So I wait for my supply and demand retest. Okay. And if, if you guys are curious, I do use a 200 moving average. So it's right here. So I use that along. Like, it's just another confluence. So I base every single trade off it. No. But it is just a confluence that I use sometimes just to help me like see a little bit more clearly. I don't really believe in indicators all too much. That's why I only have one on there. It's literally just a moving average. It's because it takes all the past data, okay? Like you can read the candlesticks and that's what kind of helps you guide yourself in the markets a little bit better because every 200 candlesticks on whatever time frame is what creates this line, all right? So like you can see what the price is doing greater while the candlestick is moving before this adjusts. So it's like, Think of indicators as past data, candlesticks are current data. And then, yeah, you're gonna use them because it's one step verification. There's some people that like the one steps. I just haven't found like a one step verification kind of like prop firm that I like yet. If we wanna get risky, if we wanna get risky, you guys, maybe one day we could do the night challenge for TFT. That's kind of a, it's kind of a tough, I think it's tougher. It is a one step challenge, but it is tougher in the sense of like, it's a trailing drawdown strategy. So whatever your capital peaks at, is it 3%? 3% down from that is your trailing drawdown or 6% down from that is your trailing drawdown. So like, yeah, so let's say the starting balance is 25, 25K, but then you, you get it up to like 29K, 5% down from that is the trailing trailing uh stop loss okay so it's like some people get confused by that and they blow their challenges we might get risky and try it um i mean i'm sure we could do it we're, we're doing this <laughs> we're
we're doing i mean we, i'm sure we could do it because we are trading these funding challenges like very very conservative very aggressively like aggressively conservative in terms of like putting stops at break even very early securing partials like we're not risking much of anything and it's just to get funded okay and then we still should probably trade that way once we are funded as well just to just to continue the consistency ain't no way i'm doing that <laughs> have you looked at odd usd yeah i've checked it out a couple times oh, oh this is pretty good here this is pretty good dude i would look we just got bullish momentum to the upside this might be just like an easy little scalp on the five minute guys but i truly don't think this is like a really good time to like trade yeah, you should always you should only always be risking ha like a quarter percent to a half percent until until you oh you say USD oh shoot thank you thank you thank you my bad my bad my bad hey good catch good catch I like that I like that keep me on my toes baby Shh. <laughs> I would just get clear closure above here I would still hold off on it. Even if you wanted to get clear closure above these highs, like the wick, just to say you're, you're super safe. Because what happens is we could grab liquidity here and then melt to the downside again. Um, so safe buys would definitely be above that level. And then again, clean clean traffic up, up until this area, which is a five minute supply. This is just looking like strictly a scalping. I'm not, I'm not doing like anything crazy here though, guys. But by the way, guys, my name is TJ. I live stream Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. We are currently documenting the process of getting funded live with you guys. So if you guys want to be here for that tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. PST, subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, if you guys want to help out that YouTube algo, all you guys got to do is hit that like button, baby. Hit that like button. We're currently at 402, so we are smashing right now. We got 20 more minutes on the live stream. 20 more minutes. What do you guys want to do on the live stream for the last 20? Uh, who are you using, Doug? Who are you using? Negative 1% my prof firm test need 8%. Sounds like you're using my Forex funds, maybe? You've been in oil buy since 72.16. Let's check it out. Mm -mm -mm. That is nice. That is nice. But yeah, this was that break of structure trade that we were talking about. I called this out. I was like, guys, just look at the higher time frames. Oil's kind of like, oil respects structure. I feel like the same way that gold respects structure. Just ye to 40 lot for the last 20? I don't know if we could do that. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be three days of hard work just to gain 1%. <laughs> oh, think I forgot about showing the trades from today. Absolutely, yes. Sorry, I did forget about that. Let me open the let me open the broker so you can kind of see. Oh, Keck, Doug is from Doug plays wow. Doug plays wow for sure. He just said Keck. Okay, these this was the only trade we took today. Okay, this one right here, and I'll kind of show you my risk. I was very minimal risk on it. Super aggressive on the way I was uh, managing it. Stop set break even very early. Took partials on the way up. Uh, but let me go show you. So it was a US 30 trade. I. Let's see, where are we at? Where's US30? Am I blind? Yeah, I'm blind. All right, cool. So let me kind of recreate what was going down here. We're going to go to the one hour. Perfect. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm seeing it all over again. This is awesome. Okay, disregard this. This is from another analysis right after. Okay, so I had this marked up and we were seeing this aggressive selling happen during the market. Okay, mind you, I've been on since 7.30 a.m. PST and we have not found a trade. I took this trade around 11 o'clock or 11.30 or something. All right, so like I was very patient with myself today. Didn't see anything and then this one popped in front of my face and I was like, all right, because it's late in the day, we're going to risk 0.25% and just chill. Okay, so first off, our demand. When our demand, we saw this candle be, being very bullish, or sorry, bearish. Hadn't created a wick yet, but as it was slightly chunking up, we were kind of sifting through the time frame. So then I saw the 30. 30 was about right here. Wasn't closing yet. And I'm like, okay, like the 15 just closed. Let's see what the 15 closed like. So then I saw this 15. 
okay i saw this 15 close like a doji like price isn't certain quite yet but it, this one had good momentum it just haven't hadn't broken these highs then i watched it break the highs okay and then after i watched it break the highs i waited for closure because i was like if we're going to be super conservative we need to be absolutely sure or as as sure as you can be in a, in a kind of a market like this um that price is going to continue bullish so i waited for the 15 minute closure i got multiple entry signals on the five minute but because it's an hour demand let's use the higher time frame so we use the 15 close bullish okay price opened here as soon as it broke up it broke these highs we entered a position okay stops before before the lows here like that and then we manage this on the five minute okay so i'm gonna go over how i managed to trade on the five minute okay and by the way take profit was it was these highs he was about there okay so I'm managing this trade on the five minute. We get bullish momentum. We're, we're in profit. We're doing pretty good. As soon as I see this supply area, a possible reversal zone, right? I didn't secure partials when we were here because we were still in profit. If anything, I'll just manage it. If we go to the site, if we could break below these lows, I probably would have gotten out of the trade, but we didn't. We held, was a bullish engulfing. Price continued up. We we're coming up to supply. I lightened my position at this mark. And then as we got up into this area, another area of supply, I lighten the position a little bit more and then stops were at whoops stops were at break even after I as soon as I ever if I ever hit close half position my stops are already at break even okay so secured partials secured partials and then we put stops right below this point after we secured second partials sorry I think actually that doesn't make sense because I got stomped out so It had to have been about oh wait we didn't get stomped out on this this hit take profit yeah so that was right okay so we were floating below the structure here okay stops in profit and we ended up floating the last five percent of the position to take profit so that's how i managed it today yo j king take care take care Dude, you got to start trading US 30. It's just lovely. Yeah, we, we took that trade today. That was our one trade. It, was, it worked out pretty well. So we're at like 0.95% um, close like to our profit target. Okay, so we're slowly chunking away. We're very, very like risk adverse with the way we're managing this account right now. So we're slowly chunking away. Okay, literally 0.95% in profit. Uh, US 30 on the one, three, and five minute time frame after New York Open is just hep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> FX, I've been there. I've done that, bro. I've done that. I normally don't, like, guys, I start the live stream at 7 30 a.m. PST. Did you open long on US 30 now? No, I didn't. I didn't. I was just replaying kind of what we went through already. Um, But pretty much all I do. All I do now is I kind of wait for the volume to die out slightly. Like, I don't want that massive amount of, like, volume, a massive amount of fake outs early on. I used to trade like that, and I was – I th I would say that I was more on the profitable side, but it just wasn't, like, massive amount of profits because I would take some pretty gnarly losses um, from doing that. And I kind of just found something that worked for me, um, which is kind of just waiting. Wait till at least, like, 7, 7.30, or trade before that 6.30 time frame. Like trade before that New York that New York uh, stock exchange open, and just use like the very like I like the lower volume times, but when there's still enough volume to kind of like move the market, not like dead Asia session where it's just like watching paint dry, but like have enough volume to still move the market, but not crazy amounts of volume at like news or market opens. That's that's kind of how I found the most consistency. But guys, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, usually around okay, perfect, 7:30 to 8 o'clock. That's around what time I would I prefer to trade to. You. Like we hop on at 7:30, so it's like still has enough volume to kind of move. A lot of the retracements from market open are happening, or a lot of the retracements from news are happening, right? 
But I think I'm going to head out for sure, guys. So I'm going to say my last closing statements here. Um, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to take a nap before I go to Disney, get my mind right. Just chill a little bit, enjoy the day, um, and just, yeah, you know what I mean? So this has been TJ, guys. If you guys are enjoying the content, you guys are enjoying the channel, and you guys want to stick around for the live stream tomorrow morning, we go live Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the bell notification, and then, of course, help out that YouTube algo by hitting that like button. Uh, yesterday we had 415 likes. I don't know if we'll hit it in the next couple couple minutes here, but smash the like button if you haven't already. My name is TJ, guys. And then, of course, if you guys want any of the special links, like the Discord link to join the Discord, it is at the top link in the description. You're going to click this. It will take you to the verification page. Prove to me that you are not a robot. Okay, so all you got to do is click the robot right here. It'll take you to a third-party site. Fill out the CAPTCHA. Once the CAPTCHA is filled out, you guys, you guys will get your role, and you guys will have access to all of these channels. Um, all I ask, guys, is that you just be respectful to one another. People have multiple different strategies. See the market completely different ways. Um, you know, be humble enough to know that your way is not the only way to make money. And just have an open mind. You can stay consistent to your plan and your strategy, but also being respectful. Okay, just know that. Uh, no links, just screenshots of charts, okay? So make sure you guys aren't sending the trading view link. Send a screenshot of it um, and post it in the Discord. In chart feedback, general, flex zone, wherever you guys want to send it, okay? Um, and then most importantly, avoid scams. Don't DM anybody. Nobody should be DMing you. Everything that you guys should be saying needs to be said public because if you're already going in the DMs as is, it's kind of a little suspect as like, it's already just a little suspect. Like it's a trading community, okay? Like you guys should be able to say whatever you want to say in public. If you can't, you probably shouldn't be saying it. Um, and just know guys, like my my community, everything like that we got going for us, my goal is to create self-sufficient traders, okay? Literally, my goal is to create self-sufficient traders. So if that sounds good to you, um, don't treat my trade ideas like signals. Like you guys need to see things for yourselves, enter positions at your own, like your own, what's that word? I, I'm thinking of a word, but not at your own risk, but like at your own reasoning, okay? It's like, see what you need to see, give yourself the confirmation, the confidence that you need to see, use me as a confluence, but like, just know that these aren't signals. I don't want you guys to use the same stop loss, take profit. I say it all the time on the streams. We wanna make self-sufficient traders. Everything I do is for free for right now. Um, so just enjoy it. Literally just enjoy it. I'm trying to give back to the community as much as possible. Wouldn't be here in this position if it wasn't for trading. I wouldn't be able to be in the position to have the time to stay consistent and show you guys what's possible if it wasn't for trading. So if you guys like that, and again, you guys want to be a part of that, hit the subscribe button. And of course, smash that like button. See if we can get that 410th like. That would be super sick. Um, but if not, guys, I just want to say one last thing. Top link in the description, Magic Keys. This is how I manage each and every one of my trades. All right, so go ahead and cop yourself a pair of Magic Keys. Get 10% off using code TJ10. And then if you guys are looking to use the same funding challenge as me, same funding company, all you guys have to do is press that link right there to help support the channel. They are all affiliate links. Any books that I may read or I have read in the past, you guys can go ahead and click the link in the description. Again, more affiliate links. Uh, but I have Audibles. If you guys want to use the free trial, you can use the free trial. Highly recommend it. You can cancel it after 14 days. Probably get a couple books in or at least one book, I think. So definitely, definitely worthwhile. But without further ado, guys, I think that's pretty much everything. That was kind of a mouthful. Um, let me say bye to everyone real quick. Who we got? We got Sawson. He said, later. Trace to have fun at Disney. Thank you for today. Absolutely, Mike. Another great stream. See you tomorrow. Live forever. See ya. Star Sailor. See ya. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of mine. You guys have